Hello everyone, welcome. My name is John Wang. This is our very first Mandarin Chinese class. We will use the book Integrated Chinese. Here it is. I've been teaching Chinese for over 10 years. This is one of the best Chinese textbooks I have ever used. That's why I choose the textbook for this video course. The first edition of the book was in 1997. Now it is the third edition. It is widely used in schools in the US and other countries. It improves your listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Chinese is not hard. In my opinion, it's very easy. I say that not because I'm a Chinese. Yeah, of course I am. It is because I teach many years, many classes, and many, many students. I know how. So follow me. It is not hard. In addition, I will not only help you learn Chinese, but to understand and know the culture of China as well. Why not go to lesson one right now? Okay, we start. Lesson one, greetings. Wen hao. In lesson one, you will learn these things. You will learn exchange basic greetings Request the person's last name, full name, and provide your, your own. Determine whether someone is a teacher or a student. Ask them someone's nationality. Okay. Then uh, let's go to vocabulary. I will help you with the vocabulary. Lesson one, vocabulary. If you have a book, you will look at your book. Page 55. Vocabulary. Number one, 你. Yes, of course, 你, you. For every book I have ever used, the textbook for learning Chinese, the number one is 你, you, of course, 你. Okay, so when you say hello in Chinese, you say 你好, 你好. You know, 好 is good, 你 is you. Basically, we are saying you are good, you are a good man, you are a good friend. Okay, 你好. So, hello, 你好, then how will you, you reply? You also say hello, right? You will say, you good, 你好, you a good man, you a good friend, okay? 你好, 你好, yeah, that's easy. And uh, 好, we use 好 different way. It's very common, very common, like 好 could be fine, good, nice, okay? Like someone invite you to their home, you can say, okay, you can say, how good, good idea, good, how, what's the weather, you can say, mm, how, how, okay, so, uh, what's the book, how, what, what do you like this book, how, good, good book, very useful, okay, uh, next one, 请, look at here, 请, 请 means uh, place, there's one way uh, to be polite, you know, you say something, you want to be very polite, you will start with 请. For example, sit down please, you will say 请 sit. We didn't, we haven't learned sit. By the way, I can write here. 请 zuo. Zuo is to sit, so please sit. Um, in Chinese, you have to put 请 at the beginning. You have to say please do something. You cannot say sit down please. You always always say please sit down, please come in, please help me. You cannot say help me please. It's just a habit. We just use 请 at the beginning. Please do that. Okay, 请坐. In the text, in this case, they use the 请 with 问, but when means to ask, when means to ask. So, 请问, please ask. Literally, please ask. It means, may I ask? It's a polite way to start your question, you know. When you have something you want to ask people, you will start with, 请问, literally, please ask. Like, please allow me to ask this, this feeling. 请问, where's the toilet? 请问, like, can you help me with my Chinese? Something like this, okay. Of course, uh, when is ask. By the way, here, 请 also could be invite. Invite. For example, you invite somebody to your home, you will say 我爱请 somebody to your home. That's 请. 
But the last one, this we use this Qing as a place. May I ask? Qing, but... Okay. Then this one, Gui. Very interesting character word, uh, Gui. Literally, and uh, originally, Gui means expensive, expensive. For example, ah, this one, ah, very expensive, very expensive, expensive, ah, Gui, 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 Jiga, Gui. This one, jiga, gui, very expensive, right? Uh, also, could be used for a person's, to ask a person's surname. We, literally, we ask a person's surname, we say, uh, please, what's your very expensive surname? You know, expensive, high price, but in this case, we use it as uh, honorable. It's kind of, what kind, uh, what's your honorable, very high, very high position surname to show plight? Okay, so remember Gui originally means expensive, but later people use it as uh, honorable uh, to show honorable surname or honorable company, something. It de depends what the word you put after Gui. Uh, for example, Nin Gui Xin. Nin Gui Xin. Uh, that's the way we ask person's surname. If you look at here, Xing, uh, sorry, here is Xing is a false tone. Uh, Xing is a surname, surname. Nin Gui Xing, literally, uh, Nin is a polite way, polite form of Ni, uh, polite form of Ni. So Nin, Nin, it sounds polite. Nin Gui Xing, literally, uh, you, Expensive surname place or you honorable surname place Nin Gui Xing. Okay. Actually, later I will tell more things about the surname. You know, in China, surname is much important than given name. In Chinese, my surname is Wang. W A N G second tone Wang. People always ask, what's your surname? Not what's your name, uh, what's your surname, Wang? Because Wang is uh, very common, very easy to remember. If I said uh, I'm, my surname is Wang, the next time people know how to address me. For example, teacher Wang, brother Wang, and uh, manager Wang, Mr. Wang, things like this. Uh, if I give them my given name, you know, Chinese, uh, in Chinese given name could be anything. So next time I'm sure they will not, Remember it. It's like not like in English. You know, my English name is John. You know, John. It's easy to remember, right? Like uh, English, John, uh, Stephen, Mary, Tom. You know, that's very common, very easy. But in Chinese, the things is different. Our given name, our Xing, is very common, very easy to remember. So people always ask, "What's your given name?" Okay. So. But one, you know, <laughs> foreigner friends like learn Chinese. Uh, when we do practice, we use Chinese. We ask, "What's your surname, family name?" It's a kind of little different situation, you know. Okay. Anyway, uh, Gui expensive, honorable. Xing is the surname. The way to ask, "What's your surname?" We say, "Nin Gui Xing." Nin Gui Xing. Then next one is Wo. I al already mentioned it. Wo is uh, I. Wo is I. So I, if I answer this question, Nin Gui Xing, what's your surname? I will say Wo Xing. Wang. Here I use this Xing. If you look at here, Xing could be verb or noun. Could be uh, the surname or surnamed. Uh, surnamed. So Wo Xing Wang. It's like uh, I surname the Wang, literally, word by word, I surname the Wang. Uh, Ning Gui Xing, Wo Xing Wang. Here, Wo could be I, could be me. In Chinese, we don't have different I, me, he, him, she, her, same word. He, him, same. She, her, same. Quite easy. Okay. Wo is I, Wo is I. So the next one is uh, uh, na. Uh, na is said a uh, question particle. What kind of question? If the same question, uh, you will put uh, na at the end to make it same question. For example, you ask me, how are you today? Mm, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Then I want to ask the same question. I don't have to re 
you know, repeat, how are you? I would just say, 你呢? 你 is you, 呢 means the same question. You, the same one, the same question. So you can translate like, uh, how about you? 你呢? 你呢? It doesn't matter what question you ask me. Uh, so could be, have, have you been, like, have you been to uh, Guangzhou? Or have you been to Beijing? Right? So I can ask 你呢? What about you? Uh, same question. You, same question. 你呢? 呢 is for same question. Put at the end of a sentence. Okay. Next one. 小姐. 小姐 is miss or a young lady. Uh, 小姐. The character 小. I can write here. 小 means little or small. Little or small. Oh, that's too small. <laughs> that character too small, sorry. Make it bigger. So, for example, 30. Okay. So, 小 is little or small. But the character 姐, 姐 means sister. It's elder sister, older sister. So, 姐. Mm. Ah, it's become smaller again. Jie is older sister. Literally, Xiao Jie means my little older sister. A little strange, but it's kind of polite, you know. So ladies always want to be, you know, young, right? Not old. So kind of uh, we call like a uh, older sister because that's kind of a high position it's kind of uh, respect but uh, we still say you're still young so we say small or little older sister it's a very polite way anyway that's uh, how this word made of so but uh, uh, to be a one word to be one word just means miss uh, miss wang you will say wang xiaojie wang xiaojie oh. wang Xiao Miss Wang. Yeah. We put surname at, at the beginning. We don't say uh, Miss Wang. We say Wang Miss, actually. Uh, the same as uh, Manager Wang. We say Wang Manager, uh, Wang Teacher, Wang Mister. Okay. Next one, Jiao. Jiao is to be called, to be called. Uh, because if you ask somebody's name, you will say, uh, you called what, what in Chinese, literally, you called what, uh, you called what, you will say, 你叫什么, by the way here, 什么 means what, uh, literally, we say, you called what, how to reply this question, you will say, I called John, so, 我叫 John. So, 你叫什么? 你叫什么? Then you will say, 我叫, 我叫, then the name, then the name. Okay. Next one. 名字. 名字 is a noun for name. Here, 你叫什么 is kind of a short version to ask what's your name. So, they, literally, we ask, uh, you called what? But you you can make it the full sentence, like you called what name? So you can say this way too, it's like 你... I also put the tone. 你叫什么名字? You called what name? What name? One thing I have to mention, like in Chinese you don't put the question word at the very beginning. You don't put a what at the very beginning, like what's the name, right? What's your name? Uh, what's time? And uh, what do you think about? You always put this uh, what, when, how, this kind of question word at the very beginning. But in Chinese, we don't change the order. So the question order is the same as the declarative sentence order. No change, no change. You just replace the word you want to ask with the question word. But the order of the sentence, no change. Okay, so 你叫什么名字? 
you called what name? We don't say what, uh, what, what name do you call like this? Yeah. You are called, you know. Mm, next one, Xian Sheng, Xian Sheng, uh, Mister, Husband, okay, here, Teacher. It's uh, many meanings. Uh, but the common way to use Xian Sheng is Mister and uh, Husband. Uh, teacher is kind of uh, you know uh, old address for. Uh, for for teacher use xian sheng. Uh, right now we have another word for teacher, uh, but husband Mister we use xian sheng. For example, Mister Wang. Remember, uh, you will say surname first. Wang Mister. You, you will say Wang xian sheng. Wang xian sheng. Sheng is neutral tone. Wang xian sheng. Poor pronouns. Li you. Li you. The person's name. Uh, Li is the surname. Yo is the given name together. Li Yo. Next one. Wang Peng, another person's name. Wang is the, my surname. Peng, given name. Wang Peng is another Chinese name. Wang is also a surname. It's very common uh, in Chinese. The name is two syllable or three syllable. Most people people got a two syllable uh, name or three syllable name, or not surname, whole name, two syllable or three syllable. Very very few people maybe have a four characters name. That's very few. Most ninety nine percent should be two or three syllable name. Okay, uh, that's all for the vocabulary. I will see you uh, next time for the text. Thank you. Now, if you'd like to learn integrated Chinese with my videos, please let me know in the comment section. Also, please let me know by giving it the thumbs up and sharing it with anyone who would like to learn. By the way, I made a free ebook called Everything You Need to Know About Learning Chinese. It tells you the history, the language, survival Chinese, travel, food, and other very useful resources which you need to know. There's the link in the description. You will be able to download this for free. And uh, thank you for watching. It's great to have you here. Speak to you soon. Bye bye. Hi, Ni Hao. Ni Hao Ma. I'm John. Okay. Ni Hao. I'm here. That's my friend. Monkey King. Okay. Put him in front of me on the table. My water. Okay, let's start. Here. Ni Hao. The man said to the lady, Ni Hao. Literally, you know, ni means you. How is good? You are good. You are nice. Then the lady replies to the man, uh, the same one. Ni hao, ni hao, ni hao. Of course. Then here the man asks, 请问, 请问, literally, 请, please. When ask, please, I want to ask you some questions. So please ask. That means may I ask. It's a very polite way to start a question. If you want to ask a question, you may start with 请问, then your question. Okay. May I ask, 请问, 你贵姓, 你贵姓, 你 is you, 贵, you know, expensive, expensive. 姓 is surname. Literally, you or your expensive surname, please. Honorable surname, you know. Gui could be expensive, honorable. Uh, actually, in real life, we may say nin gui xing, not ni gui xing. Nin, second tone, nin gui xing. Because nin is a polite form of ni. A lot of people say nin gui xing, but uh, ni gui xing is, is okay. It's not as polite as nin gui xing. Okay. Uh, then the lady replies, 我姓李, 
I Xin is the surname, so I surname the Li. This surname could be verb, could be noun. Here's the verb, I surname the Li. Then Ni, ne, that's also important. Ne, you use Ne put at the end of sentence for the same question, for the same question. So you, the same question means what's your surname? You don't have to ask it again. For example, I like swimming. Then I can ask you, Nina, you, the same question, please. So how about you? Then you can say, I like other things. OK. Uh, then the man says, 我姓王. Again, I surname the Wang. This Wang is a very common surname in Chinese. Uh, very popular. A lot of people surname the Wang. My surname is Wang, anyway. By the way. Um, Teacher Wang. Then Li Xiaojie. That's the dress that's a lady, Li Xiaojie. Literally, Xiao is a little. Jie is the elder sister. Elder sister. Li Xiaojie. But together as a word, little elder sister is a polite way to say miss. Miss Li. We say Li Miss. And remember we the order is kind of different. We put surname first, Li Miss. That's different culture, so uh, Li Miss, Miss Li. Uh, 你叫什么名字? 叫一次call, or to be called. So you called, 什么 is what, 名字 is name. So you called what name? It's like uh, what's your name, but we say you called what name. 你叫什么名字? Then Lily says, 我叫李友, I called Li Yo. Li is also a very common surname in Chinese. That's why in the book it used the Li and the Wang to introduce the surname. Okay. Li Yo. That's the two syllable name. Li Yo. Then uh, Wang Xiansheng. Wang Xiansheng. Here Xiansheng is uh, uh, Mr. or could be husband. Of course here is not husband. They are not couple. So Mr. Wang. If Xiansheng followed by a surname, it must be Mr. Um, Mr. Oh, no, that's not Mrs. OK, that's Mr. So I spell it wrong here. Uh, Mr. Wang. If, if you say 我的先生, for example, 我的 means my, that's my husband, not my Mr. My husband, OK. But followed by surname, it's uh, Mr. Mr. Wang. 你叫什么名字? So we move a little bit here. 你叫什么名字? You called what name is same question. Uh, of course, and she can even say Nina for the same question. Okay. Then uh, let's look at the man. The man says, 我叫王鹏. Uh, I called Wang Peng. Okay. Then here. There's some phrases. Uh, I think it's, it's important. You need to remember, and you can use it. 请问, may I ask? You will start with 请问 if you have a question. And uh, here. 先生, 小姐, OK? Let's you address a friend, a person. If it's a lady, you will say, uh, surname and Xiaojie, for example, Li Xiaojie. If a man, you will say Mr. Uh, Mr. Wang, you will say Wang Xiansheng. Okay, and uh, also we mentioned uh, these two common surnames. One is Li, another is Wang. Big family name, very common. Okay, oh, where's my friend? Okay, so, 再见! See you next time. Bye bye. Hi, Dajiao, this is John. Today we're going to learn the new vocabulary. Okay. So let's start. First, shi. 
sure means to be. Uh, you know, in English, to be could be am, is, are, or were, was. You know, there are different form. It could be past tense. It depends what kind of people, I or he, they are different. Z, they are different. But in Chinese, only one word, one word. It's shi. Only shi. Okay. That's why some people said uh, Chinese is uh, easier than English, which I agree. Yeah, sure. Okay. So shi is to be. It will never change. Never change. Then lao shi. Lao shi. Literally, lao means old. Sorry, make it bigger. Lao means old. And uh, shi means uh, master. Lao shi. Together, old master. Of course, normally, in old time, at least, the teacher is older than you, so that's why they know more than you, okay? So, Lao Shi, old master, teacher. You may notice that I'd like to explain like each character, the meaning of each character to you. That's a little different than other teachers, because you will find that actually it's useful. If you know each character's meaning, then it helps you to remember the word's meaning, and also you will understand the Chinese language a little deeper. It's like uh, in English, the root, uh, prefix, suffix, or the like morphemes, like subway, you know. In English, you say subway, sub is kind of under, way is the road, so you know, subway is the, you know, under the ground. Uh, so you know that's the uh, you know mm, subway. The same idea about the Chinese. Uh, each character got a very clear meaning. Uh, so it's better to know each character, the meaning of each character. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, next one, uh, ma. Ma, it's uh, to make a question. You put ma at the end of a question. Oh no, as, at the end of a sentence to make it a question. Give you an example. I can say, 你好吗? You know, 你好 means uh, you're, ma you're, you're fine, you're good, ma, so it's a question. So kind of, uh, uh, are you good? Are you fine? Are you okay? Means how are you? When you translate into Ch English, it's how are you? 你好吗? Okay, good. I'm fine. Mm. Oh, this one. Sorry. Mm, that one. No. 你, 你是老师吗? You know this? So literally, you are teacher. Ma means uh, that's a question. Are you a teacher? But we say 你是老师, ma. When you hear ma, oh, that's a question for me. Uh, no, that's not a declarative sentence. So you're a teacher, ma. <laughs> Okay, then you will say, uh, yes, I am. How do you say? You can say, 是, 是 means, uh, okay, yes, uh, to confirm it, 是, 我是老师, I am a teacher. Uh, you say, 是, 我是老师. Okay, how about uh, now you're not teacher? The next one here. Bu is uh, kind of you deny something. It's like in English, no. You know, uh, for example, on the street, somebody want to push you to buy something. Ah, this one, good, buy this, good, good. No. Then you say, ah, bu, bu, no, no, bu, bu, I'm not going to buy. No. So remember, bu is to deny, no. Uh, also could be not. So I'm not a teacher. You will say, 我不是老师, 我不是老师. You put this, no, not before verb. Uh, I'm not a teacher. Uh, in English, you know, you also put like uh, not before verb. For example, I don't eat it. I don't like something. But uh, you put 
no after to be like I, I am not a teacher in Chinese the rule is one rule you put before verb and to be you say I not a teacher so 我不是老师 someone may notice here actually I changed the pronunciation here I changed the 不 from fourth tone to second tone mm. that's kind of a very special rules uh, here for the pinyin uh, only exist in very few characters Bu is uh, one of these few characters if the character followed by bu is fourth tone then we will not pronounce the bu as the fourth tone again we will pronounce we change it to the second tone because it's kind of hard to pronounce or if you feel not uh, uh, really good to pronounce the two fourth tone too strong you say well bu shi lao shi even Chinese people feel ah uh, that's uh, a little weird and uh, it's better to change a little bit so then we change it to second tone we say 我不是老师 this sounds much better okay you will say not say 我不是 you say 我不是, 我不是 like this other cases uh, if followed with uh, other tones uh, rather than fourth tone they will not change you say 不, uh, 不 something 不 something okay next one uh, 学生, 学生, it's a student. And uh, literally, I like to explain you word by word. Uh, 学 is to study. And uh, 生 means a kind of person. It's like English uh, ER. It's like a, a writer, you know, ER, a kind of, a, a kind of person with a certain job. Uh, and uh, 学生, you are a learner, uh, you are a learner, uh, study, er, 学生, okay. So, for example, how do you say I'm a student? Yes, you will say 我是学生, mm, 学生. Normally, 学生 together, the 生 is neutral tone, uh, 我是学生. In English, you will say I am a student. You need this a uh, or the before the the noun. Uh, in Chinese, it doesn't matter. You can say I am a student, but it's not necessary. You can just say I am students. You know. Okay. The Chinese grammar is not very strict, as strict as English. Uh, that's also why people say Chinese actually grammar is easier. Yeah, which I also agree. I agree. Mm, that's true. Next one. Yeah, yeah means also or too, but uh, I'd like to remember it as also. Uh, how do you say I also a student? You will say 我也是学生. 我也是学生. Mm -hmm. So we put ye here. We put ye before verb, uh, before to be. I also a student. So if you translate like uh, I'm a student too, so you may put yeah at the at, at the end. That's not correct. We always put a yeah before verb. So it's better to remember as also. I also a student. Okay. The next one, 人, people, person. That's easy. Uh, I can say, 我是人. Yes, of course. I'm a man. I'm a man. And. Uh, Okay. Hey, my friend, monkey, monkey king. He's not a person. You can say 他不是人. You know, 不 is not, 是 is am. So he isn't. 他不是人. Here, I also I already tell you this 不 changed because 是 is false tone. If you say 不是, it uh, sounds hard, so we say 不是, uh, 他不是人, yeah, yeah, 不是人, so, mm, mm, you know, <laughs> okay, proper nouns, yeah. 中国, China, 中国, China, word by word still, 中 means middle, 中 means middle. We are beginner level, well, then you can get intermediate level. Intermediate level, we will definitely use this character, 中, middle. 
国一次 country。So, China, literally, uh, middle country or middle kingdom, so ancient time, you know, every country may think they are at the center. You know, all the country around us, we are the center. So, but we kind of named as center country, uh, middle country. Uh, so remember, Zhong is middle, Guo is country. Uh, and next, the Beijing, our lovely capital. Uh, also for this name Beijing, I like to tell you word by word. Bei is north, north, and Jing first tone is the capital. Beijing is the capital, the north capital, the capital in the north. By the way, there's another city you may also know. It's called. Nanjing, Nanjing, okay, so uh, Nan means south, south, of course, Jing means capital, Nanjing is the south capital, uh, in ancient time, uh, there's many dynasty, actually, the capital was in Nanjing or in Nanjing, so it's called the North Capital. Then uh, we moved to Beijing, the North Capital. Okay, that's a kind of history thing. Then, Mei Guo, Mei Guo, American, uh, of course, American. And uh, you remember, uh, Guo is a country, Guo is a country. But uh, what's the character Mei means? The character Mei. I said uh, each character has its meaning, you know. Mei means uh, beautiful. Mm. Beautiful, okay. So Mei Guo together means literally sounds beautiful country. Oh, what a nice name, beautiful country. Uh, we choose this name also because America, so um, America. So it sounds like main Chinese character. So we get this character and it's got a very good meaning. And also it sounds like America. So we name American Mei Guo. Next, New Yue, it just sounds like New York. That's also one way to translate an uh, English name, just to uh, make it sounds like. Uh, choose the character which sounds similar, then, mm, okay, New York, New Yue, New Yue. Anyway, that's my question for you. Could you tell me which country are you from? You can write down in the comment section. Okay, so I will see you next time. 再见! Before we start, some students may have uh, questions. Do I need to learn Chinese characters? Or is this possible? I try to learn spoken Chinese first, then later I learn Chinese characters. So you may have this question. It depends. If you want to take HSK examination, which is a standard Chinese examination run by the government, you need to learn Chinese characters because in the text, all the questions are written in Chinese. So you have to uh, read and recognize the question first. You know, they all in Chinese character without being in. Mm. So uh, even right now, you can take the examination on computer, which means you can type you, you can type in pinyin and the computer can help you to uh, choose the Chinese character, but you have to uh, kind of help the computer to do that. So at least you have to recognize the characters. Okay, and uh, you know, right now you are beginner level and you can find plenty of books which are written in pinyin and with good English explanations. But later, when you get a higher level, you will find there are fewer and fewer books written in pinyin. Most of the good books are written in Chinese, only in Chinese characters. So if you want to read, uh, maybe later you want to read a Chinese magazine, a newspaper, or even some novels. Actually, right now, some students are 
learning novels with me. Uh, all these things is funny, interesting things uh, written in only in Chinese character. So if you want to get a higher level, you need to learn Chinese character. And uh, on the other hand, if you just want to focus on spoken and uh, daily conversation, want to talk with Chinese people and uh, travel to China, uh, even meet your father-in-law or mother-in-law in China, it is possible just to focus on pinyin because pinyin is a good tool to help you to pronounce Chinese. So with the help of pinyin, you still can get a, a good level spoken Chinese. It's no problem. So if you want to get a higher level in the future, you need to learn character. So maybe it's better to start it now. And if you just want to focus on spoken Chinese, so that's not really necessary to learn character. But also it is possible to focus on spoken Chinese first uh, with the help of opinion. And later when you think, oh, I need to get a higher level, then you start to learn character. It is also possible. Okay. Then we start to our lesson. Okay, here. Wang Xiansheng, ni shi lao shi ma? Wang Xiansheng. As you know, Xiansheng is Mr. Wang Xiansheng, uh, Mr. Wang, we say Wang Mr. Uh, ni shi lao shi ma? Shi means M is R to be. Here, you, so you are. Lao shi, teacher. Ma is for question. As we mentioned, we put ma at the end of a sentence to make a question. We don't change the order of the sentence to make question. We just put ma at the end to make it a simple question. Like, uh, are you a teacher? We say, you are a teacher. Ma, ni shi lao shi, ma. Okay. Then, the man, wo bu shi lao shi. Do you remember bu is no, no, bu is no. To deny something. No, no. So I'm not a teacher. But here you notice that we say, I not am teacher. I'm not am a teacher. So you put a bu before verb and also before to be. Uh, In English, you may say, I'm not a teacher. In Chinese, it doesn't matter. You put a or you don't put a. You can say, I'm a teacher or I'm not a teacher. But also you can say, just say, I'm not a teacher. I'm teacher. Okay. Then, 我是学生. You know, 学生 is students. I am a student. Again, in Chinese, you don't have to say this. Uh, just, I'm student. Uh, Leo, the name, uh, Leo. Uh, 你呢? Na, as we learned, is for same question. Uh, for same question. Ni na means you, the same question. Mm. Then the lady says, oh, here is wo, W O. Wo ye shi xue sheng. Ye, as I said, also. So I also am a student. Also, you will remember you put a ye also before to be, or before verb. Uh, so I also. Uh, I'm also a student. Uh, you are? Remember, Zhongguo is China. But, uh, I'd like to explain you more like uh, each character. So be because I believe in this way, it helps you a lot to remember the character also to understand the Chinese deeper. Okay. So Zhong is the middle. Guo is, the, of course, country. Uh, middle country. Ren is the people, person. Uh, so, 你是中国人吗? Basically, we are talking, are you middle country person? Uh, uh, Chinese, are you Chinese? Uh, Ma is question, okay. That's the way we make uh, people, person, uh, some countries, uh, people, some people from some country. We just put the country's name and the uh, 人 to make it uh, uh, Chinese, Japanese, American, uh, English, like this. Uh, we just put the 人 at the end followed by country's name. Okay, then shi, shi means uh, yes, shi. Shi is M is R, but uh, when you answer someone's question, could be to confirm the information, means uh, yes, it is. Uh, so is, we say is means uh, yes. Uh, so here, just treat it as uh, yes, shi, yes. 我是北京人, 
same Beijing is our capital, but uh, literally uh, Bei is north, you know, uh, Jing is uh, capital. Capital. Uh, Ren is uh, people, person. Uh, I'm north capital person, person but I'm uh, sure that's a Beijing person, uh, Beijing is. Uh, uh, you're a Mei is beautiful. Guo is country. Ren is people. Are you from beautiful country? Are you a beautiful country people? Okay, actually, are you America? Mm. Ma for question. Shi. Uh, Ace means yes. Washi New Yuan. I'm from New York, so literally I am New York person. New Yue is for New York. New York. That's one way we translate the words from other language, especially the name of the city. I'll give you other examples. For example, Luan Dun. Um, okay, okay, this one. Luan Dun. Do you know this one? It's for London. Luan Dun. And uh, this one. Hua Sheng Dun. Do you know this one? Hua Sheng Dun. It's for Washington. Okay, here comes my question for you. So, do you know what this Chinese word stands for? Which city it is? The Xi Ni. This one. Xi Ni. Okay, please leave your answer in the comment section. Zaijian. Uh, he's my son. He's only four months old. Right now, he's learning to speak Chinese. One day, he will speak Chinese as fluently as I can. I'm sure you will too. Lesson 2. Family. 第二课, 家庭. In this section, you will learn to use Chinese to employ basic kinship terms. Describe a family picture, ask about someone's possession, say some common possessions. Okay, so let's look at the vocabulary first. Here we are. First, na. Na means that, just means that. Okay, then if you look at here, je. Je, je means this. So, na, that, je, this. Okay, the next one, de. The is a very important word in Chinese, actually. If you read the Chinese articles, you will find that the is the most commonly used character. And actually, it's a possessive or descriptive particle. What does that mean? i give you some examples for this the. Okay. Uh, for example, you know, of course, wo is I. Wo is I. 我的 means my. For example, you can say 我的老师, which means my teacher. 我的老师, to, to show possessive. Or uh, my book, you can say 我的book, or my cell phone. You, know, you can say 我的cell phone, or my water, 我的water, or John's water. You know, you can say John the water shui john the shui so this the the is uh, possessive means something kind of belong to you uh, possessive okay and let's look at another example for example in english you will say uh, the teacher who came from um, america okay the teacher who came from America. How do you say this in Chinese? We will say this way. We will put the teacher at the end. Okay, so we put here the teacher. And we put the here.
like this. And we kind of don't need this who. We say come from American the teacher. So before this the is kind of modifying part. We call it modifier. So it means this is the information to describe teacher, what kind of teacher, where is he or she from, or he's a good teacher, or if it's full of experience. So this kind of information you will put before the to modify the teacher. So we will say come from American the teacher, even we don't need this the, the teacher. So then we look at back this descriptive particle, that means this. Okay. I think later we will use the a lot. So if you not 100% sure what that does this the uh, mean, it doesn't matter. You will know definitely later. Okay. Then, 照片. 照片 is a picture. 照片 is a picture. Example. Example. I can say. 这是我的照片, right? This is my picture. Uh, 这是我的照片. Here it is. Yes, my picture. Okay. Uh, for example, if you say uh, that is you, okay? If you find me, you can say uh, that is you. How do you say that in Chinese? You will say this. Uh, 那是你, remember 那 is that, so 那是你, that is you. If you're not sure, you may ask me, like, uh, 那是, uh, here, uh, 那是你吗? 吗 for question, is that you? I can say, oh, oh, okay, yes, this is me, uh, this is me. Okay, so I will say, 这是我, this is me. Okay. Good. Um, that's a picture one way in the uh, beer festival in summer in my city, Italian. Me and my friends and uh, some of my students. Okay. Next, Baba, father and dad. Yes, like uh, English, Papa. You know. Uh, the character ba itself itself it just means the father. You can say just say ba is okay. Uh, Baba is uh, uh, sounds more uh, nicer, like uh, better to say that more spoken feeling. Uh, Baba, okay. Uh, also, mama is uh, mother, mom. Also, you can just say ma. It's also okay. Okay. And uh, when you introduced people in the picture, for example, this is my. A mother, how do you say? Okay. We will say, 这是我的妈妈. Okay, 这是我的妈妈. Oh, 这是我的爸爸. This is my father. Next one, 个. 个, oh, 个. 个, 个. 个 is a magic word. It's very important in Chinese language. In English, and we have also magic words, for example, a cup of water, you know, cup, the magic word, uh, and uh, a glass of beer, a pair of shoes, like this. But in Chinese, uh, every object, you need a magic word. It is because the feature of our language, you know, most of Chinese word, the object is just a one or two syllable. Uh, word and even the number, the number like uh, one, two, three, four, five. If you know the number, we say e, r, san, si, wu. They all only one sound, you know. So you need a kind of something to put it to show that's the number, uh, this number to make it very clear. So we put a measure word for all objects. Ge is the common one. We can use the, still like English a cup of water, but if you don't remember or you haven't learned all this measure word, you can just use ge. 
it's no problem. Even Chinese people right now, nowadays, we prefer to use ge for everything because that's easy. Uh, of course, sometimes you need some uh, special feature, special information for this thing. You need a, you know, a certain measure word for it. But normally you can just use ge. ge. For example, one picture, how do you say? You say 一个照片, right? 一个照片, one picture. One person, how do you say? Okay. Uh, 一个人, 一个人. Uh, one Chinese, one Chinese people. So, 一个中国人. Okay, good. The next one is 女, female. New is female. Of course, 女人, it's woman. Yes, uh, woman. Uh, one woman, one lady. Okay, of course, you say 一个女人, uh, 一个女人. Good. The next one. 孩子, child. Uh, okay, again. One child, 一个孩子, uh, 一个孩子. It's who, uh, who. If you want to say who are you, how do you say that? Remember, we don't change the order for the question. Uh, so the question order is the as same as the declarative sentence order. We will say you are who. Uh, we don't say who are you. No. We say you are who. We say 你是... 谁? Uh, 你是谁? All people also can say 谁? It doesn't matter 谁, 谁, they both okay uh, in modern Chinese. Uh, 你是谁? 你是谁? Then you can say uh, 我是 John, uh, 我是 Stephen, like this. Next one, 他, 他 is he, uh, sorry, 他 is she, she or her. Just now I make a mistake, I said uh, he, why? That's a common mistake when Chinese people learn English. We often uh, say uh, he, she, like, uh, oh, uh, my mother is a very good mother, he, some, something, or oh, my father, she, <laughs> you know, we always mix this kind of thing because in Chinese, he and she is uh, one pronunciation, same pronunciation. If you look at here, so ta and uh, ta, here is uh, she, here is uh, he, so same pronunci pronunciation. But if you noticed uh, that character for he or she uh, different. Why? Okay, I'll tell you a story. So actually, about uh, 100 years ago, we don't have the char character, we don't have the word for she, we only have the character or words for he. And uh, in 1918, a professor in Beijing University, he kind of uh, found that that's not good. There's no she in Chinese, you know, and a lot of uh, cases you need that she. Uh, then he kind of invented this character. He kind of just put the man he character and get rid of a radical and put the lady radical for the character to make it the character she. Then we have she. But uh, he didn't change the, uh, to make another pronunciation for this new she. So still she and he, the same pronunciation. Okay, just a story. Uh, uh, next one, 姐姐. 姐姐 is older sister. Mm, oh, I have to say, for you know, older sister, younger sister, we have a different word for older brother, younger brother, we have a different word. It's kind of the uh, person who are older in the family got to the higher position uh, in, in our culture. So uh, they have a different name. So to make people know they are older, you know, older, respect, uh, respectful. Okay. Uh, anyway, 姐姐, um, older sister. 男, 男 is male, so female is 女. Male is none. Example. Nanren, of course, man. 
一个男人 ，one man， 嗯 ，I can say， 我是男人 ，of course， 啊 ，and another silly sentence， 啊、uh, ，silly example，like， 呃，呃，妈妈是 ，I can say 一个 ，you know， one， 一个。女人 ，so mother is a、uh, woman. Okay. Anyway, that's just an example. Then, 弟弟，呃、uh, ，younger brother， 弟弟，呃、uh, ，他 ，that's for man. This one, 大哥啊，大哥 said eldest brother， 大哥。This character 哥啊，哥名字 elder brother。Da is a big anyway. Da is big, big elder brother. That means not means the you know the size of your brother. It means the age. So da ge is the oldest in your family. Uh, if you have a、uh, another brother, the second brother we say 二哥 you know 二哥 or number three we say 三哥 If you have have a a、uh, younger brother, uh, you call it for example number four. You go number four. A、younger brother, you say 四弟啊 like a 弟弟 is younger brother, so 四弟啊 like this. Continue. 儿子 here 儿 means child. 儿 means child. 嗯、um, but 儿子 only means son、uh, for son. And、uh, if you look at here. 女儿 ，of course， 女 is female， so 女儿 together， it's a female child， means your daughter， okay。Then， 呃，有，有 means to have something， 啊、uh, ，to have something。For example， I can say， 我有一个女儿，女儿，嗯。So here, okay. Uh, 我有一个女儿 means I have a daughter, not doctor, daughter. I have a daughter. Okay, good. Then, um, no, that's not true, of course, because I already show you I have a son. Uh, so I will say 我有呃一个儿子，我有一个儿子 Okay. Then so of course I don't have a daughter. How do you, how do I say that? So I will say 我没有我没有女儿 Here I don't have to use 一个 because I don't have so I don't have to say number. I don't have a do daughter. We just say I don't have daughter. Uh, 我没有女儿 Good. So I already use this 没 May means not. Here, it works with 没有没有 means I don't have. One thing you have to remember, remember, 没有 means you don't have something. Always 没有 We have learned another no means 不 but、uh, some students sometimes they say 不有不有 so no have like、uh, don't have. No, so 不有 is not exist. We always say. Mail. Remember, we always say, "Mail. I don't have something. It's or mail." Okay. Then the proper noun. This one, Gao Wen Zhong. Gao is a common surname. One of my best friend is surname the Gao, a Chinese friend, of course. Uh, Wen Zhong is a given name. So Gao Wen Zhong is a Chinese name. Okay, that's all for today. 再见。Okay, let's start. 
Here, 两个男人 two men, they're looking at the picture hanging on the wall. So one man says, 高文中，那是你的照片吗？ Yeah, 高文中 is a, another man's Chinese name. 那是你的照片吗？ Literally, 那 that is 你的 You know, the is a possessive particle. So 你的 your 照片 picture. Ma is for question. So is this your picture? Okay. Then 高文中 another man says, 是啊 Yes, 这是我爸爸 This is my father. If you notice here, your we say 你的 but here they just say I, I father. Actually, it's my father. That's because normally we drop this the when we talk about the family members or your friend or even your company. Normally we say. Uh, my friend, we say I friend, I、uh, my father, I father,、uh, I company to show my company like this. It's very common. Of course, if you say、uh, 我的爸爸 so my father, it's、uh, it's not wrong. It's correct.、Uh, but a lot of people they drop the, the they say 我爸爸 instead of to say 我的爸爸 Okay, here, 我爸爸 This is my mom. This is my mom. This is this is my mom. Even here, here, this is my mom. 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 This is my 我大哥 my big elder brother means my eldest brother. You know, 我大哥 and also here, 呃、uh, ，你大哥 right? Your oldest brother. You see, here is very common. You drop the when you talk about your family members. Okay, the back to here. So, sure, yes, this is my mother. This is my my father. This is my mother. Another man. 呃，这个女孩子是谁 ？OK， so you know, girl is this. 呃、uh, ， girl is measured. Even this girl, you still need measured. You say this a girl, girl, ah,、uh, the measured. OK. So, 女孩子 You you know, 女是 female, 孩子 is child. Together, female child is girl. So this girl, we say 这个女孩子 So, 她是我姐姐。She here means she, but from the the pinyin, the pronunciation, you never know is he or she. Okay. Uh, then how do you, if you want to really want to know, it's a girl or a boy, what can you do? Because she and he we are kind of same word.、Uh, actually, you have to ask. You have to ask. You know, it's like、uh, some of my friend talk. Talk to me a story. Said、uh, Ta do this, Ta do that. So I'm curious about、uh, it's a girl or boy. So at the end I ask,、uh, excuse me, it's a man or woman, <laughs> you know. So this could be a problem. But、uh, here Ta is she. She's 我姐姐 my elder sister. Okay. Then this here you need a match word.、Uh, 这个男孩子，男 is male， 孩子 is child， so male child is boy、啊。This boy， but you need also match word。This girl boy、啊。这个男孩子是你弟弟吗 ？Is your younger brother? Ma for question。不是，不是。If you say no， you can say 不是。It used to deny， to deny。So, 他是我大哥的儿子 He's my elder, eldest brother's 儿子 son. Okay. So, 你大哥有女儿吗 So, your elder brother 有 means have. Ah,、uh, 女儿 daughter have daughter question mark. 他没有女儿他没有女儿 He doesn't have a daughter. Also here, 
use different color. Yo means have. Mayo means don't have. Please remember it. Uh, don't have. Always say mayo. You don't say buyo. Uh, mayo. Okay. Yes, that's the text for today. Uh, then here's my question for you. Nio Nyarma Nio Nyarma. So please leave your answer in comment section. See you next time. Zaijian Kaishi Nihao Nihao Ma Hao Good Buhao Not Good Okay So actually Nihao Ma Like you are good how are you? It's just a greeting. Normally we'll say I'm fine and you will not say oh it's terrible that's so bad you know you will say wo hen hao hen is a degree word means very I very fine and uh, then you may say how are you the same question how about you then you will say ni na do you remember na is for same question ni na okay. Then let's go to the new vocabulary. Cool. Number one, 家. 家 means family or home. For home, like uh, my home, you will say 我, 我家, uh, or 我的家. They both are okay. Do you remember like my home or my family member, my friend, my company? You can drop this, the, or you keep this, the, it doesn't matter. Uh, as the family, for example, there are three people in my family. In Chinese, we say my family has three people. We say 我家有, 有 means have, has. 我家有三个人. So, 三 is three. 个 is major word we learned. Uh, 人 is people. 三个人. Okay, that's 家. The next one. 几. 几 means how many, the way to ask a number. But remember, this 几 is only for kind of small numbers. Uh, 1, 2, 3, could be 10, could be 12, but uh, couldn't be very big number. For example, if you ask uh, how much is uh, television, you cannot use this 几, because it sounds like uh, you can just pay 10 quite or like uh, two dollar to buy this television so if you use ji to ask the person they say what what are you thinking about this you know we have another word for uh, how many in this case but today this ji is for small numbers okay and uh, give you an example how many people in your family you will say ni jia your family you all have ji so literally your home, your home, your family has how many, how many uh, major word ge people. Like this. Okay. Next one. Kao. Kao is a very easy character if you look at the character. Just a, a square, right? It's not the easiest character. Do you know the easiest character? That's a, you can type here. Uh, e oh, means one, and uh, R two, sun three. That's very easy. Just one line, two lines, three lines, one two three. Uh, but this call also very easy. You know, call just your mouth. It just looks like your mouth. Okay. Here is not means mouse, it's a measure word for your uh, family members, number of your family. Because like each person got a mouse, so we used kind of a mouse to stand for people. So got the measure word. Uh, then how do you ask how many people in your family? If you use the measure word call, okay, you will see this. Ni jia yo. How many people do you have in your family? You may ask, just now I said that 你家有几个人, 
the ge, as I said, ge is a common major word. Of course, you can use ge. But here, if you use kao, it's the exactly major word for only your family number. So both are okay. Then, next one, ge ge. Ge ge, it's a older brother. This character ge means, uh, sorry, here, elder brother. So ge ge, also elder brother. As we learned, for example, da ge. What does this mean? Here, make it bigger. And the color, okay, here. Da ge, what does da ge mean? Da is big, ge is elder brother, so it's the oldest brother. Oldest brother, you will say da ge, da ge. Okay, I write it like a big uh, elder brother. Okay. Then, do you remember how to say uh, elder sister? Yes. The, Jie -jie. Uh, Jie -jie. by the way, it's uh, elder sister. By the way, a younger sister, okay, that's a uh, mei mei, mei mei, and uh, that's a uh, younger sister. And uh, younger brother, it's a uh, didi. Okay, so here we say ge ge, jie jie, mei mei, di di. They kind of all like two syllable, same sound uh, word. Ge ge, jie jie, di di, mei mei, like this. Good. Then it's liang. Liang is two. You may know, um, we say er for two. Er is the number two. But if you followed by a measure word, two of something or a pair of something, we always say liang. We say liang ge something. For example, liang ge ren, two people. You will never say er ge ren. Remember, if before the measure word, two of something, a pair of something, you always say liang instead of say er. Liang. Okay. Then uh, continue. Mei Mei, as they said, younger sister. He is and. For example, you and me, right? We will say ni he wo, ni he wo, or uh, jie jie he mei mei, right? Elder sister and the younger sister. Together, you, in English, you have word uh, sisters, right? Sisters. But in Chinese, maybe you have to say younger sisters and uh, elder sisters. Okay. But uh, one thing you have to remember this he is a conjunction word, but only link to word or to object. You cannot connect to sentences. Uh, like in the book, the example, you cannot say my father is a doctor and my mother is a teacher. You cannot use this way to connect the two sentences. You can say uh, we have a, a doctor and a teacher in my family. In this way, doctor and teacher, you can use this. Um, anyway, we will learn this doctor. Uh, it's uh, yi sheng, yi sheng, okay. He, remember teacher, lao shi, okay, good. Next one, da jie, da jie. Da is big, jie is uh, elder sister, so bigger elder sister is the uh, oldest sister. Uh, so remember if the second elder sister you say, R, R jie, then third you say san jie. Okay, 
how about the the, the youngest? Uh, but uh, older than you, uh, still your elder sister. You can say this. Xiao Jie, Xiao Jie, Xiao is a little small, a little elder sister. It's my Xiao Jie, it's my youngest uh, elder sister. But remember, Xiao Jie have another meaning, means uh, Miss. For uh, for example, Miss Wang. How do you say that? Remember Wang. Xiao Jie, right? Wang Xiao Jie. We always put surname first, then address. Good. Next one, R Jie. Second oldest sister. Oh, next. Zuo. Zuo is to do very common verb uh, to do something. For example, you ask your friend, mm, what are we going to do now? Mm? For short, in Chinese, you may just say, uh, 做什么? Literally, 做 is do, right? Do. 什么 means what? So do what? Do what? You want me to do what? What do you want me to do? Okay. 做. Next one, 工作. 工作 is a job or to work. 工作. And uh, I give you an example. 你做什么工作? What does that mean? Literally, you do what job? You do what job? Means uh, what do you do? Uh, what's your job? Mm. Of course, you can use another way to ask the same question, which is, uh, 你的工作是什么? Literally, uh, 你的 is your 工作job, 是, you know, is, 什么, what. So your job is what? 你的工作是什么? You can feel like the way we make a question in Chinese, we don't really change the order. We don't put what at the beginning. We don't move move that. We will say it as same as the declarative sentence in the same way. We just replace the word you want to ask. Actually, that's easier. That's easier. You have to remember this. How? Next one is about your your job. No? 律师, lawyer. 律师. The character Lu means regulation. Regulation or law. This. How about Shi? We learn this Shi. Right? From Lao Shi. As I said, Lao is old, Shi is master, old master. So Shi is a master. You must do good at some like field area. So Lu Shi is a law master. He or she must be good as law Lu Shi. Okay. So people ask you, uh, 你的工作是什么? 你的工作, your job is what? 你的工作是什么? Or, 你做什么工作? You do what job? You can say, 我是律师. I'm a lawyer. Okay, so 我是律师. As I said, you can say 我是一个律师 is also okay. I'm a lawyer, but 一个 is not necessary. Next one. 英文, English. Ying is for England or English. Wen is for language. Wen is for language. Ying Wen is uh, like English language. So English uh, language. What about uh, Zhong Wen? Of course, Zhong here, middle here means China. So China language is uh, of course Chinese. Uh, Chinese. And what about uh, 日本, 日本. If you know 日本, 日本 is Japan, so it's uh, Japanese. Japanese. 
Okay, good. Next one. By the way, how do you say I'm a English teacher? I'm an English teacher. You will say 我是英文老师. I'm an English teacher. Good. Next one is 都. 都 means both or if for you mean two people, then it's both. We use 都. If three people, more than three people, uh, it's all, but you also say do, same word. Uh, remember this do is a adverb, adverb. That means in Chinese you have to put it before verb, before verb. For example, we all English teacher, we are all English teacher. How do you say in Chinese? We put it before to be, before verb. We say 我们, 我们 means we, uh, plural, 我们, 我们都是 put before 是, before to be, 都是英文老师, we all English teacher. Okay. Then, 大学生, 大学生, 大 is big, no, 大 is big, and uh, 学, what does 学 mean? To study. 生 means a kind of person, like English ER, like a, a writer, like this reporter, this kind of person do a certain job. 大学生, big study er. So you're in college. By the way, 大学, big study means university. So Sheng is uh, the person, the person who in university is uh, co college or university students. You will say 大学生. Uh, by the way, what do you think this word? Mm, wait, 中学生, middle school student, of course. Uh, Zhong is middle, uh, middle school students. And uh, how about this one? 小学生 Okay, 小 is small. Primary, primary school student. Good. Then, 大学, university, college, as I said. 医生, also here you got the same 生, uh, 生 like this ER. It's a kind of a person do a certain job. So the then the main thing is what does e means e. So e sheng is doctor. What does e mean? E here means uh, medicine. Okay, it's a medicine medicine person e sheng. And uh, you may know if we count one two three, e also could be number one uh, number one. Actually, that's uh, you're right. Exactly same pronunciation. It's very common that in Chinese there are some words or especially characters because you know every character got only one syllable sound, one sound. So it's very common it's two letters, two characters, same pronunciation. Uh, so you then how how do you know which which one you mean? It depends the you know contact. Then you will know uh, what's the character people mean. Okay, then the proper noun. Here's just a name. Bai Ying Ai. Okay, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Zaijian. Let's look at the dialogue. Here, Bai Ying Ai, the lady's name. 你家有几口人? Literally, your family has ji how many for small number? Here, how many? Ko is measure word for people, ren is people. Then answer, wo jia yo liu kao ren. So my home, my family has liu is uh, number six. Liu kao ren, six people. Okay. If you notice the order of the 
sentence here and uh, also this one. Ni here is wo. Of course, you ask you, then you answer I. Jia here is jia yo has. Ji how many? Then you give six. Remember, ko is measured is ko. Ren is ren. You see the question and the answer. They have the same order. You know, that's we Chinese people do that in this way. We ask question. We don't change the order. We got the same order, question and answer, same order. We just replace the word we want to ask with the question word. Here is the ji, how many? Okay. Then, um, 我爸爸, my father, 我妈妈, my mother, the 一个哥哥, here is the ge. Remember, after this number, you need the measure word. 一个哥哥, elder brother, 两个妹妹, two uh, younger sisters uh, here liang is uh, number two you know r is two but uh, before the measure word you need to say liang uh, liang this two used before measure word uh, remember this liang ge mei mei. also if you notice this mei mei, two sisters we don't say sisters we just say sister uh, in most of the times we don't have plural so single and the plural same word we don't put s or other things uh, 和我 and me uh, Leo 你家有几口人? again the same question 你家 has how many people then 我家有五口人 okay 我家有五口人 here you say here, they're very similar. 你家有几口人? The question word. Then 我家有六口人. Uh, that's the number. Then 你家有几口人? How many? The question word. Then you replace this with 五口人. 五 is the number five. Five. Right. 五口人. Okay. Uh, 大哥, that is big. So elder brother, uh, 二哥, the the second brother, second elder brother, 和我, and me. 你爸爸妈妈做什么工作? So your father, mother, 做 is to do, do. 什么 is what? 工作 is job. So your father, mother, do what kind of job? Then it says, 我爸爸是律师。律师, remember, that's a lawyer. Yeah. My mother is Yingwen is English for language. Right? Wen is language, Ying is for English. Lao Shi, old master, so it's teacher, yeah. English teacher. And then Guga Mei Mei means uh, you know Guga elder brother and younger sister. Do Shi Da Xue Sheng. Here Do means both or could be all, it depends. Those are da jue sheng. Big study er means university students. So I like to make it to the original uh, big study er. Okay, so this sheng is for er, for person's job. So wo mama ye shi lao shi. Ye, remember that's also a teacher. Wo baba shi yi sheng. Yi sheng is a doctor. It, uh, yi is a medicine. Sheng is a er. Okay, so the person who do something to do with the medicine. Doctor. Yep. Hi, 大家好, 我是John. Today we have our new lesson. Okay, let's start. Lesson three, dates and time. 时间. In this lesson, you will learn to use Chinese to tell and speak about time and dates. Talk about one's age and birthday. Invite someone to dinner. Arrange a dinner date. Okay, first vocabulary. Here we are. Okay, start from number one. 九月. You know, 九, 九 means number nine. 
And if you haven't learned Chinese number one to ten, please please learn it. Check it in the book or uh, somewhere in the website to learn it because we need it. You know, from 一二三四五六七八九十 Okay, one to nine. Uh, zero, 零 Okay. Here,、uh, if you look at here, yue. Yue means months. Right here, yue, months, or moon. Basically, it's a, a moon because you know the moon. And、uh, go around one circle is one month, so it's also got meaning months. In Chinese, if you say from like January to、uh, December, that's very easy. You just put a number. January we say 一月 means the first month. Then 二月 second month, this February. And、uh, October is、uh, the tenth month, 十月 like this. Okay, so that's very easy. And、uh, here, 十二十二 you know, 十 is ten, 二 is two, ten two means twelve, twelve. So December, we will say 十二月 right? So just put 十二 and 月、uh, that's、uh, December, okay. Then this one, how? How it's a number?、Uh, how it's a number? For example, we still use this chart twelve. Shi,、uh, I make it shi er. How? Shi er how? It means number twelve.、Uh, let's say you're in a bank. You know, in China there are many people,、uh, many many people. In a bank, you may queue. Because people, then you got the number. That's twelve, number twelve. So how do you say that? You will say Shar Hao.、Uh, so of course there may be speaker said、uh, next one is、uh, number twelve. Or sometimes maybe the speaker got something wrong. Maybe a lady will yelled, "Who is the number twelve?" Okay, how do you say that? Who is number twelve? You will say this. Shui Shi Shar Hao. Okay. Literally, you know, Shui is who, Shui is is, and Shai Hao number twelve. Okay. Also, you use this、uh, number twelve also could be for date, for date.、Um, uh, how do you say, for example,、uh, June twelfth? How do you say this?、Uh, you don't need this dot.、Mm. Okay. It's、uh, 六月十二号 OK, 六 is six. The six months and the twelfth day. Ah,、uh, 六月十二号 And、uh, take the day for example. Today is June twenty eighth. How do you say that? Okay, that's a.、Uh, 六月二十八号啊 ，like this. Okay, good. Then look at this. 星期 and、uh, 星期四。Uh, I'd like to explain the every character, the meaning of each character, so you have the idea why the words like this.、Uh, 星 means star. Star. Okay, I'll give you an example. You know, Starbucks. Of course, you know we have a coffee there. Starbucks. In Chinese, we will say 星 because star is 星 But how do we how do we say bucks? Okay, we just say 八克八克 because it sounds like a box. And we would、uh, not really say it. We say "baka," "xin baka."、Uh, that translate is、uh, very interesting because it kind of mix the、uh, the meaning and the sound. For star, we use meaning. For box, we use sound. So "xin baka."、Uh, 
next time you know if you want to go to Starbucks you can ask the Xin Baker uh, Xin Baker okay so uh, here Qi Xin is star so how about Qi Qi means period a period of time but Xin uh, Qi means week so what's why why Xin Xin the star so has something to do with the week? Why? Okay, good question. And uh, you know, for months, you will say yue in Chinese. Yue means months, also moon. Okay. And how do you say day in Chinese? We will say uh, this one, sorry. Or Tian, that means day in Chinese, and also the character Ri means sun, uh, the sun. Okay, so then you know the the month is moon and the day is the sun. In old time, we don't have a week, we don't have this unit in Chinese. Then we know there's a week every seven days a week. So we must name it, give it a name. So naturally, logically, we use star to make it. So we call it a star period. So that's why we say it xing qi. Xing qi. Literally, star period. OK, good. Then next one, xing qi si. Thursday, you know, si is number four. So literally means uh, uh, the week, uh, number four day in the week, uh, number four day in the week. But we say week number four, xing qi si, week four. Okay, how do you say Saturday? Of course, week six, uh, we say xing qi liu, if you remember, six is liu, uh, xing qi liu. Then, as we mentioned, Tian or Yu uh, means day. Tian or Yu means day. So one day we say Yi Tian. Give you an example. Yi Tian, just uh, one day. Could be just uh, one day, or you promise one day I will be uh, a boss or something. You can say Yi Tian, uh, also Yi Tian. Okay. Okay. Then we look at this 生日, birthday. Uh, 生 means uh, give birth to, or to bear, to born, uh, was born. 日 is day, so together exactly birthday, uh, birthday. We even have a word, it's called 生子, uh, 生子, which means vocabulary. Type it, 生子. I can tell you, 词 means word. But uh, sheng, you know, sheng is born, born. And uh, for you, of course, for you, these words are new words. It's just like uh, newborn, you know. So we call it uh, born word. Sheng means vocabulary. Okay. Here is day, and this one. Jin Jin is this year. Give you another example. Jin Tian. What does that mean? Today. Yes, uh, today. Okay. And Jin uh, Nian, because Nian is year, Tian is day. So Jin Tian today, Jin Nian this year. This year. Okay. Good. Then let's look at this two. Mm. 多, 多 means uh, literally this do means many many or much but here in the book it said uh, could be how many how much uh, it depends if do means how many it will followed by a noun uh, not noun ad adjective uh, adjective so you will say do and uh, 
adjectives. It means、uh, how many,、um, how many, or how something. Actually, not exactly how many, just how.、Uh, give you example. You know, da next one da is big. Can say, 你多大？你多大？ What does that mean? How big are you? You know, knees. You, you. How big? Not, not means your your size. It's kind of a big girl, a big man, <laughs>、uh, like this. Actually, it's for your age.、Uh, we say、uh, for age. Also, we say big, small,、uh, big, age. Okay. For example, if you say 他他很大 normally means he's Old,、uh, he's older. Not means he's big. If you say 他很小，小 is small. Yeah, small means when he's young.、Uh, he's young, not really for the size. The this 多 could be with the other adjective. Could be how heavy or how long, like this.、Uh, just put the 多 and the have、uh, heavy and the 多 and the long to make the question. Then, because people ask you, uh, 你多大 This one, 你多大 How big you are? How old are you? Okay. So you will say, I'm, for example, in the book, uh, eighteen, eighteen years old. You will say, 我十八岁啊，十八岁 This 岁 is years old. It's、uh, for people's age. 啊，十八岁 Sometimes、uh, maybe you can use use it、uh, to your dog is also okay. It's,、uh, two years old, 两岁啊 Remember, it's、uh, if a number two, you will not say 二 If followed by a match word or year, you will always say 两两岁 Okay. Next two. Cheese to eat. Fun is a、uh, meal.、Uh, fun is meal. So together, 吃饭 uh, eat meal, uh, eat meal. But remember, this 吃 is a verb.、Uh, fun is a noun. Together, you, you can translate it just like、uh, to eat.、Uh, but actually, it's eat a meal. Eat a meal. 怎么样 Said,、uh, is it okay or how is that? How about this?、Uh, normally, we put 怎么样 at the end of sentence. You will say the sentence, then you say 怎么样、uh, to ask、uh, other people's opinion. 怎么样 is what, what do you think about it?、Uh, you will say your idea first, then you put 怎么样 at the end.、Uh, at the end. For example, you can say,、uh, "Let's go to eat." What do you think about it? What's your idea? Is that okay? You can say 我们我们 means we 去啊去 is go to 我们去吃饭 okay to eat to eat a meal. Then you put 怎么样 We go to eat. What do you think? People will say 好 you know 好 is good. Okay, okay. Oh. I don't want to eat right now, like this.、Uh, 太热，太热 is a structure thing. So you may know this. Uh, le normally put after verb to make it past tense, but here it's、uh, not the same. Here just used in that certain structure. Together means to something. But remember, you have to put adjective between tai and le.、Uh, you put adjective between. Give example: 太太热了 which means too hot.、Mm, kind of too hot. You don't like it. Too hot.、Uh, but no, not always.、Uh, you know,、um, positive. Not always. You don't like it.、Uh, optative. Sorry.、Mm. If you say、uh, 太好了 then it means it's so good, you know, so 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 good. 
like, like this. So good. 好的。Let's look at this. 谢谢。嗯、mm, ，That's very common. Just means thank or、oh, thanks.、Uh, you even can say 谢谢你。For example. Thank you, right? If for many people, you make it a plural.、Uh, 谢谢你们 Thank you, guys.、Uh, 谢谢你 is only one person in front of you. 谢谢你、uh, 谢谢你们 is many people.、Uh, normally, we don't have ways to make plural for things. The, the phones, like one phone and two phones in Chinese, we just say phone. There's no s. But for people, we have the way we put a man after you to make it a ni man plural. Woman, we for people we can make it plural. Next one, 喜欢 which is like,、uh, can say 我喜欢 something. By the way, here 菜菜是 dishes、uh, dishes. You can say I like、uh, Chinese dishes. No, I like、uh, Chinese food. You will say 我喜欢中国菜 ，right？ 中国菜。Oh, you you like Thai Thai food? Hmm, Thailand food. 我喜欢泰国。We say Thai country. Ah,、uh, you just put 菜，泰国菜。Hmm, like this. 好的。Next one, 还是，还是按的可是 ，that's very similar. 还是，呃，名词 or conjunction， 嗯 ，connect with two part， this one or that one、嗯。This 还是 is only for question. When you ask a person's idea suggestion, you want tea or coffee, you will use this 还是啊，还是。For example, do you like tea or coffee? How do you say that before I write it?、Uh, okay. 呃，你喜欢。茶还是 ，this should could be plural， 还是咖啡 ，do you like tea or coffee？ Then another person will make a choice. They say 我喜欢茶 ，I like tea， 哦，我喜欢咖啡 ，I like coffee。Then another one， 可是 ，but very similar. They all some 是 some 是 ，but 还是 is all。可是，可 is but、uh, together. 可是 but.、Uh. For example, you can say,、um, "I like tea, but today I I drink coffee."、Uh, you can say, 我喜欢茶 then 可是 today 今天啊，今天我喝 is to to drink 啊，喝咖啡。Like this. Okay. Then here, woman, woman. Like I said, you put men after you, me,、uh, he, she to make it a plural. Woman is we,、uh, many people. Next one, 点点 is a dot. For example, I with a pen, I make a dot. That's a, a dot is a 点 Also means a clock because if you look at a clock, there's many dots there. So,、uh, literally, when we ask、uh, what time it is, we are asking how many dots, how many dots. Then maybe three o'clock, we will answer you three dots, three dots. Three o'clock. How do you say?、Uh, so, 三三点 That means three o'clock. But also, it means three dots. That's that's true.、Uh, not joke. Could be three dots. For example, I found、uh, three dots、mm, on the table. Maybe my son made it、uh, like with the pen. <laughs> three dots. Okay. Then、uh, next one, ban of course, half, half, and three、uh, thirty. How do you say? Three thirty. We will say 
三点半。Of course, you can say 三点三十 three thirty. Okay, so let's look at here. 晚上 evening. I'd like to tell you, 晚 means late. 晚 means late. 上 is kind of if you know this character, 上上 is up or on something. 晚上 is kind of in the evening, very late time. So this fading. Anyway, 晚 is late. 晚上 is evening. 晚上 is evening. 见 is to to see to meet somebody. Normally, when you say see you tonight, how do you say in Chinese? We say 晚上见，晚上见。Remember, we always uh put doing something at the end. Uh, we'd like uh, to say to do something at the end. First, we will say time, location. Then we say do what. So in this very short phrase, it's also the same thing. Uh, we will say time first. We will say evening. Then we say meet. Uh, evening meet. Me evening say. It's kind of see you tonight. Uh, see you evening. 晚上见。Uh, 好的。If uh, for example, see you at uh, three o'clock. How do you say that? Definitely we say three o'clock. See.、Uh, we say 三点见 Like this. Easy, eh? Then, um, 再见 I think you you may know this already. 再见 is bye bye. Ah,、uh, 再见 bye bye. 再 means again. Ah,、uh, actually, 再见 means again. See. So remember, we put do something at the end.、Uh, so we put again first.、Uh, so again, see means see you again. In Chinese, it's not necessary to put、uh, you. Ah,、uh, in this case, you just say again, see,、uh, see again. Okay. Then the proper noun, 英国，英国，国 is country. Now, in because it sounds like、uh, England, in so we say in country. Okay. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. 再见。他们在做什么？我们去看看。先把那个泡分两步，假泡分两步。哎，这多好，这多好，能吃。哦，他们在下棋。好，这把就把压。小狗。这不芝麻。他们很喜欢下棋。什么玩意儿？有什么玩意儿？芝麻呀！芝麻没有事儿。芝麻点上，点上，点上点上。看，芝麻没有事儿。回来啦。OK， now let's look at the dialogue. Let's start. 白英爱。九月十二号是星期几？白英爱 ，name。九月十二号 ，Let's make Arabic number. Make it clear. So 九月十二 Okay, how is here? How is day? But here is kind of th. September twelfth. 是 means is. 星期几 You know, 星期 is week. 几 is how many? Week how many? Remember, I told you, in Chinese, it's not like English. When we try to ask a question, we just、uh, we don't you know, change the order of the question. The question order is same as the declarative sentence、uh, order. We just replace the word we want to ask. In this case, "ji" stands for number, especially for、uh, for the date,、uh, the number of the year, months. We will use "ji." To stand for number, okay. Here, and、uh, you say 星期几 and、uh, if you see the answer, it said 星期四 So exactly, she says week number four, which we which means Thursday. 
if you haven't learned the number, please try to learn at least 1 to 10, 0, and it's better 1 to 100. You will do it by yourself, okay? So here, uh, then the lady says, 是星期四, it is Thursday. But in Chinese, you don't have to say it is, you just say it's uh, Thursday. Then the man says, 那天, now is that, that day, 是我的生日, remember 我的 is my, it's my 生日 birthday, it's my birthday. Then the lady says, 是吗, kind of, is it, is that true? Really? Like this, uh, 是吗? 你今天, uh, not 今天, 你今年, 今年 means this year, 多大? This 多 is also for question, means how, how, da is big, how big? But here is not really ask for your size, you know, it's uh, for your age. In Chinese, they ask uh, how big you are, means uh, how old are you, you know. So, how big. Uh, but this do works as uh, how, the meaning how, only followed by an uh, adjective. It means how, okay. So, followed by an uh, adjective. Otherwise, Duo means many, you know, many could be Han Duo, many, Woyo Han Duo, Gong Zuo, I have many works or work to do, you know. Okay, and then the man says, Shi Ba Sui. We make it a number to make it clear. So, Shi Ba Sui means years old, 18 years old. This Sui is not the year, means years old. It's only for people's age. Uh, if you say, you know, we learned the year, uh, we, we learned the year in Chinese is nian. If you say 十八年, that's not correct. That just means 18 years. You know, here you should say 十八岁, 18 years old. Okay. Then here, uh, 我星期四, again, 星期四 is week, 星期四 is week, and uh, 四 is number four, the fourth day of the week, Thursday. 请你吃饭,请你吃饭, okay, here, 请, invite, 你, you, to eat, fun, food, or meal, I invite you eat meal, uh, you will know, you know, in China, in our culture, if I invite you to eat, definitely, you don't have to pay for the food, I will pay everything for you, you just, uh, you know, take your mouth and uh, come, no, that's it. So here, Qing is in white. Also, people can translate as like, I treat you, I treat you today, treat you for dinner, okay, or lunch. Then, 怎么样? This one, 怎么样? We put 怎么样 at the end of sentence to show what's your idea, what do you think about it, or how about this thing? We just make it how about? But you put at the end of the sentence. Uh, for this, you will see the fact what you want to say first. Then you say, "怎么样?" What do you think? "怎么样?" Uh, like this. Okay. Uh, so, "怎么样?" The man says, "太好了." You know, "太 le" structure. You put adjective between "太 le" means two or very, very. Very good, very, very good. Uh, 谢谢, 谢谢. Sometimes we say this 谢谢 twice to make it uh, to show you really like it. Uh, thank you, thank you. You say 谢谢, 谢谢. Uh, Then the lady says, 你喜欢吃中国菜还是, oh, you not clear, 还是美国菜? Uh, you know, 还是, uh, make it uh, up a little bit. Okay, here. 中国菜还是美国菜? 还是 in Chinese is all, but this all only for questions. Remember, only for questions. What does that mean, only for questions? Like this sentence, do you like uh, Chinese food or American food? But if you answer like uh, 
Chinese food or um, American food, both are okay. It doesn't matter. In this case, you use this all. It's not question. You will not say hai shi. Hai shi only for people to choose. This one, hai shi. This one, you must choose. That's a question. If you said that one or that one doesn't matter, you will use another hai shi. I uh, give you here anyway. We haven't learned it yet. That hai shi. Uh, that all. We will use huo zhe. Huo zhe. Um, for spoken, you may make it neutral. Uh, for zhe, huo zhe, huo zhe. For declarative sentence, all. Okay. Then next one. Uh, 我是英国人, I'm England person. Uh, 我是英国人, I'm English. 可是, but. 我喜欢吃中国菜, I like to eat Chinese food. Hmm. So the lady says, how? It's good. Okay. 我们吃中国菜, so we eat Chinese 菜是 dish, dishes, food, Chinese dishes, Chinese food. Hmm. Then 星期四几点, we talk about Thursday. So the man asked Thursday, what time? So look at here, 几点? The same idea, you ask the number, the number of time, a clock, you use 几 for the question, 几点, literally, how many dots, you know, there's many dots on the clock, you say how many dots, then they tell you maybe three dots means three o'clock, okay? So 几点, that's question word, again, a question word, 几, literally, how, how many, what's the number of dots, how many dots? But of course, that means what time? 七点. If you look at here, 七点. As I said, uh, the question, the order of the question, as same as the the answer. You don't change the order. You just replace it with number. So here, 几, ask for number. Then here, you in, when you reply, you just put a number. Here, it's a seven. Okay. So qi dots, qi dots means seven o'clock. Make it o'clock. Okay, should be this one. Seven o'clock. But the ban is half, so kind of seven thirty. Seven o'clock, half. Again, zemian. You put zemian at the end. Remember to ask. Uh, how about that? Then the man says how. 好, 星期四晚上见, 星期四晚上见. Remember, remember I said we like to put doing something at the end. So 见 is to meet, to see, see, to meet. Okay, then you put a time first, say Thursday evening, see. The lady says, 再见. Here you can find this 见 again. 见 is to me, to see. It's 再 means again. 再 means again. So, see you again. Literally, we say, again, see. Okay, thank you for watching. I will see you very soon. Remember to answer my question at the end. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, now we start first vocabulary. 现在, 现在, 现在 means now. For example, now it's uh, 3.30. How do you say that? We say 现在是 is, and this 是 is not necessary. You can say 是 or you don't say 是. 现在是 Okay, or 三点半 for half, 半, 三点半. Oh, for example, uh, can we go to Chinese restaurant? Yes, sure. What time? You say, 现在, now. Okay, 现在, yes, okay, now, now. Mm, 现在, 现在, okay. Now. Mm. Then, uh, next one. 
Fuku is a, a quarter. Uh, it means the time, you know. Uh, for example, it's three forty-five. How do you say? You will say Sandian Ike, one quarter. Sandian Ike. For three forty-five. How do you say? Of course, Sandian Sanke. How do you say three thirty? Sandian Liangke, Arke. No, of course, because we have a half. Sandian Ban, Ban is half. Or you say three thirty, Sandian Sanshi. Like this. Okay. Then next one. Uh, Shi means matter, thing, fairs. For example, you can say, uh, today I'm very busy. I have a lot of uh, stuff, things to do. Uh, you can say, I have a lot of uh, stuff, a lot of things. Uh, you will say, 我, 我有很多, sorry, not stuff, thing. 我有很多事, or 事. In Chinese, you can put er in some words, uh, just a habit. Uh, mostly in North China, like me, the people from north, we'd like to put R. But the people live in the south, normally they don't put R. It's just a habit. Okay. But you know, the Mandarin is based on the accent from the people in the north. So if you put R, I think it's more Mandarin feeling. But actually, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can say shi or shi. Shi, shi. For example, people ask you, are you busy? Like, uh, give you this. Jintian, uh, that's very small, make it big. Jintian ni mang ma? Today you're busy? And Jintian is the last one. Jintian today. Jintian ni mang ma? You can say, uh, not busy, right? You say, bu mang. And uh, I have nothing to do actually. How do you say? 我没 or 没有, you know, 没 or 没有 means don't have. Sure. I will put our uh, shirt. Okay. 我没有 shirt. Means I'm not busy. I have nothing to do. Good. Then, by the way, we have learned 今天, today. 天 is day. Together, 今天, today. Okay. Then, let's continue. 很, very. Actually, I already did that. I told just now, 很忙, very busy. 很 is very. You can put like adjective after 很, like very hot. You will say 很热. 热, 热 is hot. It's very hot. Another example, 很饿. No, zhe, e, they all false tone, but uh, a little different. E means uh, very hungry. That's not true. I eat uh, too much this lunch, so bu e, bu e, but uh, hen e, anyway, very hungry. And the uh, other hen, for example, mm, oh, not this one. Hen kuai, just to give you another one. Kuai is fast. We have learned it. You can say "hang quai" very fast. Could be you are running very fast, or the time passed very fast. Hang quai. Anyway, hang very. Mang busy. Yeah, mang busy. And uh, this one. Ming tian tomorrow. The character Ming means. Bright, uh, bright. Tian. Tian. Oh, not here. Bright. And, uh, tian. Of course, day. Bright day. Okay. Bright day tomorrow. Uh, and if you look at the character, why the character means bright? Because the left side is actually the sun. The sun, and the right side actually is the moon. 
you know, the narrow one, moon, and the sun, the round one. So moon and the sun is the brightest, of course, two stars in the sky. So together means very bright. We kind of, so Ming means bright, also have the meaning tomorrow because, you know, sun goes up, goes down, and the moon up, down, kind of, you know, one day passed, so tomorrow. Okay, uh, next one, 晚饭, you know, 晚 means late, late could be evening, so 饭 is uh, food, late food or evening food. Dinner. Then next one. Look at here. Why? Okay. Why? If you look at here, why means for. For. What we learned. What means what? What? So, why? For what? Kind of. For what? Why you did that? For what reason? What kind of re reason? Mm. I'm very kind. Why? <laughs> so, why? Uh, why? For what? Yeah. Then, if you ask people why, of course they will say it is because uh, it is because they say in way here in way the character in means the reason. Okay, you know, way is for, right? Way is for. So, literally, the reason is for. So, you just treat it as because. Because it is. The reason, reason is. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. Mm. Uh, next one, hi. So, the hi is also to or addition. Uh, for example, I can say, wo. 喜欢, remember, 喜欢, I like. 我喜欢喝, I like to drink uh, coffee. Yes, that's true. Also, I like drink tea. I like to have tea, but we say, in Chinese, we say to drink tea. Huh? And they say, 我还喜欢, 我还喜欢喝茶, 我还喜欢喝茶, like this, 还, uh. Okay, good. Then, Let's see this one. Tong Xue said uh, classmates. I have to say Tong, which means same. Do you know Xue? Okay. Xue means to study. Uh, literally, same study. Of course, your classmates. You, you're in the same classroom. You learn the same thing, the same teacher. Teacher John, mm -hmm. so <laughs> 同学, same study means classmates. Next one, uh, 认识, uh, 认识, means to know something. Normally, it's to know somebody or to know could be to know some character. Uh, often, when you meet Chinese friends at first time, you always say, "I'm happy to know you." Then you will use this one, this 认识 for to know. Uh, you will say. Do you know, I'm very happy, we say 很高兴. Okay, 很高兴, very happy, then we say to know you, 认识你. We don't have to say to in Chinese, we just say very happy, know you. 很高兴, 认识你. Or if you're a lady, for example, on the street, someone say hi, but uh, actually you, you don't know that person, you say I don't know you. Hmm? Why you say hi? So you say, 我, how do you say I don't know you? 我不认识你. I know, know you. <laughs> I don't know you. 我不认识你. And who are you? 你是谁? 你是谁? You are who? They may say, uh, I'm your friend. If you look at here, uh, friend is 朋友. How do you say I'm your friend? You say 我是你的, your 朋友, 你的朋友. Okay. Mm. How do you say, for example, I'm your boyfriend or I'm your girlfriend? Of course, 我是你的女朋友, girlfriend. 
if boyfriend of course you just put a nan male nan pung yo good okay we start dialogue look at the man he says he says bai ying ai again he calls that the lady's name he likes to call the lady's name bai ying ai xian zai ji dian xian zai now ji dian as we mentioned what time how many dots what time now then the lady says bai ying ai wu dian san ke wu dian san ke make it uh, uh, Arabic number, it's uh, clear. Yeah? Five o'clock, three quarters means five forty-five. Then the man says, "Wo liu dian yi ke again I make it uh, Arabic number. Wo liu six dian yi ke six one quarter means six fifteen. Yo shi yo means have has shi thing uh, or things. So I have something to do." At uh, six fifteen, then the lady Bai Ying Ai, she says, "Ni Jin Tian Han Mang." Remember, Jin Tian is today. So you know, Tian is day, Jin Tian today, Han Mang very busy, and uh, Ming Tian means tomorrow. Tian is day, Ming Tian tomorrow, Mang Bu Mang. Here is the structure, a new structure we met today. Literally. Mang bu mang, you know, mang is busy, but bu mang is uh, not busy. That is a very common way in Chinese to ask a question. Like uh, we say, you busy or not busy, to make you to choose this one or that one. Uh, uh, the same thing could be like uh, you like or you don't like. Ni xi huan, bu xi huan, like this. Uh, okay, or. Ni re, bu re, do you feel very hot today or you don't feel that? Okay. Uh, ni chu, bu chu, you go or you don't want to go? Okay. That's a very common way to ask a question. Uh, anyway, so the lady asked the man, give two choices, like busy or not busy. Then the man says, uh, 我今天, today, han mang, very busy. Okay, I make this pen. Very busy. 可是, but, 明天, tomorrow, 不忙, not busy. Oh man, he used the, the two choices, both both two choices the lady offers. Uh, what what the man? Huh? So the lady says, 忙不忙? The man said, oh, today, 忙, yes, tomorrow, 不忙. Okay. And uh, the man says, 有事吗? 有事吗? 有 means have, has. Share, as I said, thing. Ma is for question. Has thing means uh, do you have anything to ask me or want me to do? Means uh, is there anything like this? So the lady, the pretty lady says, uh, 明天, tomorrow, 我请你吃饭. Remember, 请 means invite. Invite you eat. 晚饭, late food, means dinner, eat dinner. I invite you to eat dinner tomorrow. And uh, as I said, normally people invite you, you don't have to pay. So here invite is kind of treat you. Treat you. Then 怎么样? As we always mention, 怎么样? You put always at the end of a sentence to ask what's your opinion? What do you think about it? 怎么样? Then of course, I think the man like like it, hmm? I suppose. So the man said, oh, oh man, he said, 你为什么? You know, 为什么? 为 is for, 什么 is what? For what? What reason you ask me to, to eat? The man said this. Okay, so the man says, 为什么? Why? Why? 请我吃饭, 请 is invite. Invite me to eat. Why you invite me to eat? We're not sure what the man supposed the, the lady will answer. 
So let's say the leader says in way, in way is because. Because 明天是高文中的生日. If you remember, Gao Wenzhong is another man. Shengri is birthday. Shengri is birthday. So tomorrow is Mr. Gao Wenzhong's birthday. Oh, poor man has nothing to do with you. It's another man's birthday. Okay. Then what will this man say to the lady? Say, okay, here. Okay. Then the man says, 是吗? 是吗? Kind of not believe that. Is it? Really? 是吗? Okay. 好, good. 还请谁? 还 means also in addition, sometimes could be still. So here is kind of also you invite who? Only me? Or, okay. So here, also, also you invited who? Who you have invited? Then lady says, hi, also invited, I invited, but here, be, here sometimes we drop the subject. We can just say uh, invited instead of say I invited. So also invited what the Tongxue, my classmates, Leo. So another friend. Then the man says, 那太好了. Here, the word 那, you know 那 means that, but normally you put at the, at the beginning of sentence, 那 means in that case. So, because you invited another friend, also I know him, so that's so good. In that case, uh, 太好了, so good. 我认识的有, do you remember 认识 means no, to know. I know Leo, 他也是, 也also, also 我的朋友, my friend, also my friend. Okay, let's move here a little bit. Here, 明天几点, again, 几点, what time, what time tomorrow. Okay, go back. Then the lady, 白英爱. She says, 明天晚上, tomorrow evening, 明天晚上, 七点半. Also, we make it uh, Arabic number, 7, 点, o'clock, 半, it's half, 7.30, 七点半. Then the man says, 好, it's good, okay. 明天七点半, again, 7.30, 见, to meet. Like, see you tomorrow at 7.30. We say, 明天七点半,见. Uh, say time first and then do something. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time. 再见! Hi, 大家好,我是John. 第四课,爱好,Hobbies. In this lesson, you will learn to use Chinese to say and write the terms for basic personal hobbies. Ask about someone's hobbies. Ask friends out to see a movie. Set up plans for the weekend. Okay, first vocabulary. Okay, here. Zhou Mo, number one, Zhou Mo, the weekend. You know, we learned that Zhou is a week. Mo is an end. So Zhou Mo, week, end. Do you know how to say the end of the year? We learned the year, of course. So that is 年末. 年 is the year, mo is end. Okay, how do you say the end of the month? Of course, 月末. 月 is month, mo is end, like this. Okay, second one. 打球. 打. It's the action with your hand, so to hit, uh, 打, 球 is the ball, 打球, to hit the ball. Uh, so it could be a volleyball, basketball, but it shouldn't be football, because football you have to kick it. Uh, so in that case, we don't say 打球, we say kick the ball. Okay, uh, 球 is the ball, 球 is the ball. 
Do you like football? By the way, football. We call it football. 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 Because football, uh, second tone means foot, and uh, of course, ball. As we learned, it's uh, ball. Football. As I said, you will not say 打打球，要打 football.、Uh, you cannot do that. So we say kick the football. In that case, we say 踢足球 to play the football. Literally, to kick the football. Okay. Then let's、uh, look at the next. Okay, the next four. 看 look at here. 看 Can is to watch, to look at, to read. Has a lot of meaning. Why? Because can is the action with your eyes. Eyes.、Uh, so it doesn't matter if you read a book. We still say, you know, we say look a book, kind of see a book, because you really use your eyes.、Uh, so we say can show. Anyway, we will learn this show later. So can show means、uh, to read. Actually, it's.、Uh, Read a book, can show, and、uh, if you watch a movie, we also say can, can, and、uh, we say can 电影 because anyway you will learn this movie later. Ah,、uh, 电影 is movie. Then、uh, watch、uh, TV. Of course, here is 电视 television. We say 看电视看电视 If you see a doctor, also we will say 看 doctor. Or can, 朋友啊，看朋友，朋友 is friend. So 看朋友 means see a friend. Okay, good. And here, uh, 电视 that's interesting. 电 the character 电 means electricity. 呃，视 vision. So 电视 literally electricity. Vision kind of electricity thing.、Uh, you know, before in the past we don't have electricity things. You know, then we know there's so many this kind of invention, this kind of things. Then you have to name it. Then a lot of this kind of thing with electricity, we just name it with electricity something. Electricity something. For example, uh, uh, telephone, telephone. We will say electricity talking. And the refrigerator here we have, we say electricity ice box. Okay, the movie we say electricity shadow because you know the shadow is kind of.、Hmm? That's the idea.、Uh, one way we make new words. Okay, then anyway you remember this 电 this 电 is electricity and 视 vision together 电视 television. Okay, then let's say. Next, here, ah,、uh, 唱歌唱歌 is sing a song, sing a song. The character 唱 means to sing. That's a verb、uh, to sing, and the 歌 is a song, is a noun. So 唱歌 actually is a verb and a noun. Sing a song, say a song, 唱歌 Okay, how do you say I like to say? I like to say. I like singing. How do you say? We will say, "Uh, 我 I sorry. Do you remember like 喜欢我喜欢唱歌 We say this. 我喜欢唱歌 Okay. And somebody like,、uh, you know, go dancing, right? Like to dance. How do you say dance? Next one. 跳舞 is to dance. But like 唱歌 for 跳舞 the first character 跳 is a verb to jump, like you jump up. You know that's 跳啊 This action is 跳舞 is the noun, the dance. So we're talking about、uh, to dance in Chinese. We we kind of say to to jump this dance,、uh, to jump the dance. We say 跳舞 But together, of course, people just think that's dance.、Uh, Not really. People will, you know, think、uh, this way.、Uh, he's jumping and this dance together, just dance, 跳舞 
I try to split it, just try to make it sure, try to make you understand it, you know, deeper. But it's also useful. For example, we often say, uh, I want Kind of you, you want to have a dance, not two, just the one. So you will put a before wu because wu is a noun. We say one dance, uh, yiga wu. Okay. And uh, the same thing for sing a song. Uh, you say, 我想, 想 means, uh, we use xiang like I'd like to do something. You will say, 我想, uh, so 我想唱一个歌. The first uh, first uh, ge is a measure word. Uh, that ge is a song. Uh, sing a song. Okay. Then if you want to uh, sing a song, I will listen to. You know, I will listen to you. So listen to is ting. That one ting. Ting. Then I can say, mm, I, I listen to your singing. Uh, so what? Uh, 听你唱歌, right? 我听你唱歌. Yeah. Of course, a good example for listen to is listen to music. Music is yinue. We will say 听音乐. Listen to music. Also, the same example I like to listen to music. 我喜欢听音乐, By the way, um, uh, this in, um, what does this in mean? In means a sound. You may know uh, here that letters, it's, uh, we call it a pinyin. Uh, pinyin is the tool to help you to pronounce Chinese characters. Here is a Chinese character, here is a pinyin. Uh, so I write it down. Here's a pin. Oh, sorry. Write it down. Here's a pinyin. Here the yin is the same yin. It's a sound. Pin is kind of to get two things together to match to get some something. Uh, so pinyin is kind of you get one sound, one sound together to make a new sound. That's a pinyin. Uh, okay. Next, shu. Shu is a book. Like we already did the example, Kan Shu. Look at the book, but actually it's the read book, Kan Shu. Next, Dui means right, correct. How do you say, do you like to read a book? How do you say that? We say, you like to read book Ma, right? Ma, for example, uh, for question. 你喜欢看书吗? Then for short, you can say, you know, some way to answer this question. For very short, you can say, 对, means correct, yes. And uh, also you can say, 是的, uh, to confirm some information, you can say, 是的, or just say, 是, uh, like this. Or you can repeat the verb people ask you, because people use 喜欢, do you like, then you can just uh, simply say, yes, I like, then for short, you say, 喜欢, or you even can say, oh, oh, 我喜欢, uh, I like this. So many ways to answer this kind of question. Uh, that. Then let's say next one, 有的. Uh, 有的 means some. And here, 时候 is uh, time. time. Here in the, in the book, we have the sometimes. Sometimes I read books, sometimes I uh, go to the cinema, right? So you will say, 有的时候, means sometime, uh, 有的时候我看书, uh, right? Sometimes I read book. And uh, I have to, uh, have to tell you, 有的时候, for short, people often say 有时候. That also means uh, sometimes, uh, 有时候. 有时候, 有的时候, same meaning. Uh, some people, how do you say? Some people, of course, uh, you will say, 有的, 
人啊，有的人 ，some people，some people like me，some people don't like my lesson。You know, <laughs> you can say, uh, for example, 有的人喜欢呃、uh, 我的课 ，you know, 课 is lesson class.、Uh, then of course, 有的人嗯、um, 有的人不喜欢 ，right? Don't 不喜欢我的课，嗯、um, ，prefer some like pretty lady teacher. Okay. Anyway, ah,、uh, 有的 some. Okay. Then. That one, 电影 As we mentioned, 电影 is electricity. 影 is shadow. 电影 electricity shadow. So movie. So you watch, uh, you see a film or watch a movie. How do you say? Of course, you will use the very useful verb、uh, to say something with your eyes. Say,、uh, 看电影看电影 Okay. Next is.、Uh, 常常 often, uh, like in English. So the very simple sentence, the order is just like English, just like English. We say we often do something. We always say we often do something. So we often do something. That's the order. Then in 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 Chinese, you will say, 我们常常 Do something, for example, 看电影 watch the movie, like this. 我们常常看电影 Good. Then, next one. 那那 We learned that that means that that person, 那个人 Remember, 那个人那个人 that that man, that person. Uh, okay. So 那 but、uh, here. In the text, nice、uh, another usage means in that case,、uh, then normally it happens when you talk with other people, have a conversation, they say something, then you say, oh, oh, in that case, so we will do that.、Uh, so then, okay, then then we we just、uh, because it's rain raining outside, then we will not go out. You will use na na. We, for example, 不出去 not go out. I give you an example. Another example, for example,、uh, people ask you, 你喜欢看电影吗 Do you like to watch movie? You said, ah, 我我很喜欢 We say 我很喜欢 means I like something very much. 很 is very. 我很喜欢看电影 Because you said that, so people said, 那 in that case, so because you said you like to watch the film very much, so, uh, uh 那 Uh, 我请你看电影吧。我请你看电影吧。Okay, so in that case, I treat you to see a film by this kind of suggestion.、Mm, how about that? Okay. Next one, to to go to, just means to go to. Very useful. I can say,、uh, I can even put here.、Uh, 请你去看电影。So I invite you to go to see a film. Okay, I invite you, I invite you to see a film, or I invite you to go to see a film. To just go to, go to somewhere. You just say to somewhere. 好，外国。The correct Y means outside. Outside. And the 国 Yes, we learned it a few days ago.、Uh, 国 is a country. 外国 outside the country means foreign country. 请客，请客 I think we also learned this. 请，请 means could be place, ah,、uh, place. But here means to invite, to invite. And the 客，客 is guest. 客 is guest. Invite guest. What does that mean? <laughs> it said invite somebody to home or、uh, to dinner. That means you will pay. That means you will pay. In China, if you call your friend, ah,、uh, I'd like to invite you to dinner tonight. Please come. Definitely, definitely, your friend will know you will pay. Uh, uh, 
your friend will not really take any money because in China normally who ask who will pay. So if you say 我请客, so it's become a fixed phrase. You say 我请客 means I treat. Even literally means I invite guests, but just means I pay. Watchinker, then people may uh, can try to argue in the you know in the restaurant because Chinese people kind of they uh, actually I think most people know because they know who invited them they know maybe you are going to pay but to just to be polite to show polite you know they not really wait until you pay they may say ah uh, 我, 我请客, 我请客. then you say ah 不, 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 我请客. no 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 I I I pay I pay then finally yes I think they know you will pay. Yeah. Then you just pay it, okay? So you will say "wo qingke," okay? "wo qingke." Yesterday just means yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, by the way, today, today, tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay. Uh, this one. So it's so. Do you remember we learned the because? Because it's in way. In way. Sorry. That's in way. And uh, today, so yi. Okay. So yi means so. You can say because something so, because it's raining, so I will not go out. Something like this. Because you like to watch the movie, so we go to the cinema today. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Like that. Okay, that's all for today. I will see you next time. 再见. <笑>每个人有十三张牌 就是花色是一样的，要么三个联系的，比如说一二。为什么要扎牌？ 五万二三四三四五，胡拉胡拉，胡拉，胡拉，你要又问，对，这是a pair，对，这个是胡的这个牌，然后这样子，这个。Okay, let's look at the dialogue. 白英爱 again, that lady's name, Mrs. Bai. Okay, uh, then the man asked Bai Yingai. 你周末喜欢做什么? You know, as we learned, 周末 is weekend, 喜欢 is like, 做 is do, 什么, what. Literally, you, for this one, weekend, you like to do what? What do you like to do on weekends? Okay, but uh, you know, in Chinese, you will say time first, you will say weekend first, then you say like to do what, okay? Then the pretty lady, Bai Ying Ai, she says, 我喜欢, I like 打球. Remember, 打 is action with your hand. 打球, play balls. This ball must be, could be basketball, volleyball, could be golf, or maybe ping pong in Chinese, very popular. It's a ping pong qiu, a ping pong ball. Uh, but uh, it shouldn't be football, you know. As I said, you have to say cake football in Chinese, not uh, 打 with your hand, okay? 看电视, 看 is action with your eyes. 看电视, 看电视. And uh, 你呢? 
How about you? Then the man says, 我喜欢唱歌 Oh, where's the tone? Okay, then now we have the tone. 唱歌呃，跳舞 ，to sing, to dance. 还喜欢 You know this 还是 also right? Okay, just put here. 还喜欢 also like、uh, 听音乐啊、uh, ，so like、uh, sing a song, sing a song. Okay, also like、uh, not sing song. Sorry, 听 of course is <laughs> listen to、uh, listen to music. Okay, then 你也喜欢 you also like 看书，对不对？ Let the man know, you know, what that lady likes. So, you also like. 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 You also 啊、uh, ，对不对 ？That's very common in Chinese.、Uh, then the lady says, 对 ，so the lady choose the one of it.、Uh, 对，不对 ，so 对。呃、uh, ，有的时候 ，do you remember 有的时候 ？Sometimes 有的时候也喜欢看书。Sometimes also I like uh, read. 啊、uh, ，也喜欢看书。Okay. Then the man, 你喜欢不喜欢看电影？ So here is also affirmative, negative way to ask a question. You like or you don't like 看电影 to see a movie. Ah,、uh, so 你喜欢不喜欢看电影 Of course, there's another way to say that in Chinese. Do you another way to say that? Do you like to see a film? You will say in Chinese. Uh, this one. 呃，你喜欢看电影吗 ？Yes, of course you can use the ma structure put at the end. Or you say 你喜欢不喜欢呢 ？This way. Then since the man asks 喜欢不喜欢 ，the lady says 喜欢。我周末 ，I at 呃、uh, on weekends 常常看电影 ，often watch the film 常常看电影。Okay. Then the man says, "Na, remember this? Na, na means in that case. So because you said you often watch the movie, you like, uh, watch the movie. So na, so, 我们今天呃、uh, here, 这是我们啊，我们今天晚上去看一个外国电影啊。Uh, here is a kind of long sentences. For long sentences, you know." You have to remember the order, understand the order in Chinese.、Uh, so first, we will we will say in Chinese. 我们 means is who, right? Kind of who person. 呃，今天晚上，今天 today 晚上 night the night. It's、uh, when, right? It's the time. And、uh, 去看电影，去看一个外国电影 Go to see a Overseas film, a foreign country film. Let's do what, right? It's kind of a what. I'm, I call it what part. So the order is who, when. Actually, if there's a where,、uh, go to where, then you will put where here and do what to see a film.、Uh, in Chinese, that's the、uh, very common order to make a long sentence: who, when, where, and do what. If you know this. And、uh, should be ninety percent of all the Chinese sentences, you will be correct. Of course, there's some special situation, but、uh, most of sentence just this way: who, when, where, what. We kind of put、uh, do something at the end. That's it's really important. Try to remember this: do something always at at the end. That's opposite to English. In English, you will say, "We will meet at Starbucks at three o'clock." Definitely in Chinese, you will say, "We at three o'clock time first, then location at Starbucks." Then you say to meet, to do something at the end. Okay, remember this. Okay. Then here they say, 怎么样啊？ 
Okay, make it to here. Yeah. 怎么样啊 ？So you remember, 怎么样名字 ？You put at the end of sentence to say how about that.、Uh, what do you think? 我请客啊。Uh, again, as we talk, the 请客 means treat.、Uh, I treat. 呃、uh, ，为什么？ Then the lady says, "Why are you late? Why you late? Why?" Then the man says, "Because, because, yesterday you invited me to dinner. Because yesterday you invited me to dinner. But、uh, actually, as I said, if you invite people in China, that means you will pay.、Uh, so here you can translate like、uh, you pay my food. You invite me to eat.、Uh, so." So, 今天我请你看电影。So today I invite you to see a film. Here the structure also important. The 因为名词 because. Here 所以名词 so. So the structure because that thing so you can make sentence with this. 因为 some something so. Okay. 所以 Then the 白银爱 again. Uh, we talk about the na, right? The na means、uh, in that case. So, because you invite me to to do that, so okay. Uh, 你你也请王鹏、李友好吗？嗯、mm. ，So you also invite、uh, my another two friend,、uh, Wang Peng and Li You, 好吗 ？Is that okay? Then the man said,、um, "Okay, how?"、Mm. So the lady kind of、uh, doesn't want to go along with that man.、Mm. Okay. I will see you next time. 再见。大家好，我是 John Vocabulary。我们开始。Let's start. Number one, 小。用到小 ，is little, small, and the big. We say 大啊，大 big, small, 小。Here we talk about this 小 because we can dress somebody 小 and surname.、Uh, like my friend, they can call me 小王 kind of little 王 If they are older than me, they can call me 小王 Okay. And、uh, as for my father, his friend, people may call him 大王 Okay. Because 大 is big,、uh, 大王big 王 or even 老王 Lao is old, so old Wang like this. So this way to address people is、uh, sounds very nice.、Uh, people call me Xiao Wang.、Mm, yeah, yeah, I feel good.、Mm, Xiao Wang, okay, okay, good name,、uh, good address.、Uh, but it normally is used between your friends and your colleague. Maybe your boss call you like、uh, Xiao and surname, and your colleague call you Xiao surname,、uh, but not from your parents. Uh, your sister, your brother, your family member.、Mm, okay. Then next, how long? How long? So if you look at here, how and long.、Um, you know, how is good. Originally, how means good, but sometimes you can use how as、uh, very also.、Uh, for example, you can say, "I'm busy." How do you say "I'm busy"? You say, "I'm very busy." I'm very busy. Ah,、uh, busy. Of course, if you use how, you can say 我好忙 No problem. Just how is not as common as 很 for the meaning very. But you can use how. Here,、uh, another example. How how 小 is very small, so small, or how 大 so big, like this. Ah,、uh, 小 and 久、uh, This is、uh, funny because you know. The same pronunciation, 酒 could be number nine,、uh, number nine. Also, it could be alcohol, could be, for example, wine.、Uh, it's also 酒 If you say 好酒好酒 this could be good wine. Hmm, 好酒 But、uh, here in the in the book, here it means、uh, long time. So how do you know it's、uh, a good wine or long time? It depends. You will see the context.、Mm, then you know it's a good wine or long time. Okay. 
here they talk about how jiu because they want to say long time no see. Long time no see is how jiu bu jian. Literally, how jiu long time. Bu is no, jian is see to meet. So long time no see come from this how jiu bu jian we say in Chinese. This one. 不错. The character to means wrong. For example, if you say you are wrong, how do you say? You say 你错. Normally we put a le. 你错了, 你错了. But it's kind of strong. Normally we will not say you're wrong. Anyway, uh, 不错, it sounds like not wrong, not wrong. But in spoken Chinese, we say not wrong means pretty good. How do you like my T-shirt? 不错, 不错. Like how are you today? You even can say 不错, not bad, not bad, pretty good, like this. Okay, very useful. 不错. Let's continue. Okay, this one another very very useful word. 想. 想 got a lot of different meaning. Could be miss, for example, I miss you. I can say 我想你. Uh, could be I'd like to do something. Uh, or could be I think. Here in the text means I'd like to do something. You will say 我想. For example, I'd like to see a film. How do you say? You will say 我想看电影. Right? 我想看电影. Okay, then comes the question. How do you like the film? What do you say this? Then you will use this word. 觉得. 觉得 is to feel, to think, but this to feel, to think is kind of your opinion. Uh, so I feel the film is okay. I feel the film is great. Then you will use 觉得. Uh, the question is 你觉得? Remember we put the at the end to to say how. How do you like? How about? So you feel uh this film, how about? Then how do you answer this? Remember the order you answer the question just exactly the same as the question order itself. You will say 我觉得 这个电影, I feel this movie. Then give you idea. Okay. Uh, 很好. Very good. Very good. Okay. That's 觉得, I feel, I think, for your opinion. That one. 有意思. Uh, interesting. 有意思. Okay. Here. 意思 means meaning, uh, 意思 means meaning, but 有意思, 有 means have. have, have some meaning, together means interesting, it doesn't make any sense, but uh, anyway, together, it means interesting, 有意思, uh, just remember, interesting. You can say, I think this movie is interesting, then you just say, 我觉得这个电影很 very, instead of say how, you say, 有意思, 有... Is okay. Then is meaning. I give you example. Sometimes you can ask, 什么意思? Means what's the meaning? Or what do you mean? Why you say that? 什么意思? Or 你什么意思? Or like, uh, what does these words mean? You can say, this word, 这个词, uh, 这个词, 什么意思? Like this. Okay. Then let's look at this zhi. Also very useful. Only. Only. Normally we say zhi do something. For example, uh, a boy and a girl. The boy says, the boy often say, say that, like, uh, 
I only like you. Uh, for example, how do you say that? 我 only 只 like 喜欢 you 你我只喜欢你啊。OK. Oh,、uh, other example. Uh, I only like watch a film again. <laughs> 我只喜欢哎 watch a film 看电影。OK. Good. In the book, the example is、uh, I only want to sleep.、Uh, sleep. How do you say sleep? Sleep is 睡觉啊，睡觉。But here,、um, the first character 睡 means to sleep. If you notice, the to sleep is a verb. It's a verb. But 觉 is sleep. The sleep is a noun.、Uh, so 睡觉 together is literally like sleep asleep. Have a sleep like this. Ah,、uh, 睡觉 Good.、And、then this one. 算了 Forget it. Never mind. How do you use that? For example, your friend buy a a cup of drink for you, and、uh, you want to give him money, but he said, Ah, 算了算了啊 Means forget it, never mind. So I I treat you.、Uh, doesn't matter. Ah,、uh, you can say 算了算了 in this case. Ah,、uh, or in the taxi, uh, you give money to the taxi driver, and、uh, he 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 wants to get some change for you. You can say ah 算了算了 Yeah, forget it. Doesn't matter. Useful. 算了 Then let's look at this. 找 It's a look for. For example, you lost something, definitely you will look for it.、Uh, for example,、um, I look for my book. You say, 我找我的书 I look for my book. Or、oh, you even can use this 找 for you look for somebody. For example, if you go to my classroom and you knock the door and、uh, some someone else open the door, you can say I'm looking for John.、Um, I I like to talk with John. You can say 我找 okay 我找 John like this. 我找我找 John. Next one, 别人 other person, 别人 Other person. Or, 别的别的 means 别 or 别的 means other. For other people, we just say 别人 But for other other things,、uh, you will put 的别的 something. That still makes the book. For example, other books, you will say 别的书 Because we don't have plural for uh book uh, this kind of object.、Uh, it's Uh, so, 别的书 could be one book, could be several books. You don't know, just、uh, another book or other books. 别的 Okay, that's the vocabulary. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. 再见我们在画画。嗯，不能向上，这么下，尽量的用最少的。他是 Steven， 他是美国人。你明白了？嗯，这个意思啊。他画鹤。像这个也是一样，这个，这个也是一样。你看，这是驴、鸭子。头号，对不对？三，这是我。大家好，我是 John， 这是我的画一头驴。我很喜欢我的画你喜欢吗 ？OK， let's look at our dialogue. Here, 小高 Xiao is little. Xiao is little. So little 高
as I said, it's a very nice address, normally between friends, between universe, uh, not university, between colleagues. So little go, li little go, uh, 好久不见, that's a famous phrase, uh, phrase uh, long time no see in Chinese. Uh, long time no see, 好久不见, 你好吗? How are you? 我很好, I, very good. 你, 怎么样? You know, 怎么样, put at the end of sentence to ask how. So, how about you? 你怎么样? Okay. Then, 我也不错, uh, 我也不错. So, we learned this 不错 means not bad. You know, not bad. I'm not bad. Mm. 这个周末你想做什么? As we mentioned, Xiang is the like to do something. Uh, so you'd like to do Shema what? Jigajomo this weekend. Xiang Bu Xiang, here's Xiang. Xiang Bu Xiang. She wants, you like or you don't like Xiang Bu Xiang. Chu Da Chiu, to go to Da Chiu, play ball on Da Chiu. Okay. Then Da Chiu, play ball. Okay, so <laughs> I don't like uh, play ball. Then, na. Do you remember this na means so? So, or could it be in that case? Because you don't like playing ball, in that case, woman. It's, it looks like uh, English women, uh, women, but a woman, we, uh, 去看球, 看, to look at, then to watch, then we, to watch, watch the ball, uh, watch the ball game, 怎么样, how about that? 看球, watching the ball games, 看球, 我觉得, you know, 觉得是 feel, uh, I feel, I think, 看球也没有意思,没有意思, uh, okay, here, 没有意思 means no interesting, no interesting, 有意思 means interesting, but 没有意思, no interesting, I feel also no interesting, boring to watching a ball game, not me and that man, okay, then, we say here, still, na, in that case, 你这个周末想做什么? Remember, 想, the like. So, you, this weekend, you don't like to watch any ball game and play playing balls, so you'd like to do what? The man says, 我只, here, 只 means only. Only? Xiang like wants. I only like to 吃饭, eat meal, 睡觉, go to sleep. What a man. Okay, then here. 算啦, remember, 算啦, okay. Forget it. Just like I didn't ask. Forget it. 算了,算了。我去找别人. 找一次look for, choose go to. So I go to look for 别人, other people. Okay, good. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. 再见! Hey, 大家好,我是John 今天很热 今天30度 30-30 do is degree, 30 degree Very hot, 真的, real, really, really hot 真的很热 OK, anyway, we start our class Lesson 5, uh, visiting friends We say in Chinese, 看朋友 看, look, 朋友, friend, 看朋友 so in this lesson, you will learn to use Chinese to welcome a visitor, like introduce one person to another and complain to one person on his house 
ask for drinks and offer drinks to your visitor like this briefly describe a visitor to a friend's place okay then let's look at the vocabulary first okay vocabulary number one yeah yeah sounds like a kind of surprise yeah yeah like this it's, it's like this no uh, so here this yeah uh, it's not like this it's kind of we put this yeah at the end of a sentence to make it uh, soft for example in the text people say yeah shay yeah yeah you know shay or you can pronounce shui means who uh, if you just say who it's kind of a little strong, a little rude. If you just someone knock door, you say who uh, like this. But if you put this ya yeah, to make it sound a little soft and uh, kind of polite feeling, you say shay ya because this ya yeah is nice. To, we think that's very nice to put this ya yeah, uh, at the end. Sometimes you can even use other words. For example, ah. Some people like say shay ah. It's also saying. Uh, so this ya. Yeah, put at the end of some sentence, make it soft and make people feel a little polite. Good. Second one, uh, it's Jin. Jin is enter. For example, people knock the door, you ask, Shaya, who? Then people say, mm, 我是 John, I'm John, you say, 请进, you know, 请 place, Jin is come, come place, coming place, 请进. You put a qing and you say jin, qing jin. Mm. Next one, kuai. Kuai means fast. It's kind of you run, right? Run very fast. Of course, you can use this kuai. Uh, and I still remember in primary school, we are doing some like text and uh, people, uh, students are running and teacher said kuai, kuai, kuai. Kind of be, be quick, be quick, fast, fast. Kuai, kuai, kuai like this uh, you know in Chinese sometimes you visit your friend and the friend open the door and he will say quite jin lai the next one you know, jin lai is come in quite jin lai is coming quickly coming fast so why fast because we kind of think you know uh, my home is uh, comfortable compared with the uh, outside maybe outside very hot uh, that's real today. Uh, very hot. So coming, coming fast, fast like this. Uh, so it's kind of to show polite and uh, very nice to you. Uh, they say, Kuai qing jin, Kuai qing jin. Uh, that's true. People say, Kuai qing jin. Or like in the book, they say, Kuai jin lai. Say, my dear, Kuai qing jin, Kuai jin lai. Okay. So here, jin lai. Then, lie. Lie just means come. Lie, lie, lie. Come, come, come. Lie. Okay. And then this one, 介绍, introduce. We often say, uh, 我介绍一下. If you look at here, 一下. 一下 is once or a bit. Here, literally, it means a very short time. Very short time. It's like you, for example, uh, this is my kele, uh, but uh, if it's a hammer, uh, then tang, 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 you know, xia is a dang. So yi xia is sounds like one dang. So it's a once, you do the hammer once, tang, that's yi xia. Tang, 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 that's three, san xia. Uh, so yi xia is means very short time. If you say lai, uh, come, lai yi xia is come, come for a while. So Normally, we put this isha after verb to show it's kind of a polite feeling, uh, more nice to say isha. If you just say lai, it's kind of strong. For example, my boss said, uh, John, lai, John, come, come. Uh, so very short, it's kind of like order, you know. But if you put isha, lai isha, kind of uh, the feeling, uh, would you like to come for a while? So it's uh, more soft, more polite. In spoken Chinese, we often put the yisha after verb. So if you want to speak like a native Chinese speaker, you have to put this kind of small word. That's the difference, you know, makes things really different. You say lai yisha instead of just saying lai, lai yisha. Okay, good. 
And uh, here I can say 我介绍一下, kind of uh, um, I'd like to introduce 我介绍一下. Literally, I introduce for for short time for a while. Okay, good. Then this Gaoxing. Gaoxing just means happy. You just remember. Happy, Gaoxing, Gaoxing, happy. Uh, we often say very happy to know you. In Chinese, how do you say that? We say very happy, Hen Gaoxing to know you. We say 认识,认识你. Hen Gaoxing, 认识你. And uh, another way to say that you can say 认识你,很高兴. Both are okay. Okay, 很高兴认识你, or 认识你很高兴, doesn't matter the order in this case. Uh, then, uh, 漂亮, pretty. It could be a very pretty, pretty lady, you can say, ah, 很漂亮, 很漂亮. Or someone's handwriting, you say, ah, 很漂亮. Or my painting, my Chinese painting, do you think beautiful, 很漂亮, could be, maybe. <laughs> okay, 漂亮, beautiful. Next one, 做, yes, just a verb, sit. That's, uh, as I said, the polite way to say, you not just say sit, you know. At least in English, you say have a sit, or have a sit place. So two ways to make it polite. One, you put uh, 请, right, place. You can say 请坐, please sit, please sit down. Or you can say 坐一下, right, 坐一下. Like we just learned, 坐一下. 一下, one down, it's for short time. Sit for short time. It's, I will not uh, take you a long time, you know, just for a while. 坐一下, to show polite. Next, 在. 在 is to be in, on, at. Why? This one syllable word could be at, in, on, so many different uh, situations. Actually, it's like this. We have this kind of very specific word for really in or really on something. But uh, thinking if you want to, your friend ask, where are you, John? So I can say I'm in a restaurant uh, or I'm at the bar. But actually, this at or in is not really important. My friend wants to know actually the bar or the restaurant. So this side just to show, you know, you exist somewhere. Actually, it doesn't matter really in it or on it or at, you know. I'm not, uh, definitely I will mean, not on the roof of the restaurant, right? I must in it. So in China, in Chinese, you just can say, just use this zai. zai somewhere means I just uh, there, you know. Doesn't matter in or on or at, just zai somewhere. So we will say, for example, I'm in a restaurant. We say 我在饭店, restaurant, 饭店. Okay, so you got it. This one, 哪儿, where. Of course, when you ask where are you, you will say 你在, oh, this one. 你在哪儿? Where are you? Then you answer this question, you will say 我在 somewhere, for example, 饭店, restaurant. Of course, you can say this one, next one, it's 学校, right? 我在学校, I'm at the school, or even in the school, or just, you know, we, we just say 在, 在学校. Uh, this 校, the character Xiao means school. Xiao means school. You may ask me, hi, teacher John. So Xiao is school, why you just say Xiao? Why you say Xue Xiao? You know, we prefer, in Chinese, we prefer two syllable words or three syllable words because make it longer. We have too many so short one syllable song, so it's easy to make confused if you say just say xiao, the too too short. Xiao could be different meaning. Uh, other characters could be exactly same pronunciation. Could be school or could be laugh or something else. But xue is a study. Together you make the meaning very clear. That's a school for study. So xue xiao, uh, people will know. Oh, that's school. Good. Next one. He to drink, 
you can hear different things, you know. For example, I can say 我, 我喜欢, I like 喝可乐. You may know, right? 可乐 is this one. That's true, I like it. That's a Chinese character. <laughs> Said 可口可乐. 可口可乐. Coca-Cola. Hmm? 可口可乐 in Chinese. 好的. Here. Dian or Dier. You can say Dian or Dier. Let's say means a little bit. A little bit. As I may mention before, Dian is a dot. A dot. For example, one o'clock, they say Yi Dian. Yi Dian means one dot. You know, on the clock, there's many dots. They say one dot, two dots means two o'clock. So here is the same Dian. So Dier here means means a little, a little. I only want a little. You can say 我 want is 要. You can say 我, 我要一点. 一点. And you can put a or oh, you don't, it doesn't matter. 我要一点. Sometimes you even want a little, little, little. So you can say 我要一点点. 一点点. You even can duplicate this 点, uh, to make it a little, little, little. Very little, okay. Next one, I think you know. That's cha tea. You can say 我要一点茶, a little tea. Sometimes it to show polite. You know, I want a little bit. Maybe you you need more, but you try to make it sounds polite. You you don't want too much. You know, okay. Cafe from the English word coffee. We say cafe, cafe. Ba. This ba is like the very, very beginning, the ya. I said ya to make it a word soft. Shei ya. No. Who? No. <laughs> Who is that? Uh, but the ba you put also at the end of sentence. Uh, normally it's kind of a suggestion to make a suggestion. For example, if you know zhou, zhou is go or walk. Sometimes it could be uh, let's go, uh, we leave, like this. You can say this, uh, woman zhou. We go ba. You put ba is kind of suggestion. Shall we go? Or uh, why not we we, we leave now? Uh, you can say woman zhou ba. I'll give you another example. Uh, ni he cafe ba. If I just say ni he cafe means you drink coffee. That's kind of older, very little rude, you know. So ni he cafe ba. Like, uh, would you like to have some coffee? Uh, maybe some coffee, please. Something like this. Uh, coffee, more like a suggestion. Okay. 要, uh, as I mentioned, want. Uh, 我要一点点, I want a little bit. Uh, 好的,瓶, it's a measure word for bottle. A measure word for bottle. 一瓶, anything. 一瓶可乐, a bottle of Kele, uh, or Yiping Pijo, beer, uh, a bottle of beer. Yiping Pijo. Okay, Yiping anything, a bottle of anything. Okay, that's Kele, which I like it very much. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Uh, 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 that's pinyin. Yes, the pinyin is like this. 可以, uh, can. For example, if you say, can I have a cola? Have a cola? How do you say? You will say, 我可以喝, 可以 is can. So I can drink, 喝, uh, drink. 可乐吗? 我可以喝可乐吗? Can I have a 可乐? Or you make it a little polite. 我可以喝一点. Remember, 一点, a little bit. 一点可乐吗? Right. Then people will say, 可以, no, of course you can. 可以, yeah, can. 你可以, you can. Okay. Next one. 
here. Sorry for example, but uh, <laughs> your friend don't have a Kerle at home, so it's a 对不起, 我们没有, 我们没有可乐, we don't have Kerle. Then mm. you cafe ma, so you want coffee, you want cafe ma, mm. like this. If you say, uh, 对, uh, 对, correct, well, we cafe, I want coffee. And then the friend coffee and say, here you are, how do you say? Uh, we say, we say it very direct, we say, give you. We say 给你, uh, 给你. Okay, so 给你, <laughs> give you. Okay. Then 杯, said so 杯 is a, a match word for cup or glass. It doesn't matter the material, just, you know, <laughs> the container. Uh, 一杯咖啡 or 一杯可乐, uh, 一杯啤酒, okay. 水, of course, water, just water. For example, you don't like any uh, drinks, uh, you just uh, like water. You can say, 我, 我要一点, a little, uh, 一点水, a little water. Good. Then, uh, the proper noun, we got 高小音, it's just a person's name. Uh, 高 is a family name. Xiaoyin is a given name. It's a very standard uh, three character Chinese name. Okay, I hope to I hope you enjoy this lesson and uh, I will see you very soon. Zaijian. Hi, Daja Hao. Yo Shi John. John again. Hmm? Okay. So now we look at the text. 我们看课文, text dialogue. Okay. So here, the doorbell rings. Then the man says, 谁呀? Do you remember this ya yeah, to make it soft? If you just say 谁呼, uh, 谁呀? Sounds nice, sounds soft. Yeah, okay. Then that man says, 是我? Means it's me. We say, yes, we just say it's me. <laughs> 是我. Uh, Wang Peng, uh, Wang Peng, Haiyo Liyo, Haiyo is kind of and, uh, kind of he, uh, he Wang Peng, he Liyo. Okay, then he said, Qing Jin, uh, Qing Jin. That's very useful, very useful. If you say, Qing Jin, please come in, Qing Jin, Qing Jin. If you say twice, it's more like a warm feeling, Qing Jin, Qing Jin, come in, come in, uh, like this, Qing Jin. Then, Kuai Jin Lai. Uh, as we mentioned, the quiet is fast, be quick. You see, outside is so cold. Come, come, uh, quickly, quickly, come into my home. Uh, enjoy the warm uh, room like this. If outside the winter, I uh, enjoy the uh, my my room. Quite, quite, come. Okay, so lie, uh, come. 我介绍一下, remember, 介绍, uh, introduce. Uh, introduce 一下, a little bit. No, 一下, one down means for short time means a little bit. Uh, let me introduce a little bit. It's kind of a polite feeling to put 一下, you know. It's very useful you put 一下 to make it uh, polite. 介绍一下, okay. Then what? Of course, this is uh, so. 这是, 我姐姐, remember 姐姐, older sister, this is my older sister, 高小音, 高小音, okay, and then let's go back. So, here you said, uh, uh, 小音你好, just uh, say the given name, it sounds more close, you know, 小音, because 高小音, if you just say 小音, more close, the relationship. 小音你好, 认识你很高兴, to know, Ni Han Gao Xing, very happy. That's also a very useful sentence. You have to remember when you meet Chinese people. At first time, you will say, always say, Ren Shi Ni Han Gao Xing. Shake hands, ah, Ren Shi Ni Han Gao Xing. Ah, Ren Shi Ni Han Gao Xing, like this. Then another people says, Ren Shi Ni Wo Ye Han Gao Xing. Okay, basically they say the same thing. But here they put uh, you know, ye is also, I also very happy to know you. Mm -hmm. Here, uh, 你们家很大, 
you know, to say something good. So your your home very big, 很大，也很漂亮。You know, 漂亮 beautiful, right? Beautiful. Also very beautiful. Then here, that's also important. 是吗 You know, 是 means is. Like my question, is that true? It's like really, really. They just、uh, kind of apply it because they kind of say, "Ah, your home really big." You say,、ah, "Really?" But you, you know, you know, in your heart, you're very happy.、Mm, yes, I have a big house. And you still say, "Is it really?" Okay. Uh, 请坐，请坐，请坐 They say twice to make it apply. 请坐，请坐 That's also very useful. So I make it yellow color, so you can try to remember it. You can use it. For example, come in, please. 请进 please come in. Then you say, 请坐 please sit down. And then next thing, you know what? It's 请喝茶 please drink tea. Always like this. 请进请坐请喝茶 Okay, 请坐请坐 Then, 小英。你在哪儿工作？在 to be at in on 啊，在哪儿 ？Where 工作 ？Work。你在哪儿工作 ？OK， just work。Literally where where does you work？ Where do you work？ Of course， 你在哪儿工作 ？Then the lady says， 我在学校工作。Do you remember? School is school. Ah,、uh, this one school. 工作 is work. I at school work. Work for school. 呃、uh, ，你们想想 ，it's、uh, would like. You can translate like the like, right? You'd like to 喝 drink. In English, you say have to have, but we must say to drink what? Because that's to drink. We don't say to have. You know. So, 呃，你们想喝点儿 a little bit, make it polite a little bit. What? 你们想喝点儿什么 ？Okay. Then here, uh, then they give you the the offer. What drinks she can offer you? So, 喝茶 drink tea, 还是 here 还是 means or. For question,、uh, this one or that one, you will say 还是 that one, 还是 that one. So 喝茶还是喝咖啡 or drink coffee. Of course, you can drop this 喝 drink. You just say 茶还是咖啡 tea or coffee. Yes.、Mm. 好，那次 back to the this side. Okay. So you said、uh, 我要 You know, yeah, you can translate just like、uh, want,、uh, want. So here is the 想 it's more I'd like, more polite. 我要 just I want. 我要一杯可乐 I want、uh, one cup of 可乐 right? 可乐可以吗可以 means can. The can I? You say 可以吗 means okay, like this. Okay. Am I allowed to do that like this?、Uh, but.、Uh, Sorry, ah,、uh, the lady says, 对不起 sorry, 对不起，我们家 my home, 嗯，没有可乐 you know, 没有 we don't have 可乐 we don't have 可乐 Then the lady says, 那 do you remember 那那 means that, but here means in that case, in that case, so in that case, since you don't have 可乐，那给我 give me, right, 给我 give me 一杯呃。A cup of 水 It could be a glass of glass of. It doesn't matter. Water. Do you remember bar? Bar is kind of as I said to show suggestion. Of course, you can also to you yourself like、um, how about just give me a water like this. So you put bar at the end. Okay. So try to remember some very useful phrases. You know, as I said.、Uh, Uh, coming, please. How do you say? Here,、uh, the red, the yellow color. 请进 Coming, please. 请进 Sit down, please. How do you say? Here,、uh, this one. 请坐请坐 And、uh, have some tea, please. 请喝茶 Okay. Also, nice to meet you. You use this one. Here,、uh, 认识你很高兴 To know you very happy. 
like this. Okay, and the other very useful phrases you may also have a look. 好的，谢谢大家，下次见。大家好，我是 John。今天我们学习新的生词。We're learning new vocabulary today. 我们开始 ，We start. 开始 ，start. Okay. Number one is 玩哦，玩儿。You can pronounce 玩哦 ，with r sound. 玩儿。Okay. 玩 is to play. Could be children play. It's kind of play ball, or just to have something to have fun. To have Have fun. Give an example. 玩球，球 is ball. So play ball, you can say 玩球 Or I can say 我去你家玩 I go to your home to have some fun. That's 我去你家玩 Okay. Then the second one. Le, le. You may already know. Uh, le have a lot of usage actually, but the most common one is for past tense. If you put le after verb to make the verb the past tense, like English you put ed after the verb. In Chinese you just put le to show you did it, you did it yesterday or in the past. For example, if you say 我去了饭店 right? 去 is go, but 去了 is went. 我 I went to restaurants. 啊，我看了电影 ，so I watched a movie, right? 看了电影 Of course, we also use this love for another or some other different structures to got different usage. Then later we can talk about it. Then you will know them step by step. But right now, you just uh, it's okay. You just know it's as uh, past tense. Okay. Next one is 图书馆 library. Uh, 图 that means picture or map. And the 书 of course it means book. 馆 It's a kind of a place, a place. Normally, this place is big, big, like a hall, things like this. So, 图书馆 is like a big hall with a lot of maps, pictures, and book. So we say 图书馆 picture, book, hall. Okay. Next one, 一起 together. In Chinese. We often say we together do something. Maybe because we are so many people, so often we just not not only myself means maybe me and my friend together to do something. Okay, so we often say 我们一起 do something. For example, these two examples. 我去饭店 You can say, uh, 我们 You put 们 here and uh, 一起 去饭店 ，so we together go to restaurants. And、uh, 我看电影 ，you can make it 我们一起看电影。You put 一起 before verb before do something. We we say we together do something. We together do something. 我们一起看电影，我们一起去饭店。好的。Then let's see here. Okay, here. Again with R sound, you can say 聊天。Or you put R, 聊天儿，天儿啊，聊天，聊天儿。Okay, so literally, this 聊 means to chat, to chat. It's an, should be something not really important. It's just uh, uh, some daily things like how are you doing, 
how, how is your son? What's the weather? Like this, uh, Liao. And the uh, Tian, Tian is the uh, sky. So Liao Tian, literally, you talk about uh, uh, something related to the sky, uh, so the weather or something. So something not important, just a uh, free chat or just a chat, uh, Liao Tian. You can say, 我喜欢聊天. 我喜欢聊天. Okay. Next one. 才. Here it said, uh, 才 means not only, uh, not until or only then. What does that mean? So I can give you some example. Why not until? Uh, I give you example. For example, 我昨天, yesterday, 昨天晚上, evening, 十二点, 12 o'clock, 才回家. Now, 回家 is a return home. So, basically, I, yesterday evening, 12 o'clock, that's midnight, went home, returned home, right? So, if I put 才, 才, before the verb, that to show very late, uh, very late. So that's why it said not until, it's kind of, I didn't return home until 12 o'clock. Uh, but actually this cai, to make people, when you use cai, people will think, uh, you think that's very late. Uh, 十二点才回家. Mm. Okay, another example. 你才 回来, uh, come back. 你才回来, it's kind of complain. For example, your wife, your husband say that to you. 你才回来, so you just uh, returned, or you returned that's so late. Uh, why you do that so late? Uh, so 你才, this 才 have the feeling that's very, very late. Okay. That's the word I have used. 回家, 回 is return. 家 is home, return home. They say 回家, 回家. In English, you may say go home. Uh, go home, people may just uh, literally say 去, uh, 去家, 去 is go, 去家. But we never say 去家, we always say 回家, because kind of we always say return home, not really go home. Uh, we say return home, 回家, remember this. Okay. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time for the conversation. 再见! Let's look at the text. And very easy, actually. Okay, let's look at it. It says, 昨天晚上, 昨天晚上, here, uh, yesterday evening, uh, Wang Peng and Li Yu, Wang Peng and Li Yu, to go to Gao Wen Zhong Jia War, Gao Wen Zhong's home, War, remember War is to play, here is to have some fun, uh, have some fun. So, Zai Gao Wen Zhong Jia, so Zai to be in at on, just uh, to show you uh, there, right? It doesn't matter in on. So Zai Gao Wen Song Jia at uh, Gao Wen Song's home. 他们认识了, here this le, you know, you put the le after verb to show past tense, to show past tense. Okay, uh, 认识了, uh, known. 高文松的姐姐, 高文松's elder brother, 他叫高小英, of course, they got the same family name, Gao and Xiaoyin uh, gave a name. Uh, 在 学校的图书馆, so still Zai, for location you need this Zai at in on. Zai the school's Tushuguan, the library, Gongzuo, work, Gongzuo um, is work. So, uh, work in school's library, work at the school's library. So remember, normally we put do something at the end, we will say the location first. In Chinese, definitely you will say, uh, in the library first, then you say work. Uh, okay. 他请, 
Wang Peng He Cafe. Here Qing is the uh, invite or treat. So he treats Wang Peng uh, He Cha, sorry, He Cha, drink tea. We don't say have tea, we say drink tea. He Cha. Wang Peng He Le Liang Bei. Wang Peng drank Le here also for past tense, right? Le Liang Bei. Two cups or two bottles. Uh, bottle cup is Bei. You have to say Liang, you can't just say Ar Bei. For two of something, normally you say Liang, you don't say Ar, uh, Liang Bei, always Liang Bei, no Ar Bei. Uh, Liu Bu He Cha, so Liu uh, doesn't like tea, uh, so didn't drink tea. Zhi He, Zhi is only, remember? Zhi He Le Yi Bei Shui, only Le past tense. Only drank Yi Bei one cup of water. They uh, together. So uh, when we learn the vocabulary, you know, I said we often say Yi Chinese people, we, because we are so many people, we often do something together. So we often say we do something. So they they together liao tiars to to chat, liao tiar talk about the the sky, the weather, uh, chat just nothing serious. Kan dian shi to watch the TV. Uh, Wang Peng he Li Yao, Wang Peng and Li Yao. 晚上十二点 in the evening, twelve o'clock is midnight. 才回家回家 returns home, returned home. Here 才 as I mentioned. To show something, it's very late. It's kind of the opinion of the writer. The writer or you think that's late, so you put cai before the verb, cai hui jia. So it's kind of you can translate like uh, Wang Peng and Li Yao uh, in the evening, 12 o'clock, returned home, which is uh, which was very late this reading. Okay. So something important here. Uh, le, uh, there's some le here. It's for past tense, you know. He la, uh, drunk, right? He la, drunk, right? So that's for past tense. And uh, here, cai, also it's an important structure to show something you think which is very late. That's a kind of uh, special in Chinese. We're going to learn new lesson. So in this lesson, you will learn to use Chinese to answer a phone call and to start a phone conversation, set up an appointment with a teacher on the phone, ask a favor, ask someone to return your phone call. Okay, let's look at the vocabulary first. Okay. Number one, gay. You know, we have learned gay means to give. For example, I give you an apple. I can say, 我给你一个 苹果. 苹果 is apple. And uh, today, the same gay, but uh, we use different way. Could be two or four. I give you an example. If you look at here, 打电话, 打电话, make a phone call. 打, it's any movement action with your hand to be play ball or you hit something or you make a phone call d d d d right that's da dian hua is telephone so da dian hua make a phone call then we just take it as example i can say wo gei ni da dian hua which means i make a phone call to you so gei ni not really i give you something actually here means to you to your side, you know, make a phone call, but the phone call is to your side. So, 我给你打电话. You can treat this gay as two. Another example, 我给你买了一个礼物. 礼物 means gift. So, I 给你, 给你, actually here is for you. I for you, 买了一个礼物, 买 is buy, 
eagerly one gift is I bought a gift for you. We say I for you buy a gift, bought a gift. As I always always say, you know, uh, normally we put do something at the end. So we will definitely we will say I for you bought a gift. So here this gay is more like for you. But uh, you can still feel this kind of give you the feeling. But uh, when you translate it, it's better to say for you, you know. That's why gay have the meaning give or to or for. Okay. Then also here da dian hua. We have mentioned this da dian hua. Make a phone call. Mm. Dian hua telephone. You know, dian is electricity. Hua is speech talking. Dian hua is electricity talking. Dian hua. That when you make a phone call, you will say, Hello, uh, this is John. We Chinese people often we will say Wei, or some people say Wei, some people say Wei. So there's two pronunciation. Could be Wei, could be Wei, could be Wei. So you can choose the one you like. Normally I will say Wei, you know, to make it uh, sound happy Wei, not Wei, uh, a little angry. Okay. Anyway, then next one here. 在, we have learned it to be at in on. Here is also similar to be present. Uh, present means you present there. Uh. So for example, 我在家, 我在家, I at home. Um, 我在家. Okay. Uh, next one. 就, 就 is said uh, precisely or exactly. Exactly. Uh, we still take the phone call, for example. Someone called me, said, uh, uh, 我找, 找 means look for in Chinese. Uh, I'm looking for John on the phone. 我找, John. Um, 我找, see, John. Or people will say another way, they say, John, 在吗? Kind of John Zaijama, is John at home, is John in the office, is John there, like this. So I can just say, uh, 我就是John, uh, to fill this still, uh, 我就是John. So, 就 is exactly, I exactly the John, means uh, yes, I am, I'm John. 我就是John, this is due to emphasize exactly, uh, not the fake one. Mm. Okay, so next one, 您. We learned that 您 is you, 您 just a platform of 您. Uh, normally, sometimes, you know, 您好 is hello, but if you change it a little bit, you say 您好, that's much polite. Uh, for example, you want to, some situation, you really want to show some respect for a very old professor, you can say 您好, so that's very polite. People will feel happy to hear that. Oh, sometimes the first time to meet somebody, because the first time, so you want to use some polite word uh, to in case something wrong, like uh, you may say 您好, 您好. But the second time when you met a friend, you become a friend, you may just say ni hao because you kind of use keep using ni hao, ni hao so polite, so you can you people will feel the kind of you know the distance is it's become uh, long or big like thing, like things like this. Okay. So to the familiar people normally you just say ni hao. But uh, to the person you just meet at the first time you may say ni hao or to uh, uh, old people or a professor, someone you respect, you say nin hao. Good. Next one. Na or nei. Which. Um, we learned this na could be where, but also could be which. For example, very common question. Ni shi na guo ren. Which country are you from? So literally you Shi are na which guo country? You are which country person? It makes sense, okay. Ni shi na guo ren, like this. Or oh, someone talk about uh, buying something, you can say there's so many, you can say na ge, which one? 
哪个 ？The measure word 个，哪个 ？Actually， 哪个 ？For example， 哪个苹果 ？Which apple？ But you can just say 哪个。Ah，、uh, you can drop the 苹果 ，be if people know you mean apple， so you just say 哪个 ？Which one？ Oh, if you use at the you ask a person which which person、uh, here, wait is the measure word. This M is the measure word, so it's a polite measure word for person.、Uh, person instead of say which one, you may say、uh, instead of say 哪个 you may say 哪位 for person only for person. So people when they hear the way, they know you mean person, not apple, not Other things in restaurants, they always ask you, like,、uh, may I ask how many people you have? Then they say, 请问 please ask. So may I ask? And they say, 几位几 is the,、uh, the question for number. No, normally not big number, small number. It's how many? So how many people? 几位 That's a polite way to ask. 几位好的 Next, 下午 Afternoon, xia is down. You know, shang is up, xia is down. Wu means noon, down noon means afternoon. Okay, so shang wu, update shang wu means,、uh, of course, morning, morning. The xia wu means afternoon. Okay, then, and、uh, by the way, 中午中午 means noon. 中午 means middle. 上 is up, 中 is middle, 下 is down. So 上午中午 and 下午 morning, noon, afternoon. Good. And let's see that. 时间 time, this time. For example, people ask, 什么时间什么 means what? So what time? 什么时间 ？For example, you want to meet somebody, you have to say that. 什么时间？什么时间见？啊 ，What time to meet? 啊 ，OK. Or you can say anything with 时间。For example, 呃，时间不多。You know, 多 is many. 不多 not many. Means the time is not much. Means I I don't have a lot of time. You know, we have to talk in a short time very soon. 时间不多。Next, 问题。问题 could be question, could be problem.、Uh, problem. 时间不多 ，but、uh, 问题很多。But the problem are a lot, you know. So you can say 问题很多。Or in the class, you can ask your teacher. You can say, 我有问题，因为我有问题。I have a question. Right? 有 have 啊，我有问题。嗯。Uh, but you know, 问题 also could be problem.、Uh, so in this case, in some situation, it could be I have a problem. I have a big problem. You can say, 呃，我有一个大问题啊。I have a big problem. It's、uh, kind of not easy to handle with like this. Okay. Next, Yao. Yao got a lot of meaning.、Uh, this could be will, be going to, or want, or need. A different meaning. It depends. So you may ask,、uh, how how can I know what does it mean in a certain sentence? So it depends. It depends the context.、Uh, context. For example, in a restaurant, you say, 我要一杯咖啡 right? 一杯咖啡 I want a cup of coffee. It must be want, right? It、uh, shouldn't be I'm going to a cup of coffee. It doesn't make sense. So 我要 I want in restaurants. But if you say 我明天要 let's say 出差 we may haven't learned 出差出差 is go for a business trip. 我明天要出差 So I tomorrow it should be. Will or be going to right? To try go on a business, go for a business trip. So you know that's going to. So it depends. Okay.、Mm, let's continue. Okay, here. 
开会 ，to have a meeting 啊，开会，呃，开啊 ，this word 开 means open， be open the door， and、uh, could be turn on， turn on the air conditioner， turn on the TV， that's 开 ，also could be to start something， start something。So Kai Hui, this Kai is more to start the meeting. So when you translate it, it's like to have a meeting, to attend a meeting, you will use Kai Hui's meeting. Kai Hui, have a meeting. You can say, 我今天上午要开会 We just mentioned this 上午 and 要 So literally, I today morning will have a meeting. Okay, or attend a meeting. 会 meeting and 上午 morning we have mentioned it. Look at look at here. 结 It's a major word. So the original meaning 结 is the jolt. Jolt is kind of you know my arm here. The jolt that's 结 or a part of something、It、could be from this part to that part. That's also 结 So uh, another example, you see this bamboo, this bamboo. So here, 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 this is 结结 and a part of bamboo also could be 结 a part of something. So you use this 结 as a measure word. It means、uh, that thing should be divided into parts, different parts. It's like class, you know. There's、uh, one class and a break time and another class. So you can say 一节课 means one class because there's a break. It's like here, you know, 一节课两节课 something like this. Or could be the the bus for the train, you know, 一节两节三节 things like this. You can use the measure word 节 So example, 一节课 one class. Of course, the "ge" is the common measure word. You can use "ge" for anything. 一个课 no problem, no problem. "Ge" is class course.、Yeah. This one, 年级 just the, the grade,、uh, the grade. For example, uh, like uh, a child, maybe he's in 一年级 right? 一年级 grade one. But we say one, then we say grade、uh, one, grade grade one, 一年级哦二年级三年级六年级 grade six, like this. And of course, in school, you have to take examination. Uh, 考试考试 is said give or take examination. 考试考 Look at here. 考 is give or take. A text is 考 It's a verb. 考 is a verb. 是 normally it's here.、Uh, in this word, 是 is a noun. Means the text. So, 考试 is kind of take the text. 考试 like that. But 是 got other meaning. That's a totally different thing. It's if 是 as a verb is to try to try something. For example, you go to a shop. You want to buy clothes. You can say, "Uh, let me have a try." You can say, "我." 试试，我试试。I have a try. We like to say verb twice to make it a soft feeling.、Uh, it's like English, have a try. Or we can say 我试一试，我试一试。You even can put e、uh, means one、uh, between two same verb to make it、uh, this feeling. I have a try. 我试一试。And when you try to pronounce it,、uh, to speak it. The second is even the same is, but you you pronounce it neutral, but it sounds good. What is? Okay. Next one, 以后 after after. For for example, after ten years, how do you say that in your mind? After ten years, we say ten years after. We say 十年以后 the opposite to English. Ten years, we say 十年以后十年以后 Then this one, kong, or some people pronounce kong have a r sound, kong or kong. It depends. So either which one you like, you just say that.、Uh, means、uh, here means free time. The character itself means space. 
of course, so space, you can say, uh, free time is a uh, you know, similar thing. So Kong also could be free time. If you have free time, how do you say? You say, 我有空. I have free time. I don't have free time, unfortunately. How do you say? 我没有, don't, don't have, 没有空. 我没有空. Do you have free time? How do you say? You say, you have free time ma? Right? 你有空吗? Okay, good. Then, 要事. It's a uh, 要事. means if. Uh, means if. For example, if you have free time, please come to my home. How do you say? 要是你有空, then please, 请, come to my home, 来我家. Okay, easy, right? <laughs> Good. Next one. 方便, convenience, convenience. It just means convenience. For example, 很方便, very convenient. Come to my home, very convenient. 来我家, 很方便, 很方便. Okay. I'll give you another example, which is not in the book. Uh, 方便面, 方便面. 面 means the noodle. 面 means noodle. Actually, 面 itself is kind of the flour pounder, you know, the, the thing you make the dough and make the noodle. But uh, for short, uh, we just say 面, uh, no, could be noodle. 方便面, convenient, convenient noodle. Uh, it's the kind of uh, lemon, you know, the uh, very convenient. You just put hot water, you can have it. Uh, this kind of noodle, we call it 方便面. Next one, Dao, arrive, arrive or go to, go to. Give you an example. For example, 我, 我到北京, yeah, I go to Beijing and do something, right? So, 出差, I just mentioned, 出差 is go for business trip. So, 我, I go to Beijing for business trip. 我到北京, 出差. Or, 到 could be a ride. If you take a taxi, then you can tell the taxi driver, 到啦. You know, 了 is for past tense or uh, finished. Let's say 到了 means arrived, means a stop. Stop here. Eh? We arrived. Uh, 到了. Okay. Look at here. 办公室, office. Literally, 办 means to, to handle, uh, to handle, to do with it. And uh, 工, which means uh, public. Like a 公园, it's a park. 公园, public park. 公. 是, okay. Which means room. 办公室, literally, we handle some public thing. The room, the room. The room we do this kind of thing. Uh, 办公室, okay, office. Next one, 行, means all right, okay. Mm, can I come in? Okay. Or oh, like, uh, could you do something for me? Can Can you do me a favor? You can say all right. You can say 行. We have some way to say this all right. Uh, one is 行. Today we learned it, 行. Uh, could it be 可以, which means okay. Could be how. How is literally good, but also could be okay, no problem, good. Mm. Next, done. To wait or wait for. You don't have to say for in Chinese in this case. You don't have to say I'm waiting for you. You, you just say in Chinese, I wait you. 我等你, if you want to show I am waiting for you, this kind of uh, waiting, not just wait, you may put 在, 我在等, excuse me, 我在等你, means I'm waiting for you. If just 我等你, means I wait you, I wait you, no matter how late, it's kind of like this. Next one, 别, don't. 别, you can put 别 and the verb. 
，别走 ，Don't go，Don't go， 别 go, 走哈，哦、啊，别吃 ，Don't eat it， 别喝 ，Don't drink，just 别 do something，Don't do something 啊 ，OK，Then、okay. here they have a 别客气，客气是 polite。别客气 ，Don't be polite. <laughs> Normally, if you say thank you, 谢谢 you can say 不客气 which we learned. Or you say this, 别客气 Don't be polite. That means、uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. We're friend. You don't have to be so polite. Say that. But it's just a greeting. You know, just、uh, <laughs> not really mean something.、Uh, don't be polite. 别客气，别客气 Okay. Anyway, you have to remember this. 别 means don't. Proper noun. 常老师 Yeah. 老师 is teacher. So 常 is a, a Chinese surname. 常老师 teacher 常 Okay, that's all, all for the vocabulary. And、uh, I will talk to you soon. 再见大家好今天我们学习课文。That we learn conversation. Okay, so let's look at here. Li You 给常老师打电话。Li You here 给名字 to 常老师 to teacher 常打电话。打 is action with your hand. 电话 is telephone. So 打电话 to 常老师给常老师打电话 Because we put Do something at the end, so we say the direction first to Chang 老师 make a phone call. Okay, 给常老师打电话 Then said, 喂 Yeah, <laughs> when we answer the phone, Chinese people, 喂 Okay. Then another person, 喂请问 may I ask? Very polite. Chang 老师在吗 The teacher Chang there. 在是 here means to be present. 在吗 ？Kind of 常老师在 office 吗？哦，常老师在家吗 ？It doesn't matter. So 常老师在吗 ？Normally you just say 在吗、um, ？There. Then teacher 常常老师 said， 我就是啊，我就是。就名词 exactly. I exactly Mr. Chang and Chang 常老师 and Mrs. Chang. 嗯、mm, ，not the fake one. Okay. Who are you? 呃，你是哪位？ Sorry, 您是哪位 ？The polite. Normally, to a stranger or a person you first met, you may use 您 You know, 您 a little polite. 您是哪位 ？You are 哪一次 ？Which? 哪 could be where, but here means which. Which is a measure word for person. So 您是哪位 ？So you are which person? But、uh, politely. Okay. So 老师您好。It's very polite because to teacher, it's better to say 您 instead of 你啊。老师您好，我是李友。Then the teacher, 李友，有事儿吗？有事儿吗 ？That's very common in Chinese to ask 有事儿吗 ？You know, 事儿哦，事 means thing. Thing. 有事儿吗？有 means have have things means do you have anything? To ask me or something like this. 有事儿吗？那老师，今天下午 ，today afternoon， 您有时间吗？时间 is time. So today afternoon, do you have time? 有时间吗？我想问。Okay, when of course ask, ask something. 我想问。Okay, can hear. 我想问您 ，of course, very polite for you. I ask you, 几几 means a few.、Uh, let's look at here. 几个问题 ，a few questions. 问题 is question. Few question. Of course, teacher, teacher like to answer your questions like me. But that teacher said, 对不起 ，sorry. 今天下午 ，today afternoon. This afternoon, but we say today afternoon. 今天下午我要开会。You know, 要 got a lot of meaning. A lot of meaning could be will, going to, want, need. Here means will. Oh, I'm going to. 
have a meeting because they say the time this afternoon, so it must be I will have a meeting. Yeah. But some cases could be need. I need to attend the meeting. It could be. It depends. Yeah. Then the student says, 明天呢? You know, 呢 is for same question. It's how about tomorrow? How about tomorrow? Yeah. Then uh, here, but uh, unfortunately, the teacher says, uh, 明天上午,上午 is morning, 明天上午, tomorrow morning, 我有两节课, remember the measure word 节, the bamboo 节, is this part, so 两节课, normally 节 is the measure word for something you can divide it into different parts, so. 两节课, I have two classes. 下午三点, so afternoon three o'clock. Uh, we don't have a, like a really uh, the way to say p.m. a.m. So you have to say afternoon three o'clock. Uh, 下午三点要给要给二年级. Remember 二年级, 年级 is great. So, 二年级 grade 2, 考试, 考试 is a text, no, test, sorry, text, have an examination to the grade 2, okay, then let's go to the beginning, here, so then the student says, 您什么时候, 什么时候, to say what time, 什么时候有空, you know, Kong is a space, here means free time. 什么时候有空? What time you have a free time? The teacher says, 明天四点, 四点, 4 o'clock, 以后, 以后 means after, you know, after 4 o'clock, 才有空, 有空 means I have a free time, but uh, how about this Cai? What does it mean? Why use Cai? So this Cai to show kind of the speaker, the person who are talking, thinking that's too late. If you use Cai after time to show you're thinking it's too late. So the teacher said, uh, tomorrow, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I have time. That's kind of late for you, maybe. So like this fading, you will use Cai. We have mentioned actually a few lessons ago. We say jiu. If you put jiu after time, means that's very early. For example, 我今天早上六点就起床了. So this morning, six o'clock, I got up. But I think that's very early for me. So I said 六点就 get up, 起床了. But here is 四点才, 四点以后, after 4 o'clock, 才有空, I, I have time, which I think may be very late for, for you. This. Okay, then the student says, 老师, 您, uh, 老师, uh, not 老师, 钥匙, <laughs> 钥匙 means if, that's the structure thing, uh, if, uh, 您方便, 方便, convenient, if you convenient, 四点半, so 4.30, 我到, I will arrive, I go to 您的办公室, of course, 办公室 is the office, 去, uh, 您的办公室去, the 去 is not necessary, because it's very clear, I arrive your office, but sometimes we can also put this 去, uh, it's kind of a comp complementary part, because you actually you go there, uh, you arrive, but you actually you go there. You can put the chu up after the office. I went to your office. Go. <laughs> 办公室去. Uh, 行吗? Ask permission. Is that okay? 行吗? Okay. Then, uh, teacher says, 四点半没问题. No problem, right? 没问题. Uh, no problem. Okay, put here. No problem. 我在办公室等你, 等 is wait, so I in the office waiting for you. 谢谢您, thank you very much, that's 您, 
the student always use the polite form of ni. She always use nin, 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 you know, kind of to show polite because he want to ask the teacher some questions. Okay, then the teacher says be kuchi, you know, be so don't. Right? So don't be polite. It's, uh, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, 谢谢, and uh, 下次见, see you next time. 再见. We start vocabulary. 生词, 第一个, number one. 下个, 下个. So you know, 下 is down, 下 is down. 个 is a magic word for anything. So 下个, next one. We say in down, 个, uh, 下个, next one. Could be 下个, anything. Next week, uh, next person. Next program, like this, 下个, something. OK, then here, 中文, 中文, 中文 is a Chinese language. You know, 中 is for 中国, of course, 中国. Mm, see. Here, 中国. 文 is a language, so 中文 is Chinese language. A little formal. You know, another way to say Chinese language is uh, 汉语, 汉语. Some difference. Uh, so Han is uh, Han people. I'm Han people. You, you know, most uh, people in China, we are Han people. But we have a different uh, group of people, different uh, uh, nationality. We have uh, 55 different nationality people. So Han is the, the biggest one. Uh, what you are learning actually is the Han people's language. It's not uh, some group of people, they have their own language, but it's not a Han Yu. Han Yu is a Mandarin, uh, which is your learning right now. Zhongwen is kind of like Han Yu, a Chinese language, but if a general idea could be, you know, include other small languages still using in China. Uh, but most they, it means the same thing. Also, this one you can put to different countries, for example, 日文, so Japanese, and uh, 英文, for English. How about uh, 美文? 美文, you know, 美 is for America. So could be American English. But right now, people kind of uh, divided it into American English, British English in China. Uh, some people like uh, American accent, some people like uh, British accent, you know. So 英文, 美文. Mm. How that? One language. Next one. Bang. To help. That's easy. For example, 我帮你, I help you. Uh, oh, can you help me? How do you say? We will say you help me. <laughs> 你能, uh, can you can help me? 你能帮我, and put ma at the end to make a question. 你能帮我吗? Uh, 你可以帮我吗? 可以, 能, here is the same name, means can, can you help me, can. Next one, 准备, to prepare, 准备, you can prepare something, prepare a text, you know, uh, you can say, 我, as I said, 在是 doing something, I am preparing, uh, 我在准备一个考试, examination, I'm preparing an examination. I'm preparing some food. Could be uh, 准备. Okay. Uh, next one, 练习. 练习 could be verb to practice or could be noun actually, the practice. Uh, we can doing some practice, you know. That's also 练习. Got it. Then here is uh, it's verb, 练习. 我练习 something. What? 我练习中文. I practice Chinese. 说 is to say, to talk, to speak. 
Okay, we just put sure here. 我练习说中文. I practice to speak Chinese. I practice speaking Chinese like this. Okay, that's sure. Then that one said uh, ah ah. Sometimes you see this ah for surprise ah like ah like this, but uh, most time you put ah just to make it uh, soft. For example, you know sure means uh, yes. You can say sure. Sure. Also means yes, maybe yeah, or something like this to make it soft and nice. If you say how, means good, okay. You can say how ah, means okay, something like this. Just sounds good, okay. Uh, next one, 但是, but, uh, 但是, it's like uh, I really like to go to your party, but uh, I don't have a lot of time. I, I'm not free. You can say 但是, 但是我没有空. So last time we learned this 空, 空, like I don't have free time. 得 means you must, you have to, you have no other choice. So what day? Okay, I cannot go to your party because I don't have time. I have to. What day? 学习中文 So poor guy. I have to learn Chinese. 学习中文跟你是 with, for example, learn Chinese with John. How do you say what day? 学习中文 with John. 跟 John. But、uh, Do you still remember? We always put do something at the end, put other things before do something. So you have to what day with John learn Chinese? What day? 跟 John 学习中文 Like this. Or 跟你是 with, for example, uh, you want to go to the supermarket, so I can I like to go with you. Uh, you can say this. You will say 我 With you, go. Okay, 我跟你去 I with you go. I go with you. Good. Then, 见面 I have to make this 见面 clear because sometimes people got confused. 见面 to meet. 见面 to meet. 见见 is a verb. Means To meet,、um, to meet, or to see. So it's a verb. But a man here, if you look at here, man is somebody's face. So face, it's a noun. Literally, 见面 is to see, to meet your face, to see your face. So that means to meet, because that's kind of verb plus noun phrase. So you cannot put another noun after man after face. You cannot say、um, doesn't make sense. I see your face, you right. You cannot say 我见面你 You will not say that. You will say I see you right. I meet you. So if you want to say I meet you, you will not use this 见面 You will just use 见啊我见你 Do you understand this? Okay. So 我见你 I meet you. So I meet you. But、uh, we meet. We will say, 我们见面 Do you understand this? Okay. 好的 Next one. 回来回来 We learn the 来来自 come. 回 literally means return, return and come, return and come means come back, come back. You can use it、uh, just itself. 回来回来 come back, come back.、Uh, 回来回来 Or you can ask、uh, your husband, your wife, when will you come back? 你今天 today 几点 what time 回来 Then you will answer this. You will say, "Wo." Then the time, for example, eight o'clock. 八点回来
Okay, good. That's all for the vocabulary. I will see you next time for the conversation. 好的，再见。这是我家附近的一个公园，人们喜欢来走路和跑步，人们也喜欢在这里打牌和休息。在中国，广场舞很流行。我很喜欢看这个橙色男人跳舞。他好像每天都来。他停下来了。他又开始跳舞了。大家好，我们来学习课文 ，text。OK， let's look at here. First, the lady says, "Wei." Of course, Wei is hello on the phone. Wei, 请问 So Wei, hello. 请问 Do you remember? Means, may I ask? Okay, may I ask? 王鹏在吗 You know, 在 to show to be present. Is Wang Peng there? Wang Peng at home. Wang Peng in the office. 王鹏在吗 ？Then Wang Peng, the man says, 我就是 This is due to emphasize exactly. I'm exactly Wang Peng, not other people. OK， 我就是。呃、uh, ，你是李友吗？呃、uh, ，你是李友吧 ？Sorry, just now I said 吧 ，because normally you say, 呃、uh, ，Are you 李 Are you somebody? So 你是李友吗 ？Here they use 吧 ，Why use 吧？吧。Normally put at the end of sentence to show a suggestion. For example, 我们走吧 Shall we go? Here, 你是理由吧 Kind of、uh, to guess. I guess you you are 理由 or you are 理由 Aren't you? Like this. So use 吧 at the end,、uh, not 吗 Okay, got different meaning. Then the lady says, 王鹏，我下个星期 Okay, here 下个星期下个 means next、uh, 星期 week next week. I next week, right? So next week, do what? 要考中文，要 is here means will. 考 is take an examination. Ah,、uh, and 中文 Chinese will take a Chinese examination. Then here, says, okay. So we put here. Says, you 帮我 you know, 帮 is help.、Uh, so you help me, help me. 准备 prepare. 一下儿一下儿 a little bit,、uh, a little bit. 好的，呃，跟我练习说 ，so 跟我跟我 with me. 练习 practice 说 talk, practice talk with me.、Uh, But you will say with me first, you know. Put it before verb, as I always mentioned. With me, with me, practice what? So back here, Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. 好吗 Is that okay? Then the man says, 好啊好啊 So here, ah, just to make it sounds nice, soft. You can just say 好 good, 好啊 just.、Uh, Nice. 好啊，但是 remember 但是啊，但是 means but 我呃，但是你得得 means you have to have to. So you have to do that thing for me so I can help you. 请我，请 is invite me, treat me. 
喝咖啡 ，drink coffee。喝咖啡，哦，呃 ，to drink coffee， 没问题 ，no problem。So this、uh, phrase you will often use it for no problem， 没问题 ，no problem。那，那你你你 that case so， 那我什么时候 ，what time， 什么时候跟你见面，见面 is to meet， you know， 跟你 again with you meet。Meet you. So, 跟你见面。The man. 今天晚上，白英爱。That's Chinese name. Ah,、uh, not the lady's name. So, 白英爱，请我 again， 请 invite me, treat me, 吃饭 ，to eat meal, to have a dinner tonight. Then the lady says, 是吗 ？Do you remember 是吗？是 means is. My is question. Is it so really? 是吗？呃，白英爱请你吃饭。那 Lily say it again 啊，白英爱 invited you to eat. Huh? Really? Like this?、Huh? So the man says, 对啊 ，correct. 我回来以后，那 you know, 回来是 return. I'll go back after I go back. 以后 means after. Here means after I return. After I return, but we put after at the end. So 我回来以后。给你打电话 ，remember this guy 啊 ，kind of to you 啊 ，then 打电话 ，make phone call。OK。Then Lily says， 好，好 ，she didn't say 好的 ，she say 好 ，it doesn't matter， 好好的，我等你的电话。So here 等一次。Wait or wait for? So I wait for your 电话 your phone means your phone call like this. Okay, 这是我们的课文，再见。大家好，我是 John。今天我们来学习第七课。学中文 ，studying Chinese. In this lesson, you will learn to use Chinese to comment on one's performance in the exam, comment on one's character writing, talk about one's experience in learning Chinese vocabulary, grammar, talk about one's study habits, and remark on typical things from one's language class. Okay, like we always do, we check the vocabulary first. 我们看生词。好的，生词呃，第一个，说话啊、uh, ，you know， 说一次 to talk， actually， 说话 is verb and the noun structure， 说 is a verb to talk， and the 话 here is the word and the speech you're going to talk， so 说话 actually you talk a speech， you talk a word， 啊、uh, ，说话。I give you example. For example, he's talking with me. You can say, 他和我说话，他和我说话。So remember, we always say do something at the end. So definitely, we will say he with me and me、uh, talk talk with me. 他和我说话。Or、uh, could be 他跟我说话。跟我说话 ，this 跟 is more like with with me. Okay, next one. 上个，上个，上一次 up, you know, up direction. 个 is measured. 上个名词 ，previous one, the last one. Of course, if down direction, 下个，下个 we say next one, next one. So 上一次 previous in the past, 下一次 down in the future, next one. 好的 ，give you example. 上个月 ，right? 上个月 ，last month. 上个星期 ，you know, last week. 上个工作 ，last work. Okay. Then next one. The, the. This is a little special. It said.、Uh, Uh, kind of structure word. 
how do you use this structure? For example, in English you say ran very fast or ran very slowly. How do you say? In Chinese we say pao de pao is ran, uh, pao is ran. So we say pao de hen kuai. Pao de hen kuai. This de is here. That structure the pao de hen kuai. Ran very fast. So here pao is a verb and plus this de and the adjective. That structure. For example, another example. Pao de hen man. That's the opposite. You know, man is slow. So ran very slowly. Uh, in English, you have to put ly to show that's slowly. You know, that's the adverb. But in Chinese, you put the. You don't put ly after slow, but you put the before slow. We say ran the slow. Okay. Like this feeling, powder hot man. Other example, he eats very fast. Then you say, 他吃得很快. Just say that. You have to remember to put this de. So you sounds like uh, the real Chinese, you know, the Chinese way to say that. Say, 吃得很快. You cannot just say, 吃很快. This sounds weird, you know. You have to put the, remember. You know? The structure is the verb, the adjective. Okay. Then next. Fuxi. Review. Fu. Normally it's redo something. You will say fu. Redo something. Re. Xi uh, is from. Xue xi. You know, xue xi is. Oh, here. To study. She is to study. So, Fu Xi is re study. So, review Fu Xi. Next one, Xie. Just uh, write, write down something. Xie. You know. For example, I can make a sentence. Ni. Okay, I delete them. Ni Hui Xie. Han Zi Ma. Literally, you can write Han, it's Han people, Chinese, uh, Zi character. Can you write Chinese character like this? Then you can say Hui. Yes, I can. Mm. 我会写, right? I can write. You can write. Okay. Zi character. Okay. Of course, the Zi means Chinese character. Uh, and this one, Man, Man is slow, slow. Like we already. Uh, make uh, I already made the sentence. Powder uh, hot ran very slow, very slowly. Uh, okay. If you visit a Chinese family, uh, when you leave, they may say this: man zou, go slowly. You know, so man zou. Go slowly just means uh, be careful. Uh, be careful. Some kind of very polite way to say zai jian, bye bye. They say. Manzo, go slowly. Okay, here, zhi said a measure word for long thing. Uh, normally, for example, pen, uh, that's the common one. You will use this measure word, zhi. You will say, yi zhi bi, yi zhi bi, a pen. Um, this. Uh, if you also read Chinese character, it's got, got the wood, the tree radical. Uh, so zhi itself, the character itself means uh, branch. You know, zhi means uh, branch, branch or branches, you know, from the tree. Uh, so th uh, the branch normally is a long and the wooden thing, you know. In the past, the pen, our you know writing brush, is from the bamboo or, or wood. So normally we use zhi for the measure word for for pen, yi zhi bi. Okay. And the uh, next one be sure pen. This one, zhang, says the measure word for flat thing, flat thing. So it could be paper, the so paper. But uh, not the notebook, but the one paper. If uh, a paper, you say yi zhang paper, uh, yi zhang paper. So here we are. Paper is zhi. You will say uh, yi zhang 
picture a paper yeah. or could be a picture picture so you will say 一张 I type here is uh, you know first tone that e actually when you pronounce it you will say e because the zhang is first tone before first tone this one you say e uh, so e zhang zhao pian a picture or e zhang flat thing zhuo zi is table uh, table table is not really flat but you know the uh, the surface of the table is kind of flat, like paper. So we still say 一张桌子, a table. How then? Next, 教, 教 is to teach. I can say 我教你中文. I teach you Chinese. Oh, that's that's true. Uh, that's true. 教. Oh, how do you say? Can you teach me Chinese? And uh, I can teach you English. Okay, so you you will say 你能, 能 is can, 你能教我英文吗? Then you can say 我, 我能教你汉语 Okay, so opposite, it doesn't matter, it's an example <laughs> Okay, then uh, this one 怎么? 怎么 is how, is how, or could be how come, sometimes you feel surprised, how come you come so late, everybody are waiting for you, you can also use this how, in this case it sounds like why, why, so, 怎么, normally the structure is 怎么 do something, 怎么 do something, Example. 怎么去你家? Kind of how can I go to your home? 怎么去你家? Literally how to go to your home? Mm. Or you can say uh, 怎么写? For example, 怎么写? 这个字? How to write this character? Okay. Or oh, 怎么读? It's very useful. 怎么读? 读 is read aloud, read. How to read this character means the pronunciation. You, you can say 怎么读这个字? How to read this character. Okay. Next. 懂? To understand. 懂? I can ask you, 你懂吗? Do you understand? Or oh, I can say 你听懂了吗? So we put, you know, 听 is listen, 懂 is understand. We put them together kind of, uh, do you listen and understand it? 你听懂了吗? Okay. If I say 你看懂了吗? Now 看 is look at. It's kind of like you read and uh, you understand it. But normally it's the character or the article, uh, paragraph, do you understand it? Like this. How that? Then if you say 我懂了, right? 我懂了. I understand. I understand. 我懂了. But uh, I can ask you, is that real? You really understand it? I can use this uh, 真. Uh, so 你真, okay? 你真懂了吗? You put a 真 before uh, this. Uh, understand or before the verb to show really like uh, do you really understand it uh, or do you really like to uh, to have this tea uh, do you really like chinese food or you just uh, kind of be polite you know so you can use this gen uh, gen is uh, really uh, really oh uh, this uh, this is adverb is really uh, but gen also could be a uh, adjective adjective for example, uh, that's, if I have a watch, I can say uh, 这是真的, and that's the real, not the fake one. Uh, I can say here, uh, 这是真的, kind of that's the real one, uh, 这是真的. Okay. 哪里, where? I think we mentioned this where, 哪里. For example, where is the 
toilet uh, or where is the bathroom you will say bathroom at where for example 卫生间在哪里? Uh, that's a very common question 哪里? but here in this text is not this meaning kind of someone say really good word to you like oh, you're so handsome your chinese is so good you're so nice you may say something like uh, chinese people will say 哪里, 哪里? literally where where means uh, oh, no that's not real uh, where <laughs> where you find it uh, where i'm handsome where where it's like this feeling so it's kind of uh, the way to reply them when uh, they you know compliments like like this thing you say where where uh, 哪里, 哪里? Good. Then, 预习. Do you remember just now we talked about the uh, 复习? 复习. 复 is redo something. 习 is 学习, study. Re-study. Review. 复习. Uh, oh, here, 预习. 预 normally you do something before it happens. So, 预习 is a preview. 预习. Give you another example with 预, 预定. Ding is to book to order. So yu ding like you you order it uh, in advance. You say yu ding for example. Yu ding fan dian. Yu ding fan dian make a reservation uh, in the restaurant. Yu ding fan dian. Here's the yu xi yu xi. So preview yu xi ke wen. Right. We preview the test. Text, sorry, not test. 学, yeah, from 学习, 学, it all means study, yeah, all means study. 学习, a little formal. Normally, two syllable word, a little formal, then one syllable. Mm. 我学中文, right? same as 我学习中文. The second one, a little formal, sounds. Next, D. Perfect for ordinal number. Uh, what does that mean? For example, you know, E is one, but the D means uh, number one or the first. Oh, sorry, to make it bigger. Or the first, you know. Then if you say uh, uh, bigger, DR, uh, DR means uh, the second, okay, etc. And uh, then let's say okay. Let's say let's see. Okay. Then D Shu. Okay, let's just make it number D Shu just uh, means fifteenth. Uh, okay, D Shu. How that for example the first month, how do you say? How do you use this? The first month. We say the eager yeah right the first week the the eager xingqi okay like this then let's continue okay here yu fa grammar you know yu is a language fa is law Fa is uh, the law or the way you do something. That's fa, the method. So yu fa, the language law. So grammar, uh, grammar. So please notice, we also have fa yu. Okay, what does fa yu mean? French. Okay. French language. Mm? That's a uh, fa yu. Uh, yu fa, it's a uh, Grammar, grammar. How? Rongyi. Easy. So just remember, rongyi, easy. Okay. You can say, jiga han rongyi. This is very easy. Or, kou yu han rongyi. Spoken Chinese, uh, very easy. This one, sheng ci. We learning is sheng ci. Mm, sheng ci. So, sheng means, uh, you know, bear, 
born like this, like uh, you may hear the 生日 you know, 生日生日 which means、uh, birthday. Because sheng is to bear to born, then born. Ri is day, so birthday. Sheng is、uh, born. Ci is a word. So like the word just born means the new words, right? So new words for you, but not for me. So that's a sheng ci for you.、Uh, okay. Next, duo many much. I think we mentioned it. Duo、uh, many. We 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 know duo shao qian. You know how much. Duo is many or much. Xiao is less little. So duo xiao qian. So could you tell me many or little money means how much? You know duo xiao. Okay. Han zi, Han zi, Chinese characters. Of course, Han is Han people or Chinese people. Zi is character. Chinese Han peoples. Character. Nan. It's difficult or hard. Some people said Han Zi. It's very difficult difficult to learn.、Um, so how do you say that? You will say Han Zi 很难学，很难学。But I don't agree with them. Actually, it's、uh, quite easy. How do you say that? I can say Han Zi 很容易，很容易学 It's very easy to learn. Not very easy, but it's、uh, not very hard. Like this.、Mm? Anyway, because 容易 we just learn it. That's easy. Okay. So that's all for the vocabulary. I will see you next time. 再见 Here's the structure. Wang Peng talk with Li Yu. So here, Gen and the, 说话 you know, Gen is with, 说话 is talk. So Wang Peng with Li Yu talk, always this, this order, you know, do something at the end. So Wang Peng says, Li Yu, you. 上个星期 ，remember 上个 last previous， so last week， 考试考的怎么样 ？Here the structure， the the structure。As I said， this structure is a okay here， the verb， and the, the and the adjective structure。You know, 考试 is、uh, had the text.、Uh, so last week you had a test, and、uh, how did you do like this?、Uh, 怎么样 is、uh, so ask your opinion. What do you think your text? It should be a adjective here, but it's a question. They ask you this adjective, so you will answer this with the adjective. Could be 好 good, 很好 very good, or 不好 bad, not good. You know, so. From the answer, we can see this structure very clear.、Uh, so, 考试 had the text, 考的 and、uh, this verb, you you did it. 怎么样 How?、Uh, then the girl says, 呃、uh, ，因为你帮我复习，因为 because you help me 复习 review、uh, review. 所以 so that structure, 因为所以 That's together, you know, because so, because you help me so.、Uh, then the answer here is the the same structure. So that's the verb, okay, the and the adjective. So 考的不错 So I did, 不错 not bad. So here 考 it's a you know the verb for take a tag and、uh, to have a text. So, 考的不错啊，但是 ，but， 我写 here 写中文 ，so write Chinese， 中文 should be 字啊 ，character，so I write Chinese character， 
写的太慢。Also same structure. You say 写的太慢。It's a verb, the adjective. 写 is write. So the 太慢 too slowly. So I write Chinese too slowly. 写的太慢。Then the man says, 是吗 Is that real? It's it's true. 是吗 Leo, name, the girl's name, Leo. 我跟你一起，跟你一起 Together with you. We often say this in Chinese. 跟你一起 because we are so many people in China. Often we say we together do something. We together go out. We together go shopping. We together, you know, something. So 我跟你一起练习写字 ，practice write 字 Chinese characters， 好不好？好不好 ？You know that's a affirmative, uh, negative question. You know, uh, good, not good. So let you to choose. Uh, good, not good. 好不好 ？And then the lady says, 那太好了。Remember, 那 means in that case. So, okay, I just write it down. In that case, or could be so. 太好了 so good. Because you help me, so in that case, so very good. 我们现在就啊写 We 现在 right now, exactly now. 就 you put 就啊 you put 就 before, not before after the time to show that's very fast, very soon. Of course, that's to you. You think that's very soon. So, 现在就 means just now. Ah,、uh, 写 to write it down. Uh, 怎么样 Ask、uh, people's opinion. What do you think? What's your idea? Right now, okay, okay. Then the man says, "Of course, 好好 yes, good. 给我一支笔 It's like English. 给 give 给我 give me 一支笔支 is measured for pen. So 一支笔 one pen." 呃、uh, ，一张纸 ，so 张 for measure word for paper or something very thin 啊、uh, ，so 给我一张纸，写什么字 ？to to write what character is literally 写什么字 ？Okay, then we screw it down, it up. Okay, the lady says, 你教我 ，you know 教 is teach.、Uh, 你教我怎么写“东”字吧。So you teach me how to write“ 东”字。“东”字 means the character 东 ，but we say 东 character。东字吧。吧 is kind of suggestion. Why not you teach me 东、uh, ？So here is also a grammar point. 怎么 do something？ So 怎么 put do or something？ How to do something? 怎么写东 How to write 东 Okay. 呃、uh, ，then the man of course says, 好吧，好吧 ，Okay, no problem. Lady says, 呃、uh, ，你写字啊，你写字 ，you write character， 写的真好。Same structure, right? Because this lesson we kind of focus on this structure. 写 to write verb and the and the adjective. So you write really well.、Uh, because how actually is good. In English, you have to say well because it's not good. You put, you know, you put after the verb. So in Chinese, we put the.、Uh, so verb the and the adjective to make the same idea. 写的真好，真的 is really. So you. Right, you wrote really good, really, really well, 真快 really fast. Okay. Then, 哪里哪里 As I said, literally, 哪里 is where, 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 where.、Uh, it's kind of to answer someone's compliment. They said you're so good, so nice, so fast. They said, Oh no, I don't think so. Uh, so you can't be polite. So you say where, where. I didn't say it.、Uh, Okay, so 你明天有中文课吗 ？You tomorrow has the Chinese 课 lesson. Do you have Chinese lesson tomorrow? 
我帮你 ，I help you， 我帮你 do something， 那 B 啊 ，OK， 所以我帮你预习，那 you know, 预习 ，preview， 我帮你预习 ，OK， then let's go back， 这是 Lady says， 嗯，明天。我们啊，明天我们学第七课啊。So tomorrow we learn， 呃，第七 ，you know， 七是 seven， but 第七名词的 sevens， 哦 ，number seven， 课 ，class lesson， 看到 lesson number seven， 第七课，第七课的语法 ，the grammar in lesson seven， 啊，第七课的语法很容易 ，it's very easy。我都，有没有都 means all， so I all something， 我都懂 ，I all understand， 我都懂。可是 but 生词 new word 生词太多 ，too much too many 啊，汉字也有点难，汉字 Chinese character also 有点 a little bit 有点难。So this is also a kind of grammar point. You put 有点儿 before adjective, before adjective to make it a little bit. So like English, a little bit hard. You say 有点儿难啊，有点儿难。Okay. But the man says, 没问题 ，no problem, 没问题。我帮你 ，I help you. Yes, it's very man.、Hmm? So he like he likes to help the. Lady, 我帮你 OK, that's the text. 谢谢，下次见。大家好，我是 John。我剪头了，剪头，剪一只 cut， 头一只 head。So I had my hair cut. 我剪头了，你们好吗？ Okay, so we start our vocabulary. Uh, 生词 Let's look at here. 第一个 number one, 平常 said usually, uh, usually or commonly, 嗯，平常平一字 flat. The word 平 means flat, means like this, no change. So usually I do that, not like this. 嗯 ，so 平常 is often. So, 平常 often, usually. I give you some example. For example, I can say, 平常我很忙 Usually, I'm very busy. Okay. Another example, 平常我七点起床 Normally, I get up at Seven o'clock, and the 平常我我平常 it doesn't matter which one is first. You can say 我平常七点起床 it doesn't matter. Second one, 早 which means early, early. So as we learned, 早上好 like good morning, good morning. 早上早上 is morning, but actually 早上 means early morning. Early morning, not really morning. Early morning, which means 早上 is not、uh, ten o'clock, ten a.m. It should be like,、uh, for example, four、uh, a.m. to eight a.m. Like sometime before you start your work or start your your school, it's like this. 早上 It could be three o'clock in the morning. Also, could be if you get up really very early, they still 早上 for you.、Hmm? Okay, then if ten o'clock, ten a.m. What is this? It's not 早上 It's a, oh, it is not 早上 It's a 上午 right? I think we we learned it. 上午 which really means morning. It's about nine, ten, eleven like this. So Chinese people often when we see each other in the morning, we say 早 It's like English, you say morning, but we just say 早 early. Early, then you will say early like this. 早早 Good. Next one. 这么这么 is said so. This so. 
for example, you arrive to the company very, very early. So people feel surprised so early. You can say, 这么早, so early. Or oh, today it's so hot, you know. You can say, 这么热, 今天这么热. Okay. 今天这么热. Today it's so hot. We learned another way to show this kind of similar idea. So Tai, right? Tai le structure. You can say, 今天太热了. Got the similar, uh, similar meaning. Okay. Then this Wan. Wan is opposite to Zhao. Wan is late. We learned the Wan Shang, right? Wan Shang. Okay. Let's do it. Wan Shang. Which means uh, evening. Evening or night, right? So because Wan means uh, late, kind of uh, late time. So Wan Shang. Some example, very late, 很晚, uh, 很晚. Okay, good. 早上, just uh, talk about it. Actually, it's uh, early morning, not really morning. 功课 is homework. Of course, in school, the teacher will give you some 功课. Uh, 功课. Or the mainland, I think, uh, uh, most people will say 作业. It's another way to say homework. Uh, this gongke is more kind of Taiwan feeling. Uh, Taiwan feeling. Okay, but uh, they are same. If you say gongke, people understand you. If you say zuo ye, people understand you. Da uh, jia. At the very beginning, I said da uh, jia hao. You know, da jia everybody. Because da, you know, is big. Jia is uh, home. Big home. It kind of, I treat you as a uh, Big family, you know, everybody uh, my big family number. So I said, uh, 大家好, uh, big family, hello, uh, like this feeling. So it's very nice to say this, uh, 大家好. 好, then 上课, uh, 上课. So you know here, 课, uh, which means uh, class. 上 is up, but uh, also you use it. Use the it as a verb here means to go to or to start something. So it could be go to class or it could be start a class or you are in the class. So it depends. It depends on the situation. If you say 我去上课, choose to go, it must be I, you know, I go to a class. Or if you say 我在上课, I just write it down. 我在上课. Because you know, zai is to to be at in on, but also zai if you use zai before a verb to show you're doing something. So, 我在上课 means I'm having my class. I'm in the classroom. I'm listening to my teacher like this. So it depends. It depends. If you finish class, by the way, how do you say that? So, 上 is start. Finish is 下, down, 下课. Which means uh, class class is over or class finished. The then that one, 开始, to start to begin. When I start my online class, I always say, "Can we start?" How do you say? I always say, "我们可以可以" means can. 可以开始吗? Can we start? 我们可以开始吗? Then some of my students will say 开始, like start. Or 可以, yes we can, like this. 好的,念, read aloud, read aloud. I think we learned another one similar, it's 读. 读, for example, 读书, uh, read a book. 读书. This do you could read aloud or you just uh, actually read it. Just uh, we say 看书, uh, like Chinese people we say 看书, look at the book, but actually it's read book, 看书, 读书. But uh, 念书, uh, 念书 normally that means read aloud, you have to read it aloud, make sound, you know, 念书. Uh, here in the text they say 读课文, uh, 读课文. 
课文 is the text of the lesson. 课 is a class. 文 is a language, or here is Chinese characters. So 课文 together the text. 读课文 read the text. That's very common. The teacher will ask you 读课文好的 Next one, 录音录音 could be noun, could be verb. Ah,、uh, could be noun, could be verb. This 录 Okay. 录 means to record, to record something. Ah,、uh, so 录音 What does 音 mean? You know, 拼音 right? 拼音 Because I'm typing is 拼音拼音 is kind of. Uh, you use the two sound together to make、uh, another song. That's a pinyin. Pin is kind of to match these two、uh, songs match to make a new song. That's pinyin. So yin is a sound. Yin is a sound. Lu yin, literally to record the sound. So it could be to record or just the, the recording,、uh, the sound recording. Teacher often say in the class, 听录音 Listen to the recording.、Uh, listen to the recording. 听录音 Then、yeah. let's see here. 学习 I think you know this.、Hmm? So 学 or 学习 they both means study or to study、uh, to learn 学学习 For example, 我学习 Chinese, of course, you are learning Chinese.、Uh, literally, it's、uh, I learn Chinese. But if you want to exactly say like English, I am learning Chinese. You just put 在 right? You put 在 before verb to show you are doing something. Ah,、uh, 我在学习中文 I'm learning Chinese.、Uh, oh, you can use the one the one syllable word. To show studies, 学 also means study. 我在学中文 As I always mentioned, normally two syllable words it sounds a little formal than one syllable. Okay, if you say 我在学习中文 a little formal sounds. 好的 Next, 帅啊、uh, 帅 So a man will like this word. 帅 is handsome for man.、Uh, you can say 他很帅 He's very handsome. He is very handsome. You know, and、uh, also very cool. Very cool. It's for also for a person. He is very cool. Not for the you know the temperature or the weather. It's for a person. He is very cool. Okay, good.、Uh, that's all for today. I see you next time. 再见大家好，我们今天看课文。看这里 ，Leo 跟白英爱说话。Here the structure, somebody 跟 somebody 说话。It's like in English, talk with somebody, right? So here 跟 means with， 说话 is speak talk. Then, uh, 白英爱，你平常来的很早。So, 你平常 you, uh, usually, commonly, 来 come 来的很早 come very early, uh, very early. So here is another structure, the structure. You know, as we mentioned last time in the text number one. So that's verb and the the and adjective structure. So if you say you come very early, you have to say you come the very early in Chinese. So, 今天怎么这么晚 So, 怎么 you know as we mentioned, 怎么 is how or how comes. 怎么这么晚这么 means so such so late. So how comes today you you arrived so late? Normally you arrive early, you know, like this. So Bai Yingai says, 我昨天预习中文 you know, 预习是 preview, preview, preview the Chinese. 
早上四点才睡觉，才睡觉。This 才 here you put 才 after time, you know, 四点 four o'clock. You put 才 up time to show that's very late. Uh, to show very late. 四点才睡觉 Of course, to the speaker, the speaker's、uh, point of view, that's late. So four o'clock in the morning, of course, that's very late to go to sleep. 呃，你也睡得很晚吗 ？So here the still the structure same verb the and adjective. So sleep slept very late. You also slept very late yesterday. Then, 我昨天十点就睡了。So here 就 just now we have the 才 to show very late, but If you put "jiu" after the, you know, the time to show that's very early. Yeah, so I put here to show early.、Uh, so 六点就睡了 Only 6 p.m. she like、uh, went to the bed. That's very very early. So 六点就睡了因为王鹏帮我。练习中文，王鹏 help me practice Chinese， 所以我功课做的很快。So my so I， 呃，功课 means homework， so my homework 做的很快，呃、uh, ，did very fast。The same structure， right？ Still， 做 is a verb， do verb， and the, the and the adjective， 做的很快。Okay。So here also there's the structure. It's in way, so he, so because so,、um, because he helped me, so I did it very fast. Then Bai Yingai says, 有个啊、uh, kind of 有一个 you have one 啊、uh, 有个中国朋友真好 you have a, a Chinese friend that's、uh, really good you know 真 is really ah、uh, really good so. 上中文课 means in the Chinese class. Then that's the teacher. Teacher says, 大家好 hello everybody, 大家好 That's very common. You have to remember, and when you give a speech in front of many people, you will say, 大家好大家好 Okay. 现在 now 我们开始上课开始 start we start our class. 第一课 So number one, DE is number one. So number one, class number one, 我们都预习了吗 We all preview. 啊，预习了吗 That's my question. 预习啦 The two students said 预习啦 We previewed the. So, 嗯、呃，李友，请你看课文，请你 So please you, 呃、uh, ，no, not 看 Sorry, 念念 The read aloud, read aloud the text. 呃、uh, ，念得很好 ，so you read read loud and read it very good. Same structure, you see. The structure, same verb, the adjective. So 念得 very good, 很好。你昨天晚上听 ，OK. Here,、uh, 可以啊。你昨天晚上听。录音了吗 ？You know, 录音的是 recording 啊，呃 ，record. Did you listen to the record yesterday? 我没听 ，I didn't. So you deny something in the past. You use 没 ，you don't use 不啊 ，use 没 ，I didn't. 我没听。呃，但是 ，but OK. 但是他的朋友昨天晚上帮他学习啦。他的朋友，呃 ，her friend 昨天晚上 yesterday evening 帮他。Help helped him 学习了 study、uh, help him study okay then next page the teacher asked 你的朋友是中国人吗 It's a very easy question your friend is Chinese Chinese people 吗 for question 是 very short answer yes 是 yes he is Then, he to describe that man, that person. He is a man. Literally, he is one 
，男女是 female 啊，嗯的 female person actually， 男的人 ，but he is dropped 的人，就是男的 ，he he is the female one 啊，男的 ，that's common in Chinese。For example, I, I like spicy food. You can say 我喜欢吃 eat 辣 spicy， 我喜欢吃辣的 ，but actually it's 辣的。Food, 辣的菜 but you can drop this 菜 just say 我喜欢吃辣的 like this. So here, 他是一个男的，男的 female, female one, not female, sorry, male one. 很帅，那种帅 handsome, very handsome, 很酷 very cool. That cool is just exactly translate from English. It kind of you know imported from English. 很酷，叫王鹏。靠的王鹏 ，OK， that's all， thank you， 下次见。大家好，我是 John， 今天我们开始第八课，学校生活 ，school life， 学校 ，which means school， 生活 ，which means life，school life， 好的，我们开始。So in this lesson, you will learn to use Chinese to describe the routine of a student's life on campus. Write a simple diary ent entry. Write a brief letter in proper format. Express your modesty in terms of your foreign language ability. Invite friends to go on an outing. So we first look at the verb. Let's check the vocabulary first. Okay, the first part. Pian is a measure word, normally for article, for essay. For example, you can say 一篇 article, 一篇文章 which we haven't learned. 文章 means article. So 一篇文章 Like today, we will learn the diary, 日记 So 一篇日记 So a diary. Second one, 日记 So, 日 means day, okay. 日 which means the day, and the 记 means to write down. Okay, make it big. To write down, 记 for example, I write it down. 我记下来，下一次勾当，记下来 write it down. So, 日记 is every day you write something down. 日记 diary. You can say 一篇日记，一篇日记，篇日记 ，one diary. Okay. Next, 累，累 means tired. For example, I'm very tired. How how do you say that? We have a few ways to say that. You can say 我很累 ，you know I'm very tired. Or 我累死了 ，you know 死 means die or death. So I tired to death. You will say 我累死了，我累死了。Okay, 哦，我累极了。Got the same meaning. 极极了 means extremely. So I'm I extremely tired. 我累极了。Okay, three way. The other ways also, but this three way is very common. Next one, 起床 to get up. So I'd like to explain every character. 起 means stand up or get up. It's like if I stand up, I'm like 起 that's 起 okay. So you cannot see me. 起 so get up, stand up. 床 of course here. Uh, a little bit here. 床 is bed, the bed. So 起床 literally means you get up out of the bed from the bed. So 起床 Then I can ask you, 你几点起床 Right. When did you get up? Okay. Good. Then the next page. Here, this one. 洗澡 said to take a bath or take a shower. 
it could be um, it depends uh, because the character xi means to wash for example i can say xi yi fu xi yi fu means uh, wash clothes yi fu is clothes so xi yi fu is to wash huh? uh, xi zao zao is uh, this bath or sh shower xi zao is uh, actually you wash yourself you know xi zao okay could be take a shower could be take a bath and uh, next one zao fan breakfast you know zao means early uh, zao is uh, early and uh, fan which means uh, food early food early meal so breakfast by the way do you remember uh, lunch dinner Lunch is wu fan. Wu fan, lunch. Wu is uh, from zhong wu, lunch time. So dinner, of course, you say evening food, right? Evening food, that's, uh, which is wan fan. Wan means late, so dinner, uh, late meal. Yi bian, literally means one side. E is one, bian is a side, one side. Yeah. But here normally you use the, this e bian, e bian to connect to sentence, to link to sentence. For example, uh, I'm watching TV while I listen to the music. You can say 我, 我一边看电视, watch TV, uh, 一边 听音乐, listen to the music. Just means you do two things together at the same time. You can say 一边 do one thing, 一边 do another thing. 一边, 一边. Okay. 教室, classroom. 教, 教 has the meaning to teach. To teach. 室 has the meaning room. 教室, the room to teach, so classroom. Okay, here, fa yin pronunciation. Fa, fa means to, to send or to make something happen. That's fa, uh, something happen. Uh, and the uh, yin means the sound. Which we learned, I give you example. Pinyin. It's uh, the tool to help you to pronounce things. That's called a pinyin. Literally to put two like uh, initial, final together to make a sound. Make a sound. Pinyin. Uh, so yin is sound. Here, fa yin to send a sound, to produce a sound. So fa yin, pronunciation. Xin just means new. Uh, could be xin anything, new anything. Give you example, xin shu, new book. Xin ren, new people. Yes, there's a new colleague came today. So xin ren, xin ren. Okay. Then this one, 电脑, computer. That one is, uh, I like that one, uh, 电脑, because it really makes sense. Dian is electricity, as we talked before, uh, electronic or electricity. Now, so here, you say now is brain. Dian now together, electronic or electric brain. We don't have this computer before, you know. Then you have to give it a name. Two ways to give a name. One, you just uh, simulate the sound. You can say computer, but that's not the, the way we did in Chinese uh, for the computer. Uh, I think uh, in Japan, they kind of pronounce like, sounds like computer. Uh, but uh, in, in China, we kind of uh, translate uh, by the meaning. We say electric brain, uh, 电脑. 中午, we talk about it, noon. Lunch time. Tanting is the dining room. Uh, cafeteria. Tanting. Tan is a meal. 
餐呢？没有。听，听 is a kind of room or hall or hall, a very big room. Normally you say 听啊，听。So 餐厅，呃 ，the big hall for eating. 呃，餐厅。Uh, but it's uh, normally chanting is not restaurant. Normally in university, you know, you have the uh, canteen, like all the uh, in your company, maybe the some floor, the whole floor is your canteen. So we say chanting. Wu fan. So wu is a, you know, noon from zhong wu. Zhong wu. And the fun is food, so wu fan together, lunch, wu fan. 上网。You know, 上 is direction up, but also you often use this 上 as a verb, means go up, go up. Give you example, 上山。山 is mountain, it's go up the mountain, 上山啊，上山。Here, 网 is internet. I really love this character. A lot. So this, you see the character. This Wang originally means the net, the fishing net, or for the birds, you know, the net. It looks really like a net, right? Okay. So here it means the internet. So Shang Wang is kind of you surf the internet, or you go online, Shang Wang. 再看，宿舍 ，dormitory。You can say I live in dormitory. How do you say that? You say 我住宿舍。我住宿舍。I live in dormitory.、Yeah. Of course, here I dropped 在 standard way. You have to say 我住在宿舍 But sometimes spoken Chinese you can drop that.、Yeah. There, there. So people ask, "Where is your dormitory?" There, there, there. You know, there. If here, how do you say? You say "jer," right? Ah, "jer," "jer." There, there. Like this. Okay. So "jer," "jer" is here. "Jer" is here. Okay. 正在 said in the middle of doing something. 正在 you put it before verb. For example, I'm reading. How do you say? You put this 正在 Some people say there's not really has tense in Chinese. That's not true, you know. Actually, we have. We just don't change the verb itself. We do other, you know, other way to show that's doing something or in the past. You know, in the past you put a le after verb to show that's in the past. But、uh, how do you say doing? I'm doing something. I'm reading. I'm watching. I'm eating. Then you use this 正在啊，正在 Okay, examples. 我 oh, that's too small. Okay, the big. 我正在 make it、uh, that color. 我正在看书 Reading, we say 看书 We say look at the book or watch the book, see the book. 我正在看书 There's no different see, watch, look at, read in Chinese. We just say 看啊我正在看书 Another example. 我正在看电视 I'm watching the TV. Ah,、uh, watching TV. Okay, that's 正在 Then next, 以前 before, ah,、uh, before. 给你一个例子，呃、uh, ，我我今天 ，I today， 十点以前睡觉。Literally, I. Today, 十点 ten o'clock, ten o'clock. 以前 before 睡觉 sleep. So it means、uh, before ten o'clock, I will go to sleep today. So remember, uh, uh, 
Uh, in English, you say before 10 o'clock. In Chinese, you put 10 o'clock before this before. <laughs> you say 10 o'clock before, then I go to sleep. A little confused, but uh, you have to say that way. Yeah? You have to say uh, some something, then you say before. Uh, okay. Then this one, 告诉, 告诉, to tell. I can say, 我, 我告诉你, 我告诉你, I tell you. This su normally you pronounce the neutral. Uh, itself is pronounced false tone, su. But uh, two false tone normally, the second false tone you pronounce the very light. So, 我告诉你, I tell you. 我告诉你. Or the negative, 我... 我不告诉你, I will not tell you. Then, or before I tell you, you have to tell me something. Okay, 我告诉你以前, 以前, remember, before I tell you. But in Chinese, we say, I tell you before. <laughs> the structure is opposite. Uh, before I, 我告诉你以前, you need to tell me something. 你要... Yao could be need, will. It depends. So here is the need. 你要告诉我 something. 你要告诉我 some something. Just tell them. Mm. Then. Next, 已经 already. Already. Example. But I already told you. <laughs> like, uh, 可是 可是 is also means already, uh, also means but. 可是我已经告诉你了, but I already told you. 可是我已经告诉你了. Normally you have a le, work with 已经, 已经 do something le, to show you done it, you have this le, work with 已经. Next one, 知道, to know, just means to know, you can say, I don't know, how do you say that, 我不知道, right, it's very common, <laughs> people often say, I don't know, no, 我不知道, 我不知道, do you know that, they will say, 你知道吗, do you know, like, 你知道吗, okay, good, that's for the vocabulary. I will see you next time for the text. 再见! <音> 大家好,我是John. 今天我们来看第八课的课文. 这是一篇日记. This is a diary. 我们一起来看. 这里是11月 3日,星期二,is a date. I'd like to put the Arabic number, so it's easy to read. 11月3日,okay, then星期二is Tuesday. So November 3rd, Tuesday. 今天我很忙, Today, I'm very busy. 很累, remember, 累. Tired, very tired. 早上七点半起床. You know, normally, 日记, the diary, you will say, you know, the time, then you do what? Time, then you do what? After that time, then you do what? Or before that time, I did another thing. Another structure we mentioned is uh, while I'm doing this and I'm doing this at the same time. So you have to notice how do we say this in Chinese, okay? Normally time first, then do something. Mm -hmm. Or before something, before some time I do something. How do you say that? Please notice, okay? So, uh, 早上七点半, so in the morning, 7.30, 起床, get up, got up, 起床. 洗了澡, you know, 洗澡 is uh, take a shower or take a bus. Here we don't know it's shower or bus. We just say take a shower, okay. 洗澡. 
le to show that's past. We say 洗了澡 not 洗澡了 We say 洗了澡 because 洗 is a verb. 澡 is a noun. It's a bath or shower. So,、uh, took a shower. 以后 after. 就 here 就 means then. 吃早饭 Then I had a breakfast. So you have to remember here. 以后 After in English you say after I did something I did another thing, but in Chinese you have to put after after the thing. They say、uh, after in English you say after I took the shower, but in Chinese you say I took the shower after. Then I did something. Okay, like this. 我一边吃饭一边听录音 Here's the structure. 一边一边 ，is you doing two things at the same time. You say 一边 do one thing, 一边 do another thing. Here's 一边吃饭 eat, 一边听 listen 听音呃、uh, not 音乐 listen to the music. 听录音 is the recording. Ah,、uh, listen to the recording because you are learning Chinese, right? So 听录音 that's a good idea.、Mm. 九点 ，so we make it Arabic number nine o'clock. 九九点到教室。到 here 到 means arrive, you know, arrive or go to a classroom. 去上课。You know, 去 also means go. 去 is go. But here is not really. Uh, means go to. It's kind of to show your aim.、Uh, kind of、uh, go to the classroom to have a class.、Uh, 去上课 So here, 去 is more more like to to do something. 上课 have a class.、Mm. 第一节课 So here, 第一 means number one or the first.、Uh, the first 节 is measured. Measured for class.、Uh, the first class is Chinese. The Chinese language. 老师教我们教 to teach. So teacher teaches 发音 pronunciation. 生词 new words 和语法 and、uh, grammar. Like in English, you say this thing, this thing, and that thing. You put and before the last word. Chinese also. They sing. They sing. Her, that thing. Okay. 发音、生词和语法。也教我们写字。也 here also teach us 写字。写 is to write. 字 is character. So also teach us write、uh, characters. Okay. Okay. Hi. Again, here is hi. Hi is also. 给了我们一篇新课文。给了 give give us 一篇篇 is match word match word for articles 新课文 a new test new text sorry 嗯呃这篇课文。Pen is measured. Ah,、uh, this paper, this text, very interesting. You know, interesting is、uh, interesting, right? Interesting, interesting. Very is very. We often say very interesting、uh, instead of just say interesting. So very interesting. Sorry, the wrong spell、uh, spelling. Uh, the second year, still the R. You know, the R is the second. This is measured. 是 here they didn't say 第二节课 If you notice here, said 第一节课 uh the first class. Here they just drop the class. It's it's common in Chinese. You just keep the magic word, but you drop the object. Say 第二节 means the second one like this. Ah,、uh, 是电脑课电脑 computer. Ah,、uh, so computer class. Class, 很难 very hard. You see we. Like to use this very, 
that's true in spoken Chinese people often say very hard very easy very hot very they use a lot of very but sometimes not really such high degree it's very very just a kind of uh, you know uh, kind of a way to to express uh, very hard yeah it's hard but not such very you know okay then let's continue uh, 中午, because that's diary, normally it's your whole day, so time, do what, time, do what. Uh, uh, lunch time. 我和同学, I and classmates, here 门, uh, 门 to make it plural, 同学, classmates, mate, but uh, 同学, 门, classmates, you know, this 门 is uh, like plural, classmates, uh, each together. Dao, like arrive, go to, canteen, the, the canteen, uh, canteen, 去, 吃午饭, and here, 去 is go to, but I, as I mentioned, this 去 is more like to show your aim, so I go to, we go to the canteen to eat lunch, yeah. so here you can just treat this as to, uh, 吃午饭, to eat lunch. 我们一边吃一边练习说中文 Here's the 一边一边 structure we mentioned it 一边一边 Normally 一边 do something So 一边吃 we eating And 一边练习 we practicing 说中文 speak Chinese 下午 afternoon 我到图书馆 Again 到 to go to I went to the library, 图书馆, 去上课, the aim is to have class again, 去上课, 四点, okay, to make it uh, numbers, uh, 四点, 4 o'clock, uh, 王鹏来找我打球, 王鹏, come, Zhao is to look for, but here's come, come to to find me to do something. Zhao wo, da qiu, da is here's to play, play qiu ball. Here, uh, we don't know what kind of ball. It could be football, basketball, ping pong, just a ball. Wu uh, dian, so five o'clock. Wu uh, dian. 三课, okay, 三课, three quarter, right? Like uh, forty five, right? Uh, 吃晚饭, to eat uh, dinner. One is late, one fun dinner. 七点, seven o'clock, but okay, thirty, but is half. Uh, uh, Remember, Susha is a dormitory. Right? Susha is dormitory. So uh, I, I went to Bai Ying Ai's dormitory, uh, with her. Uh, because Bai Ying Ai is a lady, so with her. From this time, we don't know if a lady or a man, but I know Bai Ying Ai is a lady, so with her. Uh, 聊天, 聊天 is the chat, or 聊天, uh, depends, you can say 聊天, or 聊天, okay, remember you have to put uh, with her before uh, do something, we said with her chat, not chat with her, uh, remember we always say do something at the end, you put other thing before it, uh, we say with her chat, 到那儿的时候, you know, 时候 means time, the time, the time when we arrive there. So, 到那儿的时候, this the structure. You know, before the is kind of modifying part, to modify the time. So, the time when we arrive there. 到那儿的时候, 他正在, this is also a structure, 正在 to show you doing something, but you put 正在 before verb, uh, 正在做, I mean, so is to do, so doing, doing what, 功课, homework, 正在做功课. 我八点半, this is also a time, I, 
嗯 ，OK， 八点半 ，eight thirty， 回家 ，return home， 嗯 ，return home。If you go home, we always say 回家 We say return home. We never say 去家 A lot of my students they may say 去 because 去 is go. So 家 is home. 去家 go home. No, we never say 去家 Not exist. We say 回家 We always say 回家 We say return home. Remember this. Okay. Here. Ah. 睡觉以前 Before you do something, we say. Do something before. Let's update and update. So, 睡觉以前 literally sleep or go to bed before. But you know that's before you go to bed. 睡觉以前，高文中 the name. 高文中，呃，给我打了一个电话。They give me a phone call. They say, 给我打了一个电话。打 the action with your hand. So. 打了一个电话，给我 kind of to me. Uh, you know this 给 different situation got different meaning. Here's kind of to. Sometimes could be for. Sometimes just means give.、Uh, give. If there's no verb, other verb after this 给 this 给 should work as a verb to give. But here there's a 打 after this 给 definitely 打 is verb to do. So make a phone call、uh, to me. 给我告诉我，你能告诉一次 to tell。Tell me, 呃，明天要考试。Here, 要要 got a lot of meaning. Could be need, 呃 ，will. Here, just means will. Tomorrow, it will be a test. 考试啊。我说 ，so I said, 我已经知道了。There's structure. 已经 verb 了 means you already done something. 啊 ，I already know. 我已经。知道了 ，OK， good， that's the 日记 ，the diary。I hope you understand. If you have question, you can tell me, and I like to answer you. 谢谢。大家好，你们好吗？我希望你们很好。I hope you are very good. 希望 hope 很好 very good. 好的，我们看生词。第一个，风，风 is a match word. For what? What match word? It's for letter. Letter is the second one. 信啊，信。So you may notice they are very short, one syllable word. 风，信。If you just say 信 how people know that's a letter? Right. Good question. Just the shin letter. Need letter. Okay. That's why we need a match word. Sometimes match word makes things clear. So feng and the shin together works. People、uh, recognize. Ah,、uh, you mean letter.、Uh, one letter. So yi feng shin. Yi feng shin. So one letter. Okay. Good. Then this one. 最近 ，recently. Word by word. That's way I prefer. I like the most. 最 means most. For example, 最好 means the best. You know, or could be 最热 Okay, means the hottest. 最是 most. So what does 近 mean? 近 means close. For example, my home and your home very close. That's 近啊，近 So 最近 together sounds like most close. So it's the very very close. So means recently. Of course, it could be used as distance. For example, you ask me,、uh, where is the you know closest、uh, supermarket? You can use this 最近 but here、uh, in the text we use that recently for time. Recently, okay, good. 
最 most as I explained already. And Jin uh, close. Also, by the way, you can say 我们很近. Uh, for example, 我和他很近. What does it mean? Live very close could be. And here I mean we are very close. We are very close friends. Also, you can say 我们很近. Uh, very close. Okay, good. 这个学期学期, you know, uh, 学, which means study, to learn. And the uh, qi, first tone, uh, qi is a uh, period of time. Uh, let's just say period of time. So xue qi is the period of time when you studying. So xue qi, school term, uh, semester, it's xue qi. This one is the very important structure. Said chu le, something yi wai. Said in addition, besides, for example, uh, besides tea, I also like to drink coffee, right? To have coffee. You can use this. 除了茶以外,我还喜欢喝咖啡. Normally we put hai, hai means still. So, except for coffee, I still like tea or the opposite, right? So I give you this example. 除了 咖啡以外,我还喜欢喝茶 So, in spoken Chinese, this yi sometimes you can drop it. You can say, 除了咖啡,我还喜欢喝茶 It's also okay. Uh, this one, 专业 Zhuanye is your major. Uh, people may ask you, like, uh, what was your major in university? So first the question, what's your major? Definitely we will say your major is what? You remember we don't change the order because of it's a question, right? We make it a no change. We just uh, replace the word you want to ask with the question word. So your major is what? 你的专业是什么? Then how do you answer? You say 我的专业是 Then your major major. For example, Chinese uh, 中文 Okay Good Then let's say 会 uh, 会 means can Or you know something 会 for example, I can swim. How do you say that? You say, 我会游泳。我会游泳. Okay. Or oh, I can speak Chinese. 我会说中文. Like this. Just I can do something. You will say, 我会, uh, 我会. Okay. 后来, later. When you tell, you know, tell a story to your friend, you may use this words very often. Like, 后来, later they did that, later they did that, uh, and uh, later they be together forever. Like this, you will say, 后来, 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 you know. 后 means back. 后 is back. 来, which means uh, come. Back later, okay. Back come anyway. That's later, uh, later. 音乐会. If you notice, that's uh, here the hui and that hui is the same hui, same hui, but a different meaning. This 音乐会. This hui means meeting, meeting. It means people be together. That's kind of hui. Uh, 音乐 is music, so 音乐会 is music meeting, music meeting. A concert, music. Uh, Hope. At the very beginning, I just said, "I hope you are So I hope you are very good. That's hope. If you hope something, you will say, "I hope." And something, I hope. I give you a hope. Give you a 
my hope. Uh, 我希望 not 喜欢喜欢 is like <laughs> sorry. 我希望你们的中文有 Chinese 很好，就是很好。I hope your Chinese very good. Will be very good. 很好，好的。This one, can also means can. Ah, uh, I do something. I can do something. For example, I can swim. I can swim. But as I mentioned before, can is also can. I can swim. I can swim. Also, I can swim. What's the difference? You may check my another video for the difference, nan hui and even another ke yi. So you can find the link on the comment section. Uh, section. So right now, just roughly difference. You know, hui is just means you can do that. You have the ability to do to do that. But nan sometimes has the meaning the situation. For example, because today I I was sick, I caught cold, so I cannot swim. In this situation, you will use 能 For example, 我不能游泳。今天我不能游泳 because I was sick. You know, or like uh, 我能游泳 because、uh, I'm okay now. I'm I'm feeling better, so 我能游泳 This 能 this can you know,、uh, could be because of some special situation. So like this,、uh, but 会 is your ability because it doesn't matter you sick or not. You know how to swim, right? So this way is more the feeling you know how to do that.、Uh, not really today you cannot, but、uh, you still know, you know. You always 会游泳 Okay, like this. Next one, 用用 is to use. 用 is to use. Okay, just to use something. Like that. Uh, 笑 is laugh, laugh at or smile, 笑 For example, don't laugh at me. 别笑我 You can say that. 别 means don't. Hmm. So don't laugh at me. 别笑我 Hmm. 好的。祝 To wish. We often say 祝 something. For example, wish you happy birthday. You will use this wish. Yeah. We just learned the hope is 希望 but you will not say 希望 I hope you happy birthday something. No, I wish you. You know. So in Chinese, same we say, 我祝我祝你生日快乐。我祝你生日 birthday 快乐 happy. Literally, we say, I wish you birthday happy. We don't say happy birthday. We say birthday happy. Yeah. It also happens in other situation. We will say the stuff, the thing, and you say and say happy, not、uh, happy New Year. We always say New Year happy.、Uh, happy Spring Festival. We say Spring Festival happy, like this.、Uh, you will say this festival or this stuff first, then you say happy. Okay, I hope you enjoy this lesson. See you next time. 再见。大家好，我是 John. Before we start today's lesson, I'd like to show you something. This is a supermarket near my home. So yesterday I went to the supermarket and took some pictures. Here they are. There's a very special character in some pictures, if you've noticed. So, can you see that character? A special character. Okay. If you didn't notice, I will show you. So here, I mark this character in red color. So you see, it looks like、uh, kind of three stuffs, three stuff putting there, and、uh, two at the bottom, one on the top. So what does that mean? You can find this character everywhere in the supermarket. 
you see here also you find this character it is pin which means product that's why you can find it everywhere so in the supermarket they tell you this is this product that product and other products okay so look at this character again very easy and lovely character do you agree okay. now we look at the text okay 一封信, 一封信. you know feng is a magic word as we mentioned in our vocabulary class xin is a letter so because of this feng you know that xin is letter two short one syllable word xin but you know feng so yi feng xin you know one letter so that letter is about the teacher asked student to write a letter to a friend of course in chinese to practice so the students write wrote uh, this letter xiao yin you know it's uh, address uh, uh, little yin uh, xiao yin uh, ni hao hao jiu bu jian that's a good phrase uh, in chinese hao jiu bu jian hao means good so but here is not really means good it means very sometimes we use good to show very uh, how is very so jiu this one syllable word means a long time very long time you know bu or bu means no jian is to see to meet so literally means long time no see english this phrase come from chinese hao jiu bu jian it's really a good way to start your letter. How do you Long time no see. Uh, we learned this region, 最近, recently. 怎么样? Yeah, that's also very common to ask your friend. So, how are you? How have you been doing like this recently? Uh, 最近怎么样? 怎么样 is how. Like, how do you feel? How? Hmm? 这个星期, uh, uh, not 星期, sorry. 这个学期, 学 study qi a period of time, so xue qi is term. This term, wo han mang, I'm very busy. Chu la zhuan ye ke, you know, zhuan ye is your major. Zhuan ye ke is your major course. Do you still remember chu la yi wai? And also here, hai, this structure means besides, in addition to. So in addition to my major course, hai, so I still, dai, dai means have to. So I still have to learn Zhongwen Chinese. So the structure, chu le something yi wai, hai. In addition to this thing, I still something. Okay, good. That woman de Zhongwen ke, our Chinese class, we use this also very often. is very interesting. Yeah. Because, okay. Uh, woman the Zhongwen Lao Shi Zhi Hui Shuo Zhongwen. Zhi means only. Hui is, as we mentioned, that means can. Shuo uh, Zhongwen, speak Chinese. So our Chinese teacher only can speak Chinese. So as we mentioned the different uh, hui and the nang, you know nang also means can. Here zhi hui shuo zhongmen. So our Chinese teacher only can speak English. Just his you know his ability. He cannot speak English because he don't know. He only know Chinese. If here you put a nang, nang is kind of allowed to do that, this feeling. If here they say kind of the teacher even he knows english but uh, you know the school doesn't uh, allow him to speak english because that's a chinese class like this mm. that's the difference okay uh, so doesn't speak english that's also good, you know, 开始 means 
start or to start that word but you used at the beginning of the sentence means at the beginning uh, at the beginning 开始 uh, 我觉得很难, 觉得is I feel uh, at the beginning I feel very hard 后来, you say this connection word it's very important if you use this word make your article you know looks very well like Chinese people okay so at the beginning I feel very hard later then I feel something different right so 开始我觉得很难 后来, it's later uh, 王鹏常常帮我, 常常, which means often often help me uh, 练习中文, practice 练习, practice Chinese 就觉得不难了 So this 就 also this kind of conjunction word right? 就 means then Because Wang Peng often helped me to learn Chinese So then I feel not hard This le to show the situation status changed Before I felt really hard Now I feel not really hard So we put the le to show this kind of change. Yeah. How? 你喜欢听音乐吗? So, do you like uh, listening to music? 下个星期六, you know, 下个, next, right? 下个, uh, next, 星期六, Saturday. 我们学校, our school, 有一个音乐会, our school has a concert, 音乐会, uh, 音乐 is music, 会 is meeting, concert 希望, that's the new word, I hope 你能来, so 能 is a can uh, 你能来, you can come oh, 我用中文写信, you know, 写 write, 信, letter new word, so I use Chinese to write letter uh, 写得很不好, 很不好 not very very not good, <laughs> very not good, it's kind of modest, you know, actually this letter is really good, of course not written by students actually, you know, okay, uh, 请别笑我, you know, 笑 is laugh or laugh at, so 别 means don't, please don't laugh at me, it's 祝, 祝 is to wish, wish, so of course that's at the end you say wish you all the best which I like the most I like to say wish you all the best so in Chinese you will say 祝 something 好, 好 is good so 祝好 is kind of in English all the best then uh, 你的朋友, uh, your friend Leo uh, here and then you write the date 十一月 Here,十一月 Okay So November, 十八日 十八日 November 18th Okay 这就是这封信 This is just the, the letter I hope you understand all of them If you don't understand Just uh, let me know I will try to help you Leave your comments on the in the comment section. Okay, 下次见，再见。Before we start, if you haven't downloaded my free ebook for you, it's called Everything You Need to Know About Learning Mandarin. Please download it. You can find it, the link in the description box below. Okay, then we start. Lesson 9, Shopping. 第九课,买东西. In this lesson, you will learn to use Chinese to speak about the color, size, or price of a product, recognize the Chinese currency, pay bills in cash or with a credit card, uh, determine the proper change you should receive, ask for different size or color of a product, 
exchange the product. Okay, let's look at the vocabulary first. Number one, 商店. 商店 means shop or store. Literally, 商 means business. And this 店 means shop. So business shop. There's two syllable words for shop. If only one syllable, you will say 店. Uh, 店. For example, if I say 书店, what does that mean? You know, 书 means book. So 书店, bookstore, bookstore. Okay. And uh, if I say DVD, 店. Do you have an idea? Of course. The DVD shop. Sure. Okay, good. Uh, that's a shang dian and the dian. Second one. Mai. To buy. Also, I think you may know to sell. How to say to sell? It's mai. Fourth tone. Mai, third tone is to buy. But fourth tone, strong and short. Mai is to sell. Very similar? Yes. So here, my, write it again, buy, but uh, my false tone is to sell. Even we have a word, it's called a my, my, buy and sell. It is trade. It's a trade. Okay. Good. And then this one, dong xi, thing, stuff. Of course, you go shopping, one way to go shopping, we say buy things, uh, buy things. We will say, yes, 买东西, literally, to buy things. It just means go shopping, right? In Chinese, in China, people often ask you when they meet you, for example, on the street, they may ask you, "你去哪儿?" Literally, you go where? Where are you going? "你去哪儿?" It's kind of just a greeting, you know. They have to say something when they, you know, meet you. They say, "你去哪儿?" It's art. "你去哪儿?" Oh, this one. Okay, "你去哪儿?" Then how do you answer? You can say. I go shopping. I'm going to shopping. You will say, 我去购买东西. Like this. Also, this word 东西 very interesting. Because 东, you may know that 东 means east. East. And 西, you know 西? Okay. 西 is uh, west. Two directions. Why? Actually, I don't know why. But uh, maybe because the the thing you have to go east, go west to find it, you know, go shopping or something like this. So anyway, dong xi east west together means stuff. Dong uh, xi. Good. And then when you go shopping, there must be a shop assistant, right? So the shop assistant we call him or her shou huo yuan. Literally, show means to sell. We learned another sale, right? Just now. My is to sell. It's a spoken way to say sell, but the show is a very formal way to say to sell. Uh, all the written way. In some fixed phrase or fixed word, you can find this show means to sell. But when you speak to people, normally you will say my. my. So here, in this word, show is to sell. Huo, which means goods or product. Yuan, it's a, a kind of person. Normally, it's do a certain kind of job. You say some some yuan, some some yuan. Okay, good. So show huo yuan, uh, literally. The person who sells the goods, show for you. Good. Then next, 
here. Ifu. Ifu. Ifu means close. It just means close. Ifu. Okay. Then jian is a magic word. We have many, many magic words to make things clear. You know, uh, jian ifu. One clothes. It could be any kind of clothes. It could be a shirt, dress, jacks, coats, anything you say. Jian for match words. Yi jian yi fu, one clothes. Oh, liang jian yi fu. Liang jian yi fu. Remember, two of something. We don't say er jian. We say liang jian. We use liang. A lot then say er. Always a liang match word. Liang ge ren, you know, two persons. You will not say er ge ren. You always say liang ge ren. 两件衣服,两个课,两瓶啤酒, like this. Good. Then here, 衬衫, shirt. How do you say two shirts? 两件衬衫. Right, good. Then, next one, 颜色, 颜色. Which means color. Actually, uh, the character Yan means color. Se also means color. Together, also color. Uh, then why? Because if you just say Yan too short, Se too short, only one syllable, people may not understand. May understand. It depends the situation. If you just say Yan, people may not understand. But the Yan Se together, it make it make it more clear. So. Yan se color, two syllable way to say color, one syllable way in spoken, normally you just say se, some color, for example, uh, yellow color, the color of yellow, you may say huang se, huang se. you will not say huang yan se, of course some people say huang yan se, but not necessary to say huang yan se, most people just say huang se, oh, red color, hong se, like this, but for color itself, Normally we prefer this two syllable word, yan se. Okay. Just say this yellow is huang, huang yan se. Okay. Or oh, huang se. Like I said, most people in spoken mean they say huang se. A red color is hong se. And other colors. Next one, no. Chuan is to wear, to put on. For example, I wear a t shirt today. How do you say that? So I, I will say, 我 today, 今天, uh, Chuan, Yi Jian, measure word for clothes, Yi Jian. T shirt, we say, T Xu, we still use the English, English letter T. So this, uh, this one, T Xu. We say T Xu. Or Jin Tian Chuan Yi Jian T Xu. Okay, good. Oh, I'm putting on my clothes. I also can say this Chuan. Uh, so I'm putting on my clothes. How do you say that in your mind? How do you say that? I tell you. Doing something, we use 正在, or just say 在, uh, 我正在穿衣服, I'm putting on my clothes. Okay, good. The next one is 条, it's a measure word. Okay, make it up a little bit. So this 条 is for pets or childers. It was tiao because the measure word tiao normally for something narrow and long, like for example a fish, you will say yi tiao yu, yi tiao yu. Okay, put here yi tiao yu. That's a fish. Because the fish kind of long, you know, that thing. And uh, pets, the kuz, kuz. So a pair of pets. We say, 一条裤子, 
Yeah. Goods. We don't say a pair of pets. We say yi tiao, one tiao pets. Good. Then if you want to buy this kuzi, 如果你要买这个裤子, you may consider the size. The size. So, how do you say small size, middle size, big size? So small size. We start with a small, smaller one. Small, small is 小, right? So 小号, 小号. So small size. Actually, this how means number, uh, which means number, small number here for close small size. And the middle size, zhonghao, right? So middle size uh, or medium size. And the big size, how do you say? Yes, sure, da hao. Uh, big size. Good. This zhong, uh, middle, medium. The word from zhong, I think we learned a lot, for example, zhongguo, China. And uh, zhongxue, what does that mean? Middle school. Xue uh, is to learn, so middle, learn, middle school. Xue uh, is actually for xue xiao, short for xue xiao, school, middle school. Okay, another one, uh, zhong can. Do you know that? Zhong can, Chinese meal. Hmm? Zhong is uh, China, Chinese. Can is meal, Chinese meal. A lot of zhong. Hmm. Other, this one, of course, you want eight your, your, your pets be cheaper, eh? not so expensive. So cheap, cheap, we say 便宜 in Chinese. 便宜. Do you remember how to say expensive? Yes, sure. I think you remember. We say 贵. 贵, expensive. And here 便宜 is cheap. 便宜 is cheap. We learned this 贵 from like 您贵姓, do you remember? This way, kind of uh, your expensive surname, place. Actually, it's kind of your honorable surname mm, to show your respect. Uh, how that? And uh, using this pianyi, you can ask the shop assistant, can you make it a little cheaper? You can say this way. Pianyi idiar. Pianyi idiar. Uh, 可以吗? 一点 is a little bit. You put after adjective to show what you want. So make it a little bit cheaper. 可以吗? 可以 is can. 吗? question. Can you? Okay. Like this. Then 如果, 如果 means if. Here actually they say 如果 something 的话. 如果 something 的话. 如果 something 的 you put the situation condition between 如果 and the hua. Literally, the hua, you know, the is kind of off or mm, s, you know, hua is sentence. Means uh, uh, the sentence I'm going to say is under this situation. Uh? Okay, 如果 the hua means if. I give you example. Uh, if it uh, rain tomorrow, I will not go to your home. How do you say? We say, 如果, sorry, that rule is second tone. Change it. 如果明天下雨的话, here, 如果明天下雨的话, 明天下雨 is the condition. Uh, 我就不去你家 Here, 就 就 means then It works with 如果 So here's the structure word 如果 something 就 If then 如果明天下雨的话 If tomorrow uh, rain It's rain tomorrow 我就不去你家 I will not go to your home Like this Okay 
in the real situation, in the real life, people can drop this 的话 You may just say, 如果明天下雨，我就不去你家 Or some people can drop this 如果 As long as the meaning is clear, 明天下雨的话，我就不去你家 Or even people drop the both of them. 明天下雨，我就不去你家。Oh, okay. As long as the meaning is clear. Okay. Good. Then let's continue. So look at here. 长短 It's the length. It's a one way to show the length. You know, 长 is long, 短 is short. So 长短 so your length, 长 okay, long, and 短 short. Put together means your length. Some other example. You know, 大 sure you know 大大 is big, and 小 is small. But how about the 大小 together? 大小 It's a one way to say size. Size. For example, 大小是多少 How is the size? What's the size? Okay. Here is the 长短长短 the just the the length. Okay. Here we mentioned the 长 is long, 短 is short. 合适 Suitable. How do you say uh, this pets? Not the one you you just bought. Hmm? It's very suitable. Okay, in your mind, could you try to think about it? Okay, I will give you this. You say "je" and the measure word "tiao." Uh, the tiao is very. Remember, we often say very. Even that's not really that much degree. We still say very. The tiao is very suitable. 合适 Oh, if you want to ask your friend's opinion, like is that suitable? Does it fit me? Fit me? Say, 这条 measure word 这条裤子合适吗 Make it make it a question. Then they will say, yes, it fits you very well. They may say, 很合适 right? 很合适 Should be have an N here. Very, very good. This one, shi, shi means to try. You can say, can I have a try? How do you say that? 我可以试试吗 Normally, the second shi is neutral. 我可以试试吗 ？We often duplicate ver verb to make it、uh, you know casual and feel soft or polite like this. 我可以试试吗 ？Another way you can say 我可以试一下吗 ？Also, we often put 一下 after verb to make it polite and soft. 我可以试一下吗？我可以试试吗 ？Another way you can say 我可以试一试吗？ You even can put the e, which means number one. 试一试 It's like a little like English. Have a try. 试一试 Have a look. 看一看 Like this. So anyway, you can choose anyway. Anyways. Okay. Good. The next one. 不用不用 We learn this 用用 means to use. But the negative "bu" means no. It's not means no use something.、Uh, actually, means no need. I don't need.、Uh, you will say "bu yong." No use, but means no need. No need. Bu yong. Kind of.、Uh, would you like to try it? 你要试试吗 You may say, "Ah,、oh, bu yong, bu yong. I know. <laughs> It fits me. Bu yong." Or someone on the street, they want to give you something. Ah, please, this one, this one. 
you don't know if it's good or not, especially the new place, you may say, oh, 不用, I don't need it, 不用, maybe you say, 谢谢, 不用, 谢谢, like this. 一共, all together. 一 means one, 共 is kind of put something together. 一共, it kind of puts all this thing I just bought together, make one number, one price, tell me. So all together, how much? You will ask this way. You will say, 一共多少钱? Literally, all together, how much? Then they will answer you, 一共, sorry, this is 共, not 通. Uh, 一共, for example, 两百元. Or spoken way, they say 两百块, right? 元块, the same. Good. Then 多少, how much? Yes. 多少钱, of course. That's the way we ask how much, 多少钱. 多 means many, 少 is little few, so 多少钱 means tell me this much or that much. 多少钱, very direct. Mm. 快, for money, for currency. It's like yuan, but kuai is very spoken. Most people say kuai in the real life, in real life. Yuan is more written, but uh, in some shop, the shop assistant also may use yuan. That one, Mao. Mao is 10 cents. 10 cents. For example, uh, 十块. 十块, let's say 九毛, 十块九毛, kind of uh, 10块, 10元, and 九毛, 90 cents. 九毛, it's Mao also spoken way to say. 10 cents. This one, fen, fen is uh, 1 cent, 1 cent. But uh, nowadays, we not really use fen a lot. Actually, it's not easy to find this fen right now. If you're in China, luckily you find this fen is very small money, and this it's made a long, long time ago. I think at least maybe 30 or 40 years ago, at least that fen. So it's not easy to find it actually. But anyway, fen is one cent. Could be. If this is the price, uh, you will say 十块九毛九分. So people are lazy. Sometimes they will drop the last unit. They may say 十块九毛九. It's common. Good. Then, 百. Which means uh, hundred. Hundred. One hundred, of course. 一百, one hundred yuan. 一百元, or 一百块. Good. The next one. 找. Set to give change. It's like uh, it cost you five yuan. You give them ten yuan. Then they will, you know, give change. Give five yuan back. That's a 找. Uh, 找. But literally, this character originally not means, uh, you know, give the money back to you. means to look for something. For example, you knocked my door to my office, you, you, you say, 我找 John, right? I'm looking for John. Then I can say, uh, 我, 我, 我是 John, or 我就是 John, I'm exactly John. 我是John, I'm John, like this. So Zhao is the uh, original meaning means look for. And here, it's for money, it's, uh, you know, give change for you. It's kind of you have to um, search your wallet to get the right money. Uh, Zhao, okay, okay, and give you, uh, here's your money. Zhao, anyway. 
in this case, you will say, ni gei wo, ni gei la wo. So, you give me shi kuai. So, wo zhao ni wu kuai. And I give you five yuan back. Yeah. Good. Xie xie da jia. Xia si jian. Zai jian. Da jia hao. Jin tian wo men lai xie xi ke wen. Xian zai kai shi. Kan zhe li. Look at here. Li yo. 在一个商店买东西 ，so Leo 在 at 一个商店 one shop 买东西 buy things。售货员问他，售货员 the shop assistant 问 to ask 他 him。so 售货员问他 ，shop assistant asks him。小姐 ，actually her not him。小姐 ，miss。您要买什么 ？Here, 要 is kind of wants. You like English to say what would you like to buy?、Uh, kind of would. Would you like? Would you like? 您要买什么 ？What would you like to buy? 什么？衣服、uh, ？Clothes. What What kind of clothes would you like to buy? Then the lady says, 我想买。想 also like would like. 要 is more or want. 想 is more polite than 要 So I'd like to buy 一件衬衫 shirt. 件 is a match word for clothes, right? 一件衬衫 Okay. Then 售货员售货员的 shop assistant. 您喜欢 like. 什么颜色的 ？So literally, you like 什么 what 颜色 color 的 ？Actually, the 衬衫 here they dropped something 啊。The 衬衫 ，right? So what kind of color shirt? That's very common. Sometimes Chinese people drop this object. As long as as long as it is very clear to you and to me, so I can drop the object. So I just keep this the to know to let you know I drop something. It's still kind of a verb and not verb. A noun object fading. 什么颜色的 This is、uh, used a lot in this text. So let's just roughly have a look. 什么颜色的 means what kind of shirt. And、uh, even here, 红的，红的 you see, and、uh, 多大的 like this, 大号的，中号的，小号的，有便宜的，贵的，好的 you see, a lot of this the they all dropped the object actually it's for clothes. The, the cheap one, it's like English, the one,、uh, the cheap one, the red one, you know, the expensive one, the middle size one, like this. You don't have to really to say the middle size clothes every time you repeat the clothes, clothes. You just say the one, the one, like that. Okay, we drop the object, but we still keep the the to remind you. Okay, then back here. 红呃什么颜色的 ？Actually, 衬衫啊。嗯，黄的还是红的？黄的 ，the yellow one， 还是 ，you know， 还是名字 or， 红的 ，or red one。那 Leo says， 我喜欢穿，穿 is to wear， 红的 ，I'd like to wear red one。Again， 红的 red one。我还想买，还 means still。And it's also could be in addition something more. So in addition, I'd like to buy. 我想买一条裤子。条 remember the match word, match word for pants or clothes. We say 一条裤子。裤子 is pants, clothes. Here, 多大的 This is a little special way to 
ask a question. 多大的意思 means how big, but literally we say 多 means many. 大意思 big. We use this word many to make a question. Say for example, how big? We say 多大 How heavy? We say 多重重 means heavy. So how heavy? We say 多重 And、uh, how tall? We say 多高 And normally we we will use the Positive adjective, for example, how tall. Normally we don't say how short.、Uh, how big. Normally we don't say how short. How small. But、uh, it could be、uh, in some very special situation. But、uh, most time we use the positive one. Okay. 大好的 a big size. Remember this how how is number here means size, big size. 中号的 middle size 还是 or 小号的 small size. The Leo says 中号的 the big size one. 中号的不要不要 I don't want 太贵的 I don't want very expensive one. 啊也不要 also 也 I don't want too cheap too cheap one. 好的 This page. This 条裤子 Remember, 条 is measured for pants. Pants. 这条裤子怎么样 How do you like these pants? We always put 怎么样 you know, at the end of sentence to show, to ask your opinion. How do you like? Say 怎么样呃，颜色很好 So 颜色 color. The color is very good. Color very good. 呃，如果长短合适的话 ，here the structure. 如果的话 ，do you remember? 如果的话 ，which means、uh, if. Right. So we put here. 如果 something 的话 ，right? Which means、uh, if. If you can drop 如果 out 的话 still it means if as long as people can feel you mean if 啊如果长短 means the length 长 is long 短 is short the length 合适 suitable if the length is suitable 我就 as I mentioned normally this 如果 work with 就 Jiu means then. It's kind of like English. If then, so if the lens is okay, I will buy it. Actually, buy it. Okay. 呃，您试一下。Remember, this 试 is not the 我是 John. That I am, not them. Means try here. 您试一下。You please have a try. 一下，试一下。How do you? You may ask me, how do I know that's not、uh, I am? It's it's try because the same pronunciation. It will you will see the context. Okay, so Leo check the size、um, on the、uh, level and、uh, measure the pads against、uh, her leg. So she kind of don't want doesn't want to have a try. No. So, 不用试 as we mentioned, 不用 means no need. Even 用 means use, but together 不用 no need, 不用是 This 是 also means try, no need to try. 可以 OK, 可以 means OK, like 好行 Then 这件衬衫呢 Remember you put the 呢 at the end of a sentence to make the question, the same question, like、uh, how about this shirt? Then. Leo, 也不错 Also, not bad, which means good. Also good. 一共多少钱 As we mentioned, 一共 all together, right? All together. 多少钱 How much? Very useful phrase. How much? Okay. 售货员 The shop assistant says, 衬衫二十一块五啊
it's not clear to read Chinese pinyin for numbers, so I'd like to make it a number. Uh, actually, here they dropped the Mao. Mao uh, so one Mao is 10 cents. Mao is fi uh, 50 cents. Uh, 裤子, the, the pets. 三十二,三十二块九毛九,九毛九,九毛九,so twenty two quai and uh, 九毛九分, actually here they dropped the fun, fun is one cent, so 九毛九分, so the number actually is this, right, like this. Here, the number is uh, this, right? Good. Then, 一共是五十四，五十四块四毛. Okay. Delete the tone, otherwise they could be confused. 四毛九分. Okay. So. The number is this actually. 五十四块四毛九分. Okay, good. Then Leo says, 好, 这是一百块钱. So, 一百块. It's 一百元, RMB. Yeah. For cash, sometimes people put 钱 at the end. 一百块 cash money. 一百块钱. Then, Shohoyuan says, Zhao Nin, you know, Zhao is a give change. Give change. Again, this number. Si Shi Wu Kwai Wu Mao Yi. Here should be Yi Fen, but a uh, lot, of, lot of times people drop this, the, the last unit. Here should be this number. Right, so these two number put together 100. Good. Okay. 这就是这个课文, that's the text. 谢谢大家,下次见,再见. means to continue. 我们继续, we continue. 我们继续我们的生词, vocabulary. 好的, 第一个, 在这里, here, 双, 双 is a measure word. If you look at the character, that's the two parts, you know, two parts that's the same. It's kind of like two, a pair of something. So, this measure word means a pair of something. Give me an example. 一双鞋 We haven't learned 鞋 yet, but here 鞋 means shoes. We say 一双鞋, one pair of shoes. Another example, 一双袜子 Watts means socks, so a pair of socks. And uh, do you remember how do you say a pair of pets or a pair of trousers in Chinese? Yes, we just learned it last time. In Chinese, we don't say uh, 一双, a pair of, we say 一条, another measure word, measure word, 一条, coots. Okay, good. Then 鞋, shoes, of course. Next one. Huan to exchange, exchange. For example, 嗯, 我有一个手机, 嗯, cell phone, 手机, 手机, 手 is hand, 机 is a machine, so together, hand machine is cell phone, 我有一个手机, 嗯, 你也有一个手机, you also have a cell phone, you have a cell phone, 但是你的手机比我的好, Okay, I write it down by the way. Need literally your 
手机 cell phone。B is compare。我的 my 好 is good， so it means your cell phone is better than mine。OK， so 我们换，嗯，我们换 ，we exchange。I kindly want your cell phone， right？ OK， just to make fun。So 换 is exchange。Or if you come to China， you need to 换钱， right？ 换钱，钱 is money。OK， if you use dollar to exchange RMB， you will say 用。We know this yong is to use yong mei yuan, which is dollar, huan ren min bi, right? So literally use uh, dollar huan to exchange RMB. Good. How next ya e of course means one. Yang means appearance, appearance. So yang, one appearance. So together it means the same, the same. The structure normally we say A and B, yang. You can say this one, this one, yang. Jiga he, jiga yang, right? And we say he in Chinese, of course. I can say just take. The cell phone, for example, 我的手机 my cell phone 和你的 Here I can put 手机 or I just say 你的 for short your yours right or your phone your cell phone. Then I say 一样 literally my phone and your phone the same. So I don't have to exchange. <laughs> Good, 一样 So remember this 一样 means appearance. Later we will have another word also with the character ya. How the then here? Sui ran means although. Normally it uh, works with uh, although but sui ran dan shi. Okay. I write it down. Sui ran something dan shi something. A very classic. Example, although it's raining now, but I still want to go out. Okay, how do you say that? 虽然 right now, 现在 raining, we say go down the rain. 下下 is go down. Rain is 雨虽然现在下雨 but I still like to go out. 但是我 still is high. 我还 like to do something. 还想出去。出去 means go out. 我还想出去。Good example. Good. Next one. 大小 size. I think we mentioned it last time. 大小大 is big. 小 is small. So together means size, big or small. Like we talked before, 多少 means how much. 多 is many, 少 is few. So 多少 is this many or this many. So how much? Okay. This one, 咖啡色 Last time we mentioned the 色 means color or 颜色 Two syllable word for color. 色 is one syllable word for color. 咖啡色咖啡 you know it's coffee. 色 is color, so coffee color is brown, right? 咖啡色 You can say, uh, I like the the brown one, right? How do you say that? 嗯，我喜欢 I like 呃，咖啡色 How do you say the brown one? How do you say this one? You just put the 的啊。我喜欢咖啡色的。种 it's a major word. It means a kind or a type of something. Also, you can say I I prefer this kind, this type, right? So you can say 我喜欢 prefer. Also, you can use 喜欢 in Chinese. So 我喜欢这种 I like this type. 
It's, uh, could be any anything, right? Could be your hairstyle, or the phone, or anything. Just this kind, this type. Good. Then that one, hi. The color black, hi. Yes. And the uh, white. Do you remember white? Bai, bai is white. Hey, it's black. Okay. Next, uh, yang zi. Do you remember? I just mentioned this yang. Yang means uh, appearance. So yang zi. This zi is kind of uh, suffix just to make a word. It doesn't mean anything. Yang zi also means appearance. So here it said uh, style, but I prefer to translate as uh, appearance. For example, I like the appearance of uh, that stuff. You can say, 我喜欢我喜欢这个样子. I like this style, or I like this appearance. Or you even can say this 样子. For a good looking girl, you can say, 她的样子很好看, right? 他的, her, Yang's appearance, 很好看, and 好看 is good looking, means uh, he's pretty, she is pretty, sorry. Uh, we Chinese people sometimes, he, she, you know, we got confused because we only have one pronunciation for he, she. So even me, um, sometimes I say he, but it means she. Okay. Uh, 她的样子很好看, so her appearance, very good looking. Good. Next one, Ting. Ting is uh, said very rather. So normally I will say it means uh, quite, uh, quite. You know, some degree word, it's very, very. We say 很, 很好, right? 很好. If not good, we say 不好. If it's uh, quite good, you know, not very, but uh, here, quite good. How do you say? Then you use this Ting, Ting. But this structure, you have to remember, normally we say Ting. Adjective de. Of course, you can just say ting hao, but a uh, lot of times people say ting hao de. Ting hao de. Which means uh, quite good. Quite good. Oh, jin tian can say ting re de. Ting re de. Uh, quite hot. Uh, any adjective. Okay. Oh, ting mang de. You know, mang is busy. Mm, quite busy. Quite busy today. Yeah. How that? This is ta. It's eight. Eight. It's uh, for animal, mm, for, for things. Eight. Okay. But we actually we don't use it as many as English. In English, you use eight a lot. Like, it is important. Uh, it is my something. Uh, but we not really use it a lot. Okay. For example, in English, you say it is important to do that. Definitely, we will not say it is important. We say uh, to do that is important. We kind of don't. We don't have this structure. It is important to do something. Uh, okay. Even like uh, it is my fault. We don't say it is. We say this is. This is my fault. So that's why I say we don't use really use this eight a lot. Okay. Here, of course. Uh, there, how do you say? Na, right? Uh, okay, and uh, put R here. Na means uh, there. Good. Jer means uh, here. That one. Shua ka. Shua ka is said to pay with uh, uh, your bank card or credit card. The shua, uh, literally, this shua is to, to brush. For example, shua qiang. Qiang is a wall. I put here. Qiang is the, the wall. Huh? Shua qiang, to brush the wall. Shua. Okay. So shua actually, this, this action, shua, or this action is shua. 
even brush your teeth, yeah, that's also shua. Brush your teeth, teeth, we say shua ya. To brush the teeth. Ya is teeth, shua ya, shua ya. Okay, here ka, the correct ka means card. Because in English, in English you say card, so in Chinese we say ka, it's from English, shua ka, to brush the card, <laughs> not this, actually swipe the card, okay, shua ka, good, so shua, uh, to brush or uh, to swipe, ka is card, as we mentioned, show, receive, receive, For example, uh, you receive a letter, we will show, we can say show letter is xin, uh, show xin, receive a letter, uh, or show email, you check you have an email, right? Show, just say email, because I think most Chinese people just say email, show email, okay? Or you receive some money uh, from someone. You will say show money. How do you say money? Qian, uh, show qian. Okay, good. Then, xin yong ka. Xin yong ka. Xin yong means credit. Credit. Ka, card. So, credit card. Xin yong ka. Or if I say yin hang ka, do you have any idea? Yin hang ka. Yin hang means bank. So yin hang ka, bank card. Could be any card, debit card, credit card, any card from the bank. Okay. Here. Buku. I'm not sure if you remember, we have learned many but. Three but. Plus this one. Uh, we learned ke uh, shi. Okay. And we learned dan uh, shi. They all means but. Here, 不过, also but. What's the difference? 不过 is said but, or however. This 不过, a little soft. It's like, uh, you know, I'd like to go with you. But uh, actually, I have something to do, to handle with, so I cannot. In this case, you... You will use 不过, like however, I like that, but however, I cannot do that, you know, you will say 不过. Of course, if you use other but, 可是 or 但是, in this case, it's also okay, no problem, just the 不过 is soft, kind of soft deny. Next, 在, again, again, we learned it, this 在, do you remember? We learned the zai jian, right? Zai jian. Literally, zai means again. Jian is to see. Again, see. Kind of see you again. So, zai. When you use this zai, you will say zai do something. Do something. For example, um, I will come tomorrow. How do you say? I, tomorrow. 明天, come, 再来, 再来, okay, good, then that one, 付钱, 付 is to pay, 付 is to pay, 钱 is money, so 付钱, to pay the money, okay, that's all for the vocabulary, 谢谢大家, 下次见, 再见。他们在做什么？我们过去看看。这是父母在帮他们的儿女们找对象，纸上写着儿女们的信息。在。
在中国，父母比儿女们更着急。这是一个找对象的市场，人来人往。上面写着：“北京工作，大连籍孩子专区。”树上也挂着一些。找对象的广告，草地上也放着一些广告。最后，我们看看这几个一直在旁边。锻炼的人，他们在玩鞭子。大家好，我是 John， 我们一起看课文，在这里。对不起 ，I'm sorry， 这双鞋太小了。So, 这双 ，strong is measured for shoes. 这双 this pair of shoes 太小了 ，too small. 能不能换一双？能 is can. 不能 is cannot. 换 to exchange. 一双 is one pair. Actually, one pair of shoes. But、uh, as long as people.、Uh, Clear about what are you talking? What you are talking about? You can drop the object. You just say this pair.、Uh, this pair actually is、uh, this pair of shoes. Okay. So can or cannot exchange for another pair of shoes like this. Good. Then the shop assistant says, 没问题 no problem. 您看 you know, 看 is、uh, look. Or to see, to look. 您看 so you please have a look. 这双 again, it drops 鞋 the shoes because you all know what we are talking about. So 这双 this pair, this pair. 这双怎么样 How about this ones? 也不行 You know, 也 means also. 不 is no or not. 行 is okay. Also not okay. Why? Because 这双跟那双一样大 Here there's a structure, you know, 跟 something 一样 Normally, object A 跟 object B 一样 means A and B the same. Sometimes you put another adjective after 一样 to show more details. So, uh, this one, this shoes and that shoes the same. For what aspect? Of obviously that's the size. So this 大 is not really means big. Actually, it's 大小 the size. For the size, it's the same. Because as we mentioned, he said 这双鞋太小了 So at the beginning, he said this shoes. It's too small, but here it said、uh, this one and that one same big. So obviously this big is not really means big, just means the size. Okay. I can give you another example. 我跟你一样高 What does that mean? 我 I 你 you 我跟你 you and me 一样 same. So what kind of same? I say 高 tall. 高 means tall, tall. But、uh, it doesn't mean like you are tall and I'm tall. It just means we are same height. But we, I can still use just the 高 to show we are same height. Okay. Understand that, right? Good. Then the shop assistant says, 那这双黑的呢 So 那 Now here means not means that means in that case so. 这双 
So these pairs of uh, Haida, a black one. How about that one? No. no. Then, zhe shuang xie. So this pair of shoes. 虽然大小合适，可是颜色不好. Here is the structure. 虽然可是, oh, 但是, it just means but. You know, 虽然 means although. Oh, means but. So, 这双鞋 means for this pair of shoes. Although, 大小, the size, 合适, it's good, suitable, but, 颜色, the color, 不好, not good, color not good. Hmm? 有没有, you have or, or you don't have, you know, 有没有, 咖啡色, the, so the coffee color, is the brown, the, this the is kind of one or ones, the brown ones. Because like in English, the shoes is a pair, so you say once. In Chinese, there's no difference, you know. So cafe third, the coffee color once. Do you have it or you don't have? Good. Then the shop assistant says, 对不起, I'm sorry. 这种, remember 种 means kind or type. So this kind of uh, xie shoes, 指, Means only have yo hide only have a hide eh? black one for shoes black ones okay then 这双鞋, this pair of shoes 样子, remember yangs as I said uh, appearance uh, 挺好的, that's also new we learned the ting the structure right. Which means quite. So, 挺好的, quite good. 就是, uh, 就是他吧, 就是他吧. Here, 就, 就 is a kind of, uh, you know, I think that's an interesting word. Very short, just one syllable, but got uh, so many different meanings and uh, so many different ways to use it. If you check the dictionary for this jiu, you can find about over 10 different ways to use jiu. But uh, don't worry about it. And step by step, okay? So here, jiu means exactly, exactly, exactly. Literally, 就 exactly 是 is 他 it 吧 It's kind of a, a suggestion or something you tell to yourself to make it soft. Uh, 就这双吧, like uh, that's exactly what I want. So just uh, what I want. I want it like this. Uh, good. 你们这儿可以刷卡吗? 你们, you, zhe, here, often say, we say 你们这, like you, here, 可以, can, 刷卡, 刷 is swipe, or to brush, remember, 卡 is card from English, 刷卡嘛, means swipe card, it means to use the credit card, of course you can just say use credit card, like 可以用银行卡嘛, it's also okay, yeah? Or Xinyong Kama. It's okay. But uh, the lady says, 对不起, sorry. Woman Bu Show Xinyong Ka. You know, show means receive, uh, accept, receive. Uh, so we, we don't uh, take or receive the credit card. Bugo. Bugo means bad, but soft bad, but, right? So uh, here we can say, however, 这双的钱, so 这双 means this pair of shoes, shoes, the qian, money, so the structure the, you know, actually 钱 is the thing they, they're talking, before the, just the modifying 钱, what, what kind of money, so the money for this pair of shoes, 跟那双, 
So with that one, it's that shoes. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here the structure. Uh, this one, gun, that one. Yeah, same, right? Okay. So I may use another color for this. That thing, gun, that thing, the same. Good. Then, uh, 您不用再付钱了 So, 不用 you know, is no need. Zai means again. Remember, zai jian, see you again. Uh, fu is to pay, qian is money. Here, le, to show the situation changed. As we learned, le, le could be past tense, but le also could be something changed, not like uh, before. Uh, so, bu yong zai fu qian la. Because you normally you're supposed to pay, but uh, this time, because of this reason, you don't have to pay again. So, the lady used the le at the end to show that's changed. How the? Thank you, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Hello, I'm John. Now I'm making the video for the last lesson of this book, Integrated Chinese Lesson 10. And uh, if you need a tutor to help you, you can visit my website, thechineseclassroom.com. And uh, we have the good teachers to help you. Even I can help you. In this summer, there were some students. They even came to Dalian, China, my city, and we have face-to-face -face classes. They learn Chinese intensively, which is the, you know, the the real classroom class. Uh, it was quite good. If you'd like to do that, you can contact me. For example, if you have a, a few weeks, uh, we can have, a, say, Monday to Friday, a few hours a day. Then you learn Chinese and uh, you will improve very fast. By the way, you will feel China, feel the people, talk with local people, feel the culture, the food. You know, that's the real China, which is uh, quite good. Feel free to tell me your idea if you want to do that. How the? Then let's start our class. 第十课，交通 ，transportation. In this lesson, you will learn to use Chinese to comment about several means of transportation, explain how to travel from one station to another. Describe a traffic route. Express your gratitude after receiving a personal favor. Offer New Year's wishes. 我们开始。我们先看生词。First, we look at the vocabulary. 寒假。寒假 means winter vacation. 寒 means cold. You may remember we learned another cold is 冷 Yeah, it's very common to say 很冷 Lang is for spoken Chinese. This Han is a little formal. You can find some where in the book uh, in some certain word, like this one, Han Jia. Jia is a vacation, so Han Jia, winter vacation. That's mostly for students. Uh, and the summer vacation, we say Shu Jia. Shu Jia. Got the same idea. Shu is the uh, Warm. Normally spoken Chinese, we say 热，很热，很热。暑假 ，it's a very hot vacation. Means a summer vacation. It's for students. And if you work, you're not students, and、uh, you're on holiday. How do you say that? We will say 我在休假。我在休假。在 to show you're doing something. So I am 休假。休 is from 休息。休息 ，which means to rest. 假 is vacation, so 休假 together. I'm on vacation. I'm having my vacation. 
第二个，飞机，飞机 airplane. If you look at this character, 飞 to fly looks like a bird, you know, with two very tiny wings, you know, to fly. That's true. That the story is true. That's why it looks like this.、Uh, so phase to fly, ji is a machine.、Uh, together, phase is a flying machine. It's a airplane. Okay, makes sense. Give you some other example. So this ji, you may know this shou ji, cell phone. Literally, show with your hand. G is a machine, hand machine, because you, with your phone, you know, in your hand, hand machine. And、uh, this one, 洗衣机 How about this one, 洗衣机 What does that mean? 洗衣 means wash. 衣 is、uh, clothes. G is a machine. So together, it's a, a washing machine. Another one, 嗯，电视机 What does it mean? 电视 We have learned this 电视 I think.、Eh? 电视 is a TV. A TV. So G is a machine. TV machine. Actually, TV set. It's like、uh, in English. Normally, you just say TV. No one really say TV set nowadays. In China, in Chinese also, people say 电视 instead of say 电视机 Even 电视机 is a formal name because it is the machine TV set. Good. We have a lot of G actually.、Yeah. Then, 票票 ticket. Of course, if I say 机票 then you understand 机票 is for this G is for 飞机飞机 So 飞机票 is airplane ticket. For short, people will say just say 机票机票 This one, 机场哦，飞机场。Of course, 飞机 the flying machine is an airplane. 场 is a big ground. Normally, a big ground is a 场 a big place, big ground. So the big ground for the airplane, that's an airport. 飞机场 For short, people may just say 机场啊，机场 Next one, 坐 We learned this, 做 before. You know, 做 it's a it's a verb. It means to sit. Here we use this to sit. Another meaning is、uh, travel by. I give you an example, then you will be clear. 我坐飞机去了上海 So literally, word by word. I took airplane, went to Shanghai. So that's the way to say I went to Shanghai by airplane. We kind of saying literally sitting the airplane because you really actually you really sit in the airplane, right? So we use 坐 for by travel by. Also, you can say 坐火车 means travel by train. And the 坐船 which we haven't learned, 船 is a ship or boat. So by boat, by ship, and 坐 any other transportation tools. This one, 公共汽车 it's a long word and four characters. Normally, our words only two or three characters, but actually, it's two words. Let's see here. So this one, 公共 means public. Public. 汽车 is automobile. So together, 公共汽车 public automobile. It means the bus, the public bus. Okay, to break it down, 车 itself means vehicle. A vehicle. Here is said vehicle or car. Actually, this character just means vehicle, any kind of vehicle. Of course, car is a another word, and the truck is another word, and the bus another word. But all these words with the character 车 because because they are all vehicle. Sometimes for short, 
I can say 我我有一个车 I have a vehicle, but in this case, I mean I have a car because normally I will not, you know, have a truck, uh, you know, like this. So that's why here they also said a true means car because it depends. It depends. In the real life, normally normal people they say what your true should be a car. Good. Then see next page. Okay, here. 或者或者 means or. 嗯，或者 I'm sure we have learned another or. 名词还是 Do you remember 还是 For example, if you my friend visit me. I will ask him, "Would you like、uh, coffee or tea?" I will say, "Uh, 你要咖啡还是茶？你要咖啡还是茶？" But my friend may say, "Hmm, coffee or tea, both okay. Doesn't matter anyway." So he will say, "Coffee, 或者 okay, 或者茶。都可以，都 means all both 可以 means OK 都可以。So I hope you already see the difference. 或者 and 还是 So 还是 normally for question. So here question. This one or that one to ask people to choose. But if people say that one or that one doesn't matter,、uh, anything is OK, then he will use 或者或者 is not for question. That's the difference. Then that one, 地铁 subway. 地铁地是 ground. 铁是 steel, iron together. The ground, steel. Actually, this 地是 for underground. Underground, short for 地下下 is down. 地下 and the 铁 we have a 铁路 I write it down. This is for 地下 which means underground. And the tier is for tier loop. You may already know a、uh, loop means road. So tier loop,、uh, steel road, iron road. This means the the trail,、uh, the rail,、uh, rail, railway. Okay. So underground railway, literally the tier. This one, go, that uh, uh, to go, go.、Uh, It's very very beginning means just means walk by your feet like this walk is so. But nowadays we use it kind of widely. You can just use it as go, as go or leave. For example, let's go. You will say, 我们啊，我们走。Or you make a suggestion, 我们走吧。You know, by suggestion.、Uh, let's go. Let's go. Good. This one. 先先 means first. 先 means first. And let's say, for example, you're in a bar with your friend, and、uh, you want to leave first. You may you may say, 我我先走 First, I leave. I go. Ah, I 先走 Okay. Uh, here you have to uh pay attention. You have to put subject before 先 Not like English. First, I do that. We will say I first do that. Okay. 我先走 I first go. Then here.、Um, 站 In the textbook. This text, it means station. Station. Give you some example. 火车站 which means railway station. Yes, A railway station. Another one, 汽车站 which means 汽车 automobile. So bus station. 
okay, and some some jam, okay, could be D T jam subway station, right? D T jam subway station. Good. Then this one, 下车 You know, 下 means down. Oh, you used as the verb means go down. So 下车 is go down the bus or car means get off, get off the bus. 下车 The opposite, if you get on the bus, how do you say? Of course, you say 上上 is up or go up. So 下车 And opposite is 上车 I think we learned like、uh, 下班 which means you finish work. And、uh, 上班班 is your duty or your work means you start work. Start work. Or sometimes could be just、uh, go to work. Depends. So here, remember 上车 is go on the bus. 下车 go down the bus. This one. 然后，然后 means then. 然后 means then. Just now we learned first. First is the 先 Sometimes you can use this two words together. You can say 先 do something. 然后 do something, right? First do that, then do that. 先然后 like this.、I'll、give you an example. 我先洗手，然后吃饭。What does that mean? Literally, I 先 first 洗。Wash, show his hand. Sorry, that's wash hand. 然后 then 吃 is eat, 饭 is food. So first wash hand, then eat. Good. Here this one, blue, green, just the color, green, blue, green. Okay. Here, 线 is line. Ah, 线 is line. Here is for the subway line. Because in the book, the subway line is marked with colors. Could be the green line, red line, yellow line. You will say. Uh, 绿线 right? 绿线 it's not 路线 sorry, that should be 绿绿线 or red line, it's 红线 right? 红 is red, red line or yellow line, remember yellow, 黄线 okay, so yellow line, good. Uh, that's 线 And、uh, this one, 最后 final or finally. Again, we learned the first, we learned the then. Then here is the finally. You even can use these three words together to make、uh, some sentences, right? You can use the 先然后最后 so which means like、uh, first, then. Finally, right. Some example. For example, you go travel. Uh, you travel to China. You have a plan. You say, 我我要 That means I I will I want. So that's a plan. Not the, you really did that. So 我要先去 a city. For example, Shanghai. Right. 然后 then 去 where? Okay. To say Beijing, our capital, Beijing. Then you say, 最后 finally. Okay, why not go to my city、uh, to say me?、Eh? 最后去大连 Yes, our city is by the sea, beautiful.、Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway. So, 先 first, 然后 then 最后 at the end. 蓝 another color, blue, 蓝 blue. This one, ah,、uh, 麻烦 troublesome. Hmm. When you ask somebody to do something in China, 
some people may always say, uh, 很麻烦，不容易 like this.、Uh? So 很麻烦烦 very troublesome and、uh, 不容易容易 means easy. So not easy like this. 不麻烦，很容易。Not 很容易，很不容易。Like this. Okay, here 打车。打。We know this word. Normally it means hit or some action with your hand. Could be play ball, you know. Play ball. We say 打球。Right, to play. Ball, but not football. Football, you will kick it, not with your hands. So, 打球 And、uh, here, it's 打车 because when you take a taxi, you need to wave your hand, taxi, like this. So we say 打车 Good. This 车 again, you know, 车 is for any vehicle. So here, 车 of course is for the taxi. But how do you say taxi exactly? That one. 出租汽车啊，出租汽车。So 汽车 is automobile. 出租出租 ，sorry， 出租 is to rent out. So the automobile for renting out. 出租汽车。And for short, a lot of people say 出租车 for taxi. And、uh, 出租 to rent out. And this chu means go out, and the、uh, zu means、uh, to rent. So together, chu zu rent out is a verb. That one, 开车 to drive a car. 开车 This character 开 Have some meaning. Original meaning, 开 means to open, open something. For example, 开门 open the door, or 开窗 open the window. Okay, 开 which means open. Then it's got the meaning to start something because you open it, it's kind of some new thing, you know, starts. So could be start,、uh, start a machine or start a, a car. So as for start a car, it means to drive the car. Okay. Good. So anyway, 开车 is a set phrase to drive the car. And、uh, this one, 送送 also is a very useful word. It's got、uh, many different meanings. Could be say somebody off. For example,、uh, you will go to the airport. I can say 我送你啊，我明天 Tomorrow, ah,、uh, 明天送你 which means tomorrow I will see you off at the airport. You know, could be like, uh, uh, you go to the airport and I will go to the airport too, and we meet at the airport. I just want to say goodbye to you. That's also 送你 just see you off, right? But 送 also could be take you to somewhere.、Uh, Take you to somewhere. So I also can say, 我明天明天送你去机场 Literally, I tomorrow 送 Let's take you 去 to go to 机场 airport. You see here. The first part is exactly the same, but the meaning is different. So, 送你去机场 means take you to airport. It's kind of I will go to the airport with you. I can drive you to the airport, or I just uh, uh, take taxi、uh, with you, go to the airport. That's 送 Another very common meaning for 送 is、uh, give somebody a gift as a free. For example, 我送你一个礼物。Literally, I 送 is give somebody a gift for free. Give somebody something for free. 
So I give you a Liu with a gift. Of course, gift is free. Good. That's the vocabulary. 谢谢大家，再见。Before we start, I'd like to show you the room. In this room, I make most of the videos for you. Same with the computer, the book, and the light. On the computer, you see that's lesson 10, which I'm going to make it right now. Uh, let's go back to me. Hmm, lesson 10. Let's go. 大家好，我是 John。现在我们来看课文。Let's look at the text. 这里 ，Leo， 寒假你回家吗 ？So Leo， 寒假 ，we learned the winter vacation. 你回家吗？回 is return， 家 is home. So winter vacation， you go home. My question here. Leo says, 对 ，correct. Yes. 我要回家 ，you know， 要 is want、uh,。Yes， I, I want to go home， or I will go home。Then the man says， 飞机票你买了吗 ？That's a little special。You know， 飞机票 is airplane airplane ticket。And 你买了吗 ？Like did you buy it？ So here， it says 飞机票 first。That's a little special。呃 ，We Chinese people sometimes。We can see the topic first.、Uh, tell your topic, like as for the airplane ticket, then ask you, did you buy it? That's common.、Uh, that's just another way to say something. Here it said, 飞机票 airplane ticket. 你买了吗 Did you buy it? Yes. Of course, you can also use the regular order. It's like, 你买飞机票了吗 You bought airplane ticket, 吗 It's also okay. Okay. Good. Then Leo says, 已经买了 Okay, 已经 means already, right? 买了 already bought. 是二十一号的 Here, there's a very special structure. 是的 structure. I mark it with yellow color. 是的 That is a very special structure. I have to mention it. Okay. That's sure.、Uh, the it's like a、uh, bracket actually. It's like this. So normally this this should the is like this. So between this they give you some details. You want to show people some details. It's like uh, uh, what's the date or、uh, some other information you want to tell people. You may use this should the structure so people know between should the is the information you are giving to people. Here and、uh, 是二十二十一号 You know, 二十一号 is the twenty first. That's the date. So they use should the structure to show that's the information I give you.、Mm. Good. Then here it said,、uh, 飞机是几点的 That's also should the structure.、Uh, 飞机是几点的 Okay. Mark it. 是的 So between 是的 is the information, but here is for question. For question, what time?、Uh, so 飞机是几点的 I ask you the information. What time?、Uh, ex some exactly detail information. 几点的 Then, 晚上八点的 You see here,、uh, when Li Yu answered this question, she still used should the structure. But、uh, as you can see, actually here, she dropped the should. For should the structure, sometimes people can drop it. Drop should, it doesn't matter. But you have to keep the. So between should the is the information. So 是晚上八点的晚上八点 yes.、Uh, in the evening, eight o'clock. So eight p.m. Good. Then, uh, 你怎么去机场 That's the way to ask how.、Huh? 怎么 is how. So how how will you go to the airport? 去 is to go to. Then, says, 
，我想坐公共汽车或者坐地铁。Here the sum structure. So first, 或者 you know, 或者 means all, but that all is not for question. Just means I have two choices, and either 公共汽车 bus or the subway. So it's not really a question ask people to choose. So you remember the question you will use 还是 for all, coffee or tea, 茶还是咖啡嗯、uh, but here it's just the two choices. It said, uh, uh, 公共汽车或者地铁 or you can say 茶或者咖啡都可以 tea or coffee both okay. In that case, not question you will use 或者 for all. So here. 做 ，as I mentioned， 做 means to to sit， 呃、uh, ，to sit down。坐公共汽车 ，literally means sit， 呃、uh, ，in a bus。But、uh, you just can translate like a by bus， right？ 哦，坐地铁 ，sit in the subway， actually by subway。Okay， good。Then， 呃，你知道？怎么走吗 ？Again， 怎么 do something? How to do something? So you know how to go there.、Uh, 怎么走 ？How how to go?、Uh, means how to go to the airport.、Uh, my question. Okay, good. Then, 嗯、呃，你先坐一路汽车啊。你先坐一路汽车。The structure, 先 and、uh, I think here has a 然后 and then they have a also 先 right and 在呃、uh, 最后 this all this like、uh, in order word、uh, in order word. So you know, 先 is the first. 然后 means then, and、uh, here 最后 means finally.、Uh, finally, sorry, this one.、Uh, finally, and、uh, here you can find 先 again means the first. 再 Instead of say 然后 also you can say 再再 also could be then in this structure. Okay, then let's look at this sentence. 你先坐 like 坐 is to take. 嗯、uh, ，你 first you take 一路 No, 路 is a route, right? Route for the bus. So 一路 is a route number one. Ah,、uh, bus route number one. Ah,、uh, 一路呃，汽车，汽车 is for 公共汽车 bus。坐三站 ，so you sit there， <笑>三站啊、uh, ，for three stations， 站 station， 呃、uh, ，下车 ，kind of then you 下车 ，get off the bus， 然后 then 换地铁 ，you know， 换名字 to change，then you change to the 地铁 subway。That's another sentence. Uh, 先 first. So after you did that, then first, 坐红线 That's for the subway. Ah,、uh, first you take the 红 is red, 线 is line. So you take the red line. 再换绿线再 here's then then change to 绿线 the green line. 最后 finally 换 again you have to change. 蓝线 the green line. So first, uh, uh, red line, then like the green line. Finally, the line is blue, blue line. So that's very complicated, right? So that's so troublesome. So definitely, after uh, the man's explanation, I think、uh, the the lady Leo will not take it. It's too too troublesome. Then the lady says. 不行，不行，是行。Remember, OK is like, uh, uh, 不好，不可以啊，不行啊。Not OK, not OK. 太麻烦了。那麻烦的是 troublesome. 
uh, troublesome. That too troublesome. 我还是打车吧。It's another structure. 还是吧。Normally with ba to make it the the tone soft. 还是吧 structure means I'd rather. So I prefer do that. So 我还是打车吧。I'd rather taking the taxi or I prefer to take the taxi. Not really. <laughs> do the way you pre you you prefer is to complicate it, right? Then, uh, the man says, 出租汽车，呃，出租汽车 is taxi. Uh, that's a kind of a long word. 出租出租汽车，啊、uh, ，taxi， 太贵 ，too expensive. 我开车 ，you know， 开车 drive.、Uh, 开车 is vehicle. 开车 to drive. 送你。We learn this song. It's、uh, take somebody to somewhere or say say somebody off. Here means、uh, take you to the airport. So, 我开车送你去吧。吧 is to to show suggestion feeling. So, why not I take you to the airport? Okay. Then Leo, the lady says, 谢谢你 Thank you. Right. 谢谢 is thanks. 你 is you. So thank you. 不用客气啊。Uh, sometimes people say 不客气 ，the same、啊。不用客气，用 means to use， but here 不用 means no need、uh,。Together 不用 no need， so no need to be so polite。不客气。Good。好的，谢谢大家，下次见，再见。It's my son's birthday, one year old. We have a custom. When a child is one year old, we put different things in front of him and let him to pick up. The stuff he picks indicates the job he will do in the future. The day we have 钱、计算器、本子、胡萝卜、领带、麦克风、飞机、鼠标。画板，等等。开始，他有点紧张。他什么也没抓。后来。在大家的鼓励下，他抓到了胡萝卜、麦克风和钱，大家都很高兴。大家好，我是 John。First, let's look at the vocabulary. 我们先看生词，先 is first。我们先看生词。好的，第一个电子邮件。Let's look at here. 电子 means electron. You know, as we mentioned, 电 means electronic, right? Electronic or electricity. Okay, electricity. 子 is Children, children, sun.、Uh, so, 电子 the sun of the electricity. So it's electrons, very, very small. You cannot really see it. That's 电子嗯，邮件 of course, 邮件 is mail, the traditional mail.、Uh, together, 电子邮件 the sun of electricity mail. Okay, email. Anyway, this one, 让让 normally you. Ask somebody to do something. A lot of my students used to say, 我问我的朋友 like I ask my friend to help me do something. I said,、uh, no, normally we don't say 问问 is to ask, but that's ask is only for question. If you have some question, you will say, 我问一个问题 I ask a question. But、uh, ask your friend to help, ask a friend to do something, you will use this 让让 Example. 我让我朋友帮我帮 is to help. 帮我 do something. 嗯，帮我
Okay, let's say 学习中文 Learn Chinese. I ask my friend help me to learn Chinese. Let's run. Next, 花 That word is very interesting. You may know 花 which means flower. But if you use as a verb, means to spend. That's interesting. I don't know why, <laughs> but、uh, that's the fact.、Uh, to spend, so you can spend money, you spend time. So you can say, 花 money, 花钱 right? Or 花 time, 花时间 Like this, for example, 我今天花了 that's past tense, 花了一百块钱 Money. So today I spend one hundred yuan cash money. Good. Oh, could be 我花了一个小时学习 again 学习中文 I spend 一个小时 one hour studying Chinese. 好的 Here. 不好意思，不好意思。因此 ，you feel embarrassed， 嗯、um, ，like 啊、uh, ，you feel shy， embarrassed， sorry， <laughs> feel embarrassed， I、like, break your your vase， something，、uh, so you say， 嗯，不好意思，啊，不好意思。Like this， literally， 不 means no， 好 is good， like, yeah， sure， that's a not good thing， you know， so you say 不好意思。Okay， next， 美。Means every. We have a lot of words with May, like、uh, 每天 of course, every day, 每年 every year, 每人 every person, yes, each person like this. 每星期 every week. Okay, good. That's May.、Uh, That one, 城市 city. That's two syllable words for 城市啊、uh, for city city 城市 For example, this city, you will say 这个啊、uh, this 这个城市 If you say the city of Shanghai, how do you say that? Shanghai 城市 No, ah,、uh, we will say 上海市 Because actually, this 城市 this word 城 is city, 市 also city. When you use the city of the name, you will use just use 市 Because if you say 上海城市 is kind of too long. We not really like this four syllable words. It's kind of too long. Normally we speak, uh, two or three syllable words. So we just say 上海市啊，上海市 And、uh, 北京市 Okay. So my city is 大连市 So、the city of Dalian, like this. 特别 especially, or sometimes could be very,、uh, very. For example, 呃、uh, 今天特别热 which is not true actually. 今天 is is cool, very good. But、uh, just example, I say 今天特别热 So today is especially hot. It's very very hot.、Uh, or I can say 今天 again today. 今天我特别忙，忙 busy. I'm very very busy today. That's 特别 so kind of a high degree. Yeah. Okay. So this one, 高速公路 that's highway. So first, we break this word long word down. Yeah. 高速 is high speed. 高 which means High or tall,、uh, which means 高 Uh, 速 is speed. Okay, 速 is speed. 公 we learn this 公 I think. 公、uh, we learn it from last lesson vocabulary. 公共汽车公共汽车 is public bus. So 公 is public. In public, and the、uh, 路 of course we learn it. 路 means road. 
So Gonglu public road, just the road everybody can walk, drive. That's Gonglu. Uh, Gaosu literally highway. So Gaosu literally high speed. So Gaosu Gonglu high speed way, mm, highway. And this one, Jinjiang, nervous. Uh, if you're going to take a test. You may be nervous. You know, you can say, "Uh, I am very nervous. I am Oh, a little bit nervous. Maybe you're brave, so a little bit nervous. How do you say a little bit? I right? I am Only a little bit. Yeah. You ask your friend, "Are you nervous? How do you say that?" Ni. Jinjang ma, right? Like this. Say no, I'm, I'm not nervous. Uh, you say bu, <laughs> wo bu jinjang, right? Bu jinjang. Okay, good. Then, 自己 means oneself. So it depends which word it combine with. Wo、uh, 自己 Of course, means myself, right? Myself, and、uh, 他自己 Of course, 他 could be he or she. We don't know. So could be herself, or could be himself. How about、uh, 他们自己他们自己 means themselves, right? 好的 Hmm. I give you an example, a sentence. Today, I myself at home. Literally, today myself at home means I I stay at home by myself. Phone. We mentioned it many many times. Cell phone. Show is hand. Jiza machine. Hand machine. Cell phone. 发短信 ，one function of your cell phone is send a text message. 发短信。Literally, 发 means to send. 发短信 could be 发 email, right? 发 email, 电子邮件 right? 发电子 okay. 邮件 ，to send an email， 嗯、uh, ，find anything，send anything， 嗯 anything.、uh, ，and、uh, 短 ，which means、uh, short， 信 ，which means letter， so literally 发短信 means to send short letter， it means send a text message here， 新年 ，New Year。Just、uh, literally New Year, you know. Xin is new, Nian is year. 快乐 it's a、uh, happy, happy. So how do you say Happy New Year? Remember, we say New Year happy. We say 新年快乐啊，新年快乐 Okay, 新年快乐 New Year happy. Yeah, and、uh, for other happy, so Happy Birthday. We say birthday happy. We say 生日快乐 right? On any other 快乐 we will put 快乐 at the end. Some something 快乐 Okay, good. That's all for today. 谢谢大家，再见。大家好，我是 John， 今天是我们最后一课，第十课的课文。It is our last lesson, lesson ten, text. OK， 我们看 ，Let's have a look， 电子邮件，电子 electron， 邮件 mail together， 电子邮件 email。Date， 二零零八年，年 is year， 十二月。二十日，十二月 December 二十日 ，twenty 
so December 20th, Arlene Bani in 2008, the year of 2008. Here, remember, you have to put the date from bigger to smaller. Uh, so you say year first, then you say month, then you say day. That's the Chinese order. Also, for address, if you write somebody a letter, the address, address also big to small. China, province, city, road, road number, room number, like this. Uh, here, from the EO to Wang Pang, from that lady to Wang Pang, that man. So, subject, xie xie, to say thank you. Wang Peng, that day, that day, Kai Chu, to drive, uh, drive a car, they say Kai Chu, Song Wu Dao Ji Chang. You know, Song means uh, here's a take somebody to somewhere. Okay, it's a song. Song could be see you all or take you to somewhere. Here's a take me, Dao is uh, arrive, but here means to. To where? Jichang Airport. Bu guo, however, but the soft but. Uh, however, uh, 让你花那么多时间. Uh, so, 让, as I said, 让 means ask or let. So, let you, uh, why is spend? 那么, is, uh, so, such, 多, so much, 时间, time. So I let you to spend so much time. Zhen bu hao yi You remember? Zhen is really, really bu hao yi Feel embarrassed. I'm really feel embarrassed. 我这几天, 这 itself means this. But uh, 这几天, 几 is a few. 天 is a day. So this few days means these days. These days. Or oh, this few days. 每天 means, 每 means every. 每天都. We'd like to put do and may work together. 每天都 means all or both. Every day I all do this. So 每天, uh, 都, 开车, drive the car, 出去, go out. 看老朋友, 看你主席, 老, old, friend. Go out to see all the friends. Every day I drive car. Mm. Okay. This uh, this city. Go is magic word for the city. This city, the ren, the people in this city. Uh, so it's uh, the the structure. Before the structure to to modify, so modify the the person, the person who live in the city. So this city, the ren, 开车开得特别快。开车, the, the drive, or literally drive a car. 开得特别快, that's also a special structure we learned. It's a verb, and the de, and the adjective structure. 开车, 开得特别快. They drive, when they drive, they drive very fast. So, 开得特别快, 特别 especially, especially fast. fast. 我在高速公路, literally, 高速 high speed, 公路, the, the, the way, so 高速公路, highway, 上, so on, so here, the, 在, something, 上, right, it's on the subway, it's on, together, it's on, on the, not subway, it's highway, right? 开车, so you drive on the highway. Remember, we put do something at the end. So you, you drive on the subway. 真有点, remember, Zhen is really again, really. 有点, a little. A little bit. 紧张, nervous. Another but just now it's a soft but however 
，可是 it's the real bus. But 呃，这儿没有公共汽车，能公共 public 汽车 automobiles together 公共汽车 bus. But、uh, here, no, no there is no bus. Also, there is no city subway. No, literally, there is only none is can only can means I have no choice. The only choice is by myself. Myself. 开车 drive， 所以只能，因此 ，I only can drive by myself， 很不方便，方便 is convenient， so very not convenient， and convenient。有空的话 ，we learned this 有空 long time ago， 空 is space， but 有空 is you have time， free time 的话 ，that's also structure 的话，呃，名字 if。If you have time, 有空的话，打我的手机。You know, 打 is something with your hand. 打 you means to call because followed by 打 is 我的手机 my cell phone. So call my cell phone. 或者 which means or 给我发短信，给我 you know 给 give give or could be to. Or four, it depends. Here is kind of two. Give me to me. Do what? Fa send, 短信 message, text message. 我想给你跟你聊天 Sorry, 跟跟你 with you. With you, do what? 聊天 chat. Chat with you. 今年快要，今年新年 New Year. 快 ，you know, 快 is fast. Here means very soon. Very soon. 要 ，the could be is going to be something. So 要到了 ，kind of the New Year is coming soon. Soon. 要 something the you know means will happen very soon. It's going to do something. 祝你祝一次 wish you 新年 New Year 快乐 happy. Wish you happy New Year. We say 祝你新年快乐 Then Leo, the lady's name. 好的，谢谢大家。Congratulations! Finally, we finished this book, Integrated Chinese, Level One, Part One. Good job. That's great. 很好，很好。I'm going to record Part Two very soon in the near future. If you need any help from our tutor or even me, you can check my website, thechineseclassroom.com. If you'd like to come to China. And、uh, learn with me face to face every day for a few weeks. You're more than welcome. Just、uh, let me know. In fact, in this summer, there are some students who came to Dalian,、uh, my city, as I mentioned. Su, she's from England. Let's listen what she said. Before we go, I'd like to say something in English. Ah, sure, sure. Okay, yes. <laughs> John's、yeah. English is also very good.、Uh, thank I, you. But I do speak English and don't, and not Chinese all the time. Yeah.、Um, it's been really good coming to Dalian. It's fantastic being in China because I'm having to speak Chinese morning, noon, and night.、Mm. So I'm not、uh, switching into English a lot of the time, and it's much better than when you're studying at home and you're just trying to do a little bit at a time and you're not really hearing the Chinese. Um, the lessons have been good. I've had two teachers, and we've used two different textbooks, so I've had different aspects of learning the language. And then, really, being outside and talking to people 
everybody's so friendly, especially when they know you can speak a bit of Chinese. And I found that people can understand what I'm saying, and mm. I do understand what they're saying, and they're so welcoming that it's really, really good fun. Um, and one-to-one -one teaching is good because you can do it at your pace. John's been good. If I hadn't really felt like looking at the textbook for half an hour, we'd just talk about something useful. Right. And then that's all new vocabulary. So um, it's been wonderful. I've had a lovely time. Bye-bye. Mm. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. If you'd like to come to Darlene, you're welcome. Thank you, everyone. I hope to see you next time. 下次见，再见。